Yeah, Chobi and Faker. Papa, papa. Wait, that mic is really loud. Wait. I think I just blew your ears out. Sorry if I just blew your ears out. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we're good. We're good. Kajro looking like un XTD. No, he's not. Shut up. He's not looking like un XTD. Shut up. Uh, bro, this is so complicated. I think I have a way to share my screen now, at least. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Are you fucking what, mate? Add. Display capture. Boom. Wait, hold up. We're cooking. We're cooking out here, bro. We're cooking. Wait, the Reddit works, kinda. The Reddit works. Wait, let me go to YouTube and put in some DMCA free music. DMCA free music. Um, I don't want an ad, ka. I don't want an ad, ka. My heart just leaped out of my chest. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me get some music up in this bitch. Otherwise, it's gonna be really quiet. Come on, man. Stop with the ads, bruh. Did you get a new mic? Um, no, this isn't a different setup. This is a... This is a... Yeah, I know. I'm just streaming from my house again. I just have a green screen on. Um, yo, how many ads are on YouTube, man? Can you guys hear that? Some chill beats. Copyright free chill beats, hell yeah, bro. All right, what's popping in the world? Any, did Damon win? Did Damon? They must have won, right? Like, there's the other one. Bro, they fucking stomped them. No, they didn't actually. This looks like a close game. They have Elder. This was an Elder game. Caitlyn Ash. Nico support. That's disgusting. We can react to stuff now from the studio. How good is this? Wait, I'm I'm kind of smart actually. Let's check the Reddit. Let's check the Reddit. I haven't really properly checked the Reddit today. Do you have the stanky mic? No, I have the I have the good mic. Rat Temple. What is this? We visited India's famous Rat Temple. The Karni Mata Temple is home to more than 20,000 rats and is appropriately known as the Rat Temple of India. These rats. The Rat Temple of India, we saw that. Homie thinks he's Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Watch some outdoor boys? No. Pedro spanks himself for missing a cannon. One of my favorite old clips. What do you mean I spanked myself? <laughs> what am I doing? K 
current LCK standings. Damon and KT have secured playoffs. Yeah, it's free. It's basically free. Playoffs is free as fuck. The LCK will be back to normal times next week. God damn it. I liked it because it started two hours later so I could sleep in. God bless someone who understands. I have no idea who made this decision. Fire them. Oh, Nemesis agrees with the the pre-recorded drafting. Yeah, I feel like everyone agrees. Oh, approach this. We can't do it right now. Everyone agrees, but it's just a case of like whether they change it. Bro, there was this one guy on Twitter, bro. Wait, let me try and see if I can find this. This guy was so annoying. I was so close to replying to him or blocking him because he was just being so annoying. He was like this guy. Look at this guy on Twitter. He was so fucking annoying. This guy, he was so annoying. The most clueless comments ever. I was considering commenting, but I'm not going to do it. How eloquent. Absolutely not. It's only nine games. He kept going. He kept going completely. It's not wrong. You're making shit up. He's making a non-point L take. Bro, this guy was like sub-commenting on everyone's post saying, Nah, it's a bad take. Nah, it's a bad take. Nah, 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 it's a bad take. Bro, this guy was the most annoying fuck ever. Absolute hate watcher. He, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get. He doesn't get pro play at all. You're in studio again. Yeah, hell yeah. Marcos, what is this? Marcos Mega Basado. Yeah, I had. I had. Okay, I, I won't say the pro players' names, but yesterday I had three pro players come up to me after the show ended as I was walking out of the studio. And all three of them said the same thing. They were like, Kajol, can you try your best to use whatever power you have to revert this draft change? It's so bad. And I was like, I don't have any power anymore. I'm just a streamer, but I'll I'll, I'll tweet about it like I already did. And they were like, thank you. And I was like, guys, why don't, you, why don't you tweet about it? You're pro players. Why don't you all get together and do it? <laughs> why don't you all get together and do a pro play thing and just fucking tweet about it? My biggest flex. It's not first edition, I know, but still... Damn, bro. Yo, that's a cool card. It's got a chip on the bottom right. Centering is kind of mid. It's got a it's got a crease here, and there's a print line across the middle there. That's a PSA six, buddy. That's a PSA seven, maybe. Still kind of cool, though. Still kind of cool. There's another print line there. Oh my god. That card's like oh my god, and there's a mark here, mark there. Look at the left hand, bro. This is PSA four. It's a nice card, though. That's a mega nice card. I wish I had mine as well. The most difficult Pokemon game ever. The LCK Korean Analyst Desk to Jiwoo. Jiwoo! <laughs> oh my god, they did the Sue for Jiwoo. Jiwoo! Bro, these ads, I can't watch YouTube videos, there's too many ads. Nongshim versus Gromp. How did the same thing happen twice? Wait, did Dundun pull the Gromp? So he pulls the Gromp, dies to the Gromp, and then later on, Jiwoo dies to the Gromp as well. <laughs> Wait, they both died to Gromp. Yamato gang. Yo, Yamato Cannon, thanks for the raid. Wait, Yamato, I was watching your stream in the studio here before I turned my stream on. I was watching you watch rap videos. I was watching you watch rap videos. Um, I was watching you watch rap videos about, like, fucking, uh, like, you know, JME and shit. And Drake and some edit. Uh, edit. I've got the hookup for cards. Don't go spending your money. Yo, who can you hit me up with the, with your contact for cards? I actually want to have a little peek into some cards. Every team against KT summed up. <laughs> we. <laughs> I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Did you know T1 interviewed Poby? No, I didn't. Did they? What is this, Deft? I got one more in me. Deft when he's asked about retiring. Yeah, it's true. I've been pa pacing studying the last month for my license exams and I was able to catch all of Kajal's streams since I'm basically around 20, or 20 hours a day. Thank you, Reds. Aw, much love, man. Caught Kajal smurfing. The shy mid-account, 1-8. All right, shut up. I made a new emote for the gang. We saw that. We saw this. We saw this. We saw this. We saw that. 
Oh, we saw that. We saw that. I think we saw all of this. Do you still have a 45 second delay? Yeah, there's a 45 second delay now. We have a 45 second delay on now. I have a massive collection, bruv. I could offload some. Uh, yeah, we can we can talk, we can talk. Send me your collection. I, I'm looking for, okay. What I kind of want is I want the Charizard. I want a Charizard, I want the Lugia, I want the Blastoise, I want a Mewtwo, and I want the Gyarados, and I want the Ninetales. Those cards would make me happy. I would like I would like to collect them. I have a really big Lugio collection. And I actually have a massive Pokemon collection as well. I have have I showed this did I show you guys the Pokemon collection I have? I need to add to the Pokemon collection. I also want to get a Typhlosion. Uh, and I want to get um, like uh, some like Blaine's Charizard and dark, dark, dark stuff. I want to get some dark stuff. Why LEC recorded that? Oh yeah, we did saw that. Petro two months tall. Yeah, we saw that. 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 Petro reacts to Mont Lamont. Okay, but my my other question is, how is this lemon completely fine? But this lemon has aged 50 years. That's a good question. How is that possible? That's a good question. This lemon is like... <laughs> the other lemon is just chilling to next to a fucking disease. That was a good question. The lemon absorbed the life force from the other away. Isn't that what happens in Rapunzel? Does she not? The fuck is Rapunzel? Bro, she didn't see the video. But I guess she saw the picture. The video is where it's at. Why is this chat spamming Aboba? Aboba, Aboba. Okay, we saw all this, I think. We saw all this. Petro, when chat tells him he's toxic in solo queue. You want absolutely. That's why you're. That's why you're on the naughty list. I would swear, trust me. Well, that's why you're on the naughty list because because you're being naughty right now. So you're gonna be on the naughty list if you keep talking like that. No, no, because fucking Christmas is not being very nice to me. Because you're being naughty, so you're on the naughty list. No, I'm not. I'm on the good list actually. You're not because you. I'm you're not because you ain't being good. I am on the good list. I'm not toxic. If you keep saying that word again and again and again. I'm not annoying Father Christmas r rung me last night when I was at work yes. and said, you better tell Jackson to start being a good boy or he's going to stay on the naughty list and he won't get no presents for Christmas. No presents That's for Christmas. That's what he Christmas. said to me. So you've got to start being a good boy. No, I'll do an uppercut to him. No, no, you won't do... <laughs> no, you would, what? Like Punch him. Punch his spear off. You're just silly, man. Bro, I saw the Shop of Fire Rebellion tweet to me. I liked it before. It was a good tweet. Wait, that guy almost cancelled it. Are you okay? Oh, right. It's Cadrill. Heard you're a big fan of us because we're, uh... They look like five psychopaths. I like that Anyway, my DMs are open. You're the DraftKings, so let me know if you have any mid-tech for us to make playoffs. Uh -huh. Also, check out Party Like a Rockstar by Shop Boys. What is Party Like a Rockstar by Shop Boys? What is Shop Boys, chat? What is Shop Boys? Korean bowl cut Pedro thinks he's on the team Kek L. What do you mean per, per, Korean bowl cut, bruh? They just made it shorter, my guy. Look, it's just shorter. Quit your yapping. Quit your yapping, chat. Chat, when I ended the stream earlier today, it was so good because I ended the stream, went to bed, I slept for fucking half an hour to 40 minutes, and then I got here 25 minutes late, but it was still fine. And now I feel rested. Now I feel awake again. I feel alive. I feel alive. And I'm proud today. I'm super proud. Uh, because Aragon is casting today for his first time ever in the LEC. I remember messaging Aragon like uh, a year or two ago being like, yo. Because I was scrolling YouTube one day. And I was learning about top lane matchups. Um, I was learning about top lane matchups. So I messaged Aragon being like, yo, 
I watched one of his, his videos about Rennington Fiora, I think. And I said, yo, um, your information and the way you break down this video was awesome. Like, massive props to you. Uh, have you ever thought about being a caster? And he said, no. And I was like, bro, let me help you. I think if you want to do it, I can help you. And he was like, yeah, I do. So I messaged a few people in Riot and I was like, yo, you should give this guy a shot. And then I tried to push him to get him on the NLC. And then I pushed him to get on the EU Masters. And then I said to the LEC, I was like, after a year of EU Masters and NLC, I was like, guys, this guy is really good. You should take him to the LEC no matter what. Like, And I pushed, 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 and then they eventually took him. And um, yeah, that's a really, that's a really like a proud moment of mine, I guess. It's nice to see that he like joins. I really think he deserves it. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for him. So hopefully he has a good cast today. I think he's really good at what he does. Um, he knows how to talk well. He knows how to describe and break down and all that stuff. So yeah. So yeah. That's a big W. Big W C Aragon casting. Nepotism. What is it? Nepotism. I didn't really have any. I didn't have any power in Riot when I was a caster because I was a freelancer. But um, I would often get asked my opinion on casters, right? As as they would ask anyone, like, "What's your opinion on this, that, this?" Um, and I just kept vouching for him. I was like, "Bro, this guy is like, I'm telling you, this guy is a good caster and he's a good analyst, and you'll you'll do really well if you just give him a chance." And eventually they gave him a chance, which is huge. And now that he's back on again. He was here on the analyst desk in the winter, he's back in spring, but now he's debuting his cast. Hell yeah. Why are you wearing Adidas trousers? Why are you not in, an, in a tuxedo? What's wrong with Adidas? Adidas trouser and then fucking just a black t-shirt on. What's wrong with that? It's just a classic, classic outfit, bro. Classic and clean. We'll go over here, I guess. Let's go over here while the countdown's on. How does the microphone smell today? It smells fine. Let me smell this one. Hold up. Ugh, bro, the other one stinks, man. The other one stinks. What the fuck? The other one stinks. Did you know Aragorn broke his toe kicking the orc helmet? I did know that. I did know that. That's a classic, huh? Stop talking about the mic. Oh yeah, chat. We might have Dagda on today. I don't know when he's gonna come over, but he's gonna come over. And then, um... oh wait, he might get the stinky mic. Oh, bro. Wait, let me ask them. Uh, this might be a weird question, but do you have another puffy thing? For this, the other headset, the current puffy thing really stinks. Without... <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm writing. Why do I write this shit? How am I supposed to word it, though? How am I supposed to word it? Chat, is there a new LEC pop quiz out? Why did it say pop quiz? LEC, let me see. No, there's no new LEC pop quiz. I just got baited. Uh, I got the hiccups now. Yeah, Daddy Dagda's gonna come over. I need to take... Bro, it's this thing. That thing stinks. It's also got fucking hairs on it, man. Can you see the hairs? I no, can't see it. 
There's a disinfectant spray in the caster area. Is there? I never knew there was a disinfectant spray in the caster area. What the hell? Why did I never know that? I worked there for fucking ever. Oh, it's called a foam mic cover. Oh yeah, maybe I should have worded it like that. Okay, there we go. I messaged Riot. They were like, can you not change it with the one you have already uh, next to you? And I was like, nah. I can't, because uh, Dag doesn't come up, right? Are you casting with Kameto today? Um, no, no. You would have known if you were a caster. It's called a pop filter. Yeah, maybe, I mean, this one, this one kind of smells pretty new, pretty good. You had some coffee? Yeah, yeah, had some coffee. Yo, wait, what the fuck? What the fuck, Micah? Yeah, I got the coffee. I'm caffeined up. Perkovic said you don't understand nothing to the manager question mark. Did he? Where's your source? Sources trust me bro or what? Watch this video XDD. <laughs> yo, yo, what is he doing? What is he doing? Yo, what is he doing? Are you lying? Why did I watch that? Why did I watch that? Oh my god. Was he fucking Timo? Yo, Kai Senat is streaming from Nigeria. Hell yeah, bro. He's been doing loads of IRL streams. Which games is Aragon casting? He is casting game one and game two. I hope he's he's going all in. I hope he's going crazy on the cast. Yamato Cannon said it on stream. You have a clip, you have a clip, you have a clip. I can't see a clip on Reddit. I can't see the clip on Reddit. You're gonna give Dragdar the smelly mic? What do you mean Dragdar? It's Dagda. Dragdar is an Estral OTP, you rat. Wait, can I actually like... I'm gonna have to get the cameraman to zoom out a bit. Because if Dagda's here... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to watch Liverpool versus versus City? Um, no. No, I'm not going to watch Liverpool versus Man City. Is Thierry on replaying? Is that like why I should watch it or? Is Finn the best looking player? In the LEC. Is Finn the best looking player in the LEC? Um, subjective. I think it's very subjective. I think that... Um, yeah, it's Finn. It's Finn. Unless I get on that stage. Then my, then my Aatrox is the best looking thing on that stage. Damn! My Aatrox, damn!
Weiter, weiter. Weiter. I can't hiccup chat. I miss little tugs. React to the double lift drama. I swear I reacted to the double lift drama already. I reacted to it already. Is it. Did my. Did, did, it, did it go on the clip channel? Love it. I love my clip channel. It's like Cadrill calls Cadrill calls Chovy the best Ari in the world. Hey babe, I play Aatrox. It's true. Rat Rizrat. Rizrat. That's me. Why don't you stream in your house? Because it's against the rules. I have to stream here. Do you go through like a mock cast where people review you afterwards when you want to apply for casting? Um, nah, casting's kind of weird to get into. You just have to be like, I don't know, there's two traits you can have as a caster. You can be really good on camera or you can have really good game knowledge. That's why you see a lot of pro players on the desk, okay? But you'll never see a pro player on the desk by themselves. They'll always have like shocks next to them or like Dracos or like Goldborg or some shit because they can control the camera, right? So, um, you also need to have like a very good way of speaking, right? You need to be like understandable, digestible. You need to speak like clear and precise. You can't have like a, having like a, a weird accent or something that people don't understand is already really difficult, right? And then you have to speak your mind properly. Um, so it's kind of hard. I don't think there's like a caster. You can't just like cast the game and then send in your application and then you can join the LEC. You kind of need to like prove yourself a lot as far as I'm aware. So you need to cast like LPL or EU Masters or NLC once you get into there, which you can apply for, I think. Of course, uh, mostly NLC. Uh, and, then, um, and then if you do well, they'll like probably take you on for a guest spot. But uh, I don't know, if I had to give you one piece of advice as an aspiring caster, I would tell you to stop casting. Because the way esports is going right now, the casting job is getting even more pinched and pinched and pinched and budgets are getting smaller and smaller and the amount of talent is getting less and less. Yo. Oh yeah, perfect. That is perfect. You're a hero. I'll put that on. Legend. Oh, it's just one. It's just this one. It's kind of manky. Here you go. Thank you. Um. Okay, where was I? I completely forgot my my. Ooh. That's nice. Ooh. We got some new ones, chat. We got some new ones. Yeah, we got a new one for Dagda. We got a new one for Dagda. Okay, there we go. All right, where was I? Um, I would say, yeah, I would say to any aspiring casters out there, be careful, like be really careful. If you have like enough money and time and you're not giving up a lot of things in your life to go and pursue casting, it's a good idea. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. If you're trying to pursue casting for a long-term career, be very careful and maybe stray away because right now um, if you're already an established caster it's okay if you're like a top tier caster right now it's absolutely fine but um, if you were to start now and like try and grow yourself into the scene now especially the league scene I don't know about other esports I would advise against it because budgets are getting smaller leagues are getting smaller talent pools are getting cut guests are becoming um, less and less frequent over time. As much as there's a lot of guests on the LEC now, it's mainly because they're trying to probably find people that can stay around for a while as like a new like core talent. Um, and the broadcast is obviously going to get cut and cut and cut more and more and more as people try and cut budgets and stuff like that, right? Um, which is kind of sad. I think the problem is the money is like shrinking up and it's not just affecting teams, it's affecting like 
uh, Riot as well, I, I think, from what I've seen over the last couple of years. And, um, yeah, it's very murky waters. So, yeah, be careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. The Valorant scene should be fine. Yeah, I don't know about the Valorant scene or the CS scene or like... I don't really know about all the other scenes. I would just say like, right now, casting in League is not great. I, I don't know how many more years it's got in it, but like starting now is risky. I do think there could be an upwards trend for League eventually. Maybe like, there's a new influx of money and then League then puts more time and resources into the broadcast. Um, and then casting suddenly becomes even better, or like it becomes more reliable. But right now, I don't think it's very reliable, and it's on a downwards trajectory. Is that why you quit casting? Um, yeah, I mean the reason I quit casting is because co-streaming is a lot better for my like exposure as a as a content creator. Uh, it gives you more time and uh, there's a lot more money in streaming than there is casting, like way more money. And uh, also casting is uh, really tiring. Um, not to be rude, but aren't you part of the problem as a co-streamer? Of course I am. Like, that's why I kind of jump ship as well. Um, and I mean, the way co-streaming is going right now, it's removing the need for broadcast to expand, right? Why should I expand and sign and get all these things for the broadcast if someone like, you know, Cajal or like more so like Ibai and Kameto can just rock up, press start streaming and then pull in 100k viewers. So it's a really weird one. I would say, um, I would say esports for League has like a couple trajectories, but the two that I think is uh, most likely is you'll see more and more like talent, broadcast talent slowly disappear. Uh, but it won't ever fade away fully. Or there will be an influx of money from a sponsor that might be contra Well, it will be very controversial, but will give a lot of money to the scene, right? Uh, and then everything's probably fine again, I would guess. But that's a whole new ball, ball game of discussion. I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, that's what I would say if you're an aspiring caster. Have you ever thought about coaching teams? Did any team offer you coaching? Um, bro, why is this guy so annoying? I'll permaban that guy. Why, why is he so mad? I'm not like saying this, like this guy is getting mad at me saying I sit down and just stream and do nothing and get paid. Bro, I'm just telling you what it's like behind the scenes. Like, I'm just telling you what it's like from my perspective, you know? I'm not trying to, like, I'm not asking for anything here. I'm not trying to fucking say my life's hard or anything. I'm just telling you what I think if someone asks me if you want to be a caster. I I'm just telling you. I'm not going to be like, yeah, dude, chase your dreams. Be a caster. Yeah, fucking hell yeah. Get the ADC in a couple of years. Bro, I'm just telling you, like, it might be rough, man. That's all. Do you think Riot are killing their broadcasts by allowing co -streamers? Uh Yeah. Well, they're not killing their broadcasts, but they're hurting their broadcast. Well, it, it's a weird one, okay? Let's take Valorant, for example, a brand new esports, okay? I want to be a competitor to CSGO. If I start the broadcast, not many people probably are going to watch. How do I fix that? I open up co-streaming. Lots of big influence content creators watch my game. My viewership goes high. Hopefully, all of those people then transition to watching Valorant. Perfect. That's... Not the worst idea ever, right? The problem is it'll always be reliant on co-streaming, but at least you can boost an eSport up to a very high standard of viewership without having to take years to do it. The problem is with established eSports like League, you've already got a product that's really strong and a lot of viewers, but once it goes on a downwards trend, how do you inject more viewers into the product? 
Well, one of the answer is co-streaming, right? You get lots of big influencers or content creators and you tell them to watch the stream. And uh, once that happens, your viewership recovers and everything's fine again. The problem is that then becomes the new norm, right? And what happens then is um, if I'm a viewer and co-streaming is then taken away all of a sudden, I get very angry because I wanted to watch my favorite co-streamer or I only watch League of Legends because my co-streamer, who's my favorite content creator, watches League of Legends. That's the only reason. The, the hope of like people wanting to stay around for the for the broadcast or the league versus people staying around for the streamers is like obviously streamer favorite if they're all co-streamers, right? There's a very low percentage of people that'll stick around and a lot, if anything, it'll be bad PR, right? If you just take it away. So you can't really unopen the can of worms. And then your streams become really reliant on the co-streamers, right? Because you can't take it away and they're a big majority of the viewership. So that doesn't make it so the broadcasts I mean, I don't know how it works business-wise, but it incentivizes the broadcast to invest less in resources to sustain it because a lot of the brunt of viewership is coming from third parties for free. So, yeah. It's a weird it's a weird dynamic, um, co-streaming. Obviously, like, I'm not going to sit here and talk on a biased POV and be like, bro, what are you talking about? Co-streaming's great. I love co-streaming. Like, it's such good. Okay, I have such time a co-streamer. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. It's pretty bad for the broadcast. Um, and that's the reality of it all. So the only thing it really incentivizes for people like Riot, which completely makes sense, is why am I investing so much money in a product that is carried majority by people pressing start streaming and watching it? Therefore, I'm more incentivized to just do the bare minimum to maintain the broadcast so that they can watch it and the viewers will stay. And that way I can make more money or at least like lose less money. Um, but if they get massive sponsors and they have to be plugged all over, right um, then maybe they want to invest more money in the broadcast or something you know welcome everyone to the Kia Tilt 50 do you have to give a percentage of your revenue to the LEC We're here to see or to any coach no I don't it's free test. you get a license you watch their product you make content you make money off the content they get viewership right <laughs> but um I think I think, I I think co streaming isn't being utilized to its fullest yet, personally. I still think that broadcasts can make a lot of money off co streamers because co streamers are essentially sitting there, pressing start streaming, yapping, and making shit tons of money by doing fuck all. Right? And as much as you can go to sponsors and sell against the numbers and the viewership numbers of all collectively, all the co streamers included, being like, if this is on our broadcast, you'll get this many viewers. You could also just include the co-streamers in those sponsorship deals, right? I think there's loads of ways Riot could go around monetizing co-streamers. Like, a very easy one is giving co-streamers a creator code, right? I'm not asking for this. I'm saying, if you're Riot, give them a creator code, 50-50 on the revenue. All of their audience now gets a creator code, similar to like Fortnite, some shit like that, that for a league where you can get like summing off of skins. Or maybe they could put a Red Bull fridge right behind Cajal or Ibai, right here. Boom, that gives you more uh, like avenues to sponsor the broadcast while also sponsoring co streamers, right? That then gets a little bit more tricky because then the co streamers could just turn around and say no and then piss off if they've got enough money and enough like viewership to just be like, I don't need you, you need me. But um, yeah, that's Even like, I feel like co streamers aren't being monetized by, by, by the broadcasts that much. So, uh, what do you think? On to the next one? Let's go. Come on. I think there's loads of ways that they can monetize shit. Anyway. And that's how they can then make money off of them, right? Uh, or making money off of content creators or co-streamers co or whatever. Anyway, that's uh, my co-streaming yapping done for the... Why would they do that? Well, because then they can, s they can get more money from them, right? Anyway.
Sounds like an earthquake, bro. Alright, chat. Yapping done. Also, by the way, chat. You know what I keep with me at all times? In my phone? You might think this is fake, but it's not. I've had this in my phone, in my phone case for like, um, like a year now. The shy, uh, the shy card. I always have that in my phone case. No joke. <laughs> I'm serious. Two minutes until the show starts. Hell yeah. Chat, how's the music? Is the music loud enough? Or is it uh or is it quiet? Or is it uh too quiet? Oh wait, I had to do a tweet. Fuck, I forgot. Shit. I'm so bad at this shit. Is there no delay? Yeah, there is a delay. Shall I have to take a photo? Everyone shut up. Oh my god, my hair is so clapped. I can't do a photo chat. I have to do a photo, man. Wait. Don't don't say anything, chat. Don't say anything. Don't do it. I have to download this camera app. I forgot to do this shit. Oh my god, my hair is terrible. I can't do this. I can't do this. Let me... Oh yeah, here we go. Good idea. Let me take a photo of the full cam. Because then you can't see my hair properly. Wait. No, I can't do this. I can't do this, man. By the way, people have been donoing. Someone donated five and someone donated three euros. I can't put the donors on. I don't have an alert box on. I don't have an alert box. Reaction cam. Flashing away, Caps trading down towards the bottom side. He finds an answering kill. Mickey's already fallen, but G2 now start to collapse. Elioya caught out. Nothing he can do. The last man standing, but G2 wipe away MDK. The patience from G2 paying off dividends there. They know Halo. In the way, it's Pentarangle here in the rivalry that everyone's been talking about when it's Spain versus France. Super Roars with a Pentakill. Super! And secure two towers. I said, Law of Standing Gold kind of put back into their pocket as an engage coming from Bo. Okay, I didn't tweet. There to get the jump back out. Hans Summer tried to trade with Upset, who cleanses away. Oh, it's the Mikhail's who's actually used. Oh, Mickey with the re engage. And Upset then uses the Yamato. 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 Wait, did I leak my OBS? Can't be part of the fight, but he has to stand aside as X kick runs on back in. Look at the spiraling death. It's Perks is doing the damage. 
a big shutdown, but the range finally comes through. X-Kick gets a kill, Niski comes over the wall, Perks is out, but why did Niski do that? He had flash available too, and the ulti. SK are botching it up, Dagda. Yo, chat, can you drop a like on that shit? Salmis, who watched this fight play out, irrelevant with the red carpet laid down. The rock fought out, he has to flash over. He was isolated. Started writing something down. I'll put the Fnatic jacket on when the, their game starts, otherwise, mega hot right now. One man spam, dies of cringe, la la la. Alright, get me in some good games. Chat, can you drop a like on the tweet? There you go, our mods, can you ban that spammer now? Okay, hold on, everybody calm down, we have to stop. We, have to, we talk about this very serious thing. Uh, a player forgot to bring his pillow on stage. Everybody? <laughs> what? Hello, hello, hello. KFC uh, ready? Yeah, KFC is ready. <laughs> KFC is ready. KFC is ready, I see. KFC oh is God, ready? I'm goated as f**k action and my clicks are just like if Gumayushi possessed me. Noah's going for this lightning crash. He can chase Com down. Com has the cleanse, but it's nowhere to help you in this 1v1. The spears KFC go in. is ready. And Noah should secure it. He flashes the spear, misses. And Noah takes it. Misana Kayib for Yankos as he gets another, but BTO able to shut him down in the end. Kill the way, kill the way. Kill the way. Bro, Rogue. You know, chat today is Rogue versus Heretics. Are we just getting a mic check before the show starts or what? Is there just a mic? Is this like day one recap? Damn, Eminem's going crazy on the mic. Get knocked down here, goal card locked in. Kill gonna come through. Mir one picking that one up at first blood for Mad Lions Koi. I missed big white hoops. Red car, motherfucker. Oh, and. Good job. Nice job, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Don't keep killing the enemy. Get it on. Let's go, guys. Nice job. Nice job, bro. Nice job. Thank you. Oh, it was Targamas who needed this pillow. <laughs> we will return to the game. That was the weirdest pause I've ever experienced. Thank you all for bearing with us, but it was brief. I get it, you know, when you want to be comfortable. Uh, it was Targamas. I thought chair, it was upset. You need everything to be perfect. I get it. Yeah. I, I, I need to know if he had the lumbar pillow as well, though. Like if he had the entire collection, or was yeah. it just the neck pillow? We will find out today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of the Spring Split here in the LEC, live from the Riot Games Arena enough? in Berlin, Germany. Let me check the donuts real quick. Shocks, and today I have Goldberg and Dagda here joining me in Ready Check to so take a look five years and said, Who's single win today? And Team Vitality or PDS? PDS um, will win. Make some big sweeping Good morning, Pedro. Hope you have a great stream. How do I get out of Iron as a support main? I'm shit to the mouth. Let's start by taking a look at the standings in that regard. I just pick Nautilus every game. Trust me. Could we classify it as simple as on the one hand or on the one side? We had the teams that lost to Smolder or let them through, and on the other side. The winners? I mean, depends who you are, right? I still see Giant X on the on the right side. They yeah. had a Smolder, so you know. Uh, Why are you outside missed? of that, yeah, uh, Smolder definitely left his mark yesterday. But I also still think, regardless of that, we still had some insane matches. Personally, I thought MDK versus SK was yeah. super hyped to watch too. And Kirby Corp won a game. Yay! I was like, what took them seven games to do last time around? They managed to do their first day. So look, it was a little bit messy. Let's be real. But like, still, it's sick to see them at least pick it up one on the first day of the split. Absolutely. Um, Two pets. Um, but oh. I'm Manic actually not sure. Is no more. No, I'm actually not sure, uh, but that's a good point about KC, and I think, um, of course, we have like uh, the ultras from all the other KC teams, ultras. you know, and and the memes and whatnot. But I think it's just great if they get off to a better foot, if they get a better start, uh, and if hiccups. they are competitive. In yeah, the I know they have to do is face like you know some really fanatic in G2 for the rest of the yeah. 
Yeah, easy. easy. The match of the week today for them. That's he has true, Mark on his jacket. Exactly you see that? What they need. Did you see that jacket? His jacket already, says Mark on it. Late. We've what seen the this hell? In other parts of the world already, what Goldberg. The hell? But it's just way Yo, too. Shox's jewelry game oh, is on is. point. And it, it's just the fact Damn. that it's so simple. It's so safe. You just scale, and it's not even like you think. Right, 30 minutes. Now this elder buff start popping in. It's like no best smolders we see get it already by 22, 20 minute mark, and then you already have the execute available to you. Smolder. Fnatic in first place. Since he's been enabled in pro yeah, play, of course they are. Bro. Yesterday as well with Hans Sama, so the owns champion's this definitely league. leaving its mark on the, the league. Broadcast already. a little it's loud. Just disgusting. The fact that your Q can like it hit not only front line but back line as yeah, well. Yeah, turn it down a bit. Oh, my sound is fixed. Like, Yo, what the hell? Flat, 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 I can flat, hear flat, perfectly flat, flat, what you guys like, hear now. Even the way like when you're oh hell yeah, hop over the wall to make it really hard. Oh hell yeah, he's so much. I'm so back. Wait, this helps me focus so much. And oh my god, we're in it to win it. Then as you say, the execute, it just it's a. It's a champion made for giving extra KDA. Yeah, and you can even see with the goal difference on average, right? Like, it's not like you need to be ahead on anything like that. You just need to be surviving. I'm just saying they're not giving my Shavana this treatment, okay? Like, yeah, it's <laughs> Record, hard, two and one, BPM, nine, nine, right four. Now. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah. In terms of flap, 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 my favorite things yesterday were Dracos doing the flap, 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 <laughs> and then Pad when he came on stage yeah, and did like this to Karzy as well, and then flap, flap, flap. That was really funny. Uh, another champion, though, that we saw yesterday, interesting, and that Goldberg actually already tipped off before the start of the show was Volibear, right? Yeah, Volley uh, beast. so Volibear is one of these things <laughs> where I've already played against him in solo queue and at first when I played against it, I was like, this seems weird. Why Why is he building this? Do you cut and your then own suddenly hair? I wasn't able to kill the champion anymore. No, I don't cut my own this hair. Drain tank build where I was like, I want to play this now. And then I started playing this, which is super I impressive. don't cut but my own hair. If you haven't seen it, it's basically just... Is the broadcast... Nah, I think the broadcast is not louder than me. On ending despair, you're going in Genius Hunter and Runes. But let's go into it a little more in depth. So if we take a look at the room page that we saw, Broken Blade won yesterday. He had Damn, BB's pose is kind of sick. For the ch trading. Shield bash, actually, which do I that didn't then? expect. Most of Bro, the I'm so white, chat. Look at me. I'm like a fucking flashbang. Rushing B! Obviously You're you flashed. Flash from your I'm so pale. What the hell? Some of the items that helps you out here. But the most important one is that ingenious hunter rune. Because that also gives your item CDR. And that means that you can stack tier faster. It means the unending despair passive starts faster. And yeah, let's just go straight into the items to actually talk about why it's so important to have this rune. So if we take a look at the items right now, especially unending despair, it's just the fact that it drains. And it drains every seven seconds. But when you it drains, the fact that you drains have what? Hunter, it just becomes so much lower. You also have the Fimble Winter passive, and it's just super oppressive where you don't die, you have your own W. So yeah, he can be oppressive, uh, oppressive laner, and also thanks to his shield from his E, you also just get bonus damage, extended trades, healing with the W we already talked about. So much easy to 400 get. 400 health, evade. 55 armor, 10 so ability haste. Wave clear. You can just proxy. It's pretty much just an Udia where it's easy mode as well. Yeah, and there you Chat, have it. If you I'm excited. Item, you know what I'm excited for? After MSI ends, I'm going to take a two-week break for the first time ever. I'm going to go on a holiday. I'm going to go on a holiday. I'm going to go on a holiday away somewhere sunny for a couple weeks. I don't think I've ever had like a, a holiday. The only holidays I have is when I take a, a week or two off because I'm burnt out or I want to play solo queue all week. Yeah, hell yeah. After MSI, after China. It's on my screen right now. You press R, you run in. You try and chump some people, you get some slow downs. Why is it good to have slow? Well, Fimble Winter, you proc that off your Q, you can proc it off your ultimate. You but then it's slow, mega pace when I get back, because once I take a break, Honestly, I'm going to be so, I'm gonna be such a fucking... As as I'm going to go absolutely so schizo on the grind. It like, there's no excuse. It is mega easy most going in and try it. It's super fun. Uh, it's going to be the most fun you've had with Volibear in ages. But yeah, that's Volibear. That's Volibear. There's more fights, apparently. I, I, don't, I don't really care. Hey, you can come in back. Yeah, just come back. It's fine. Volibear, yeah. disgusting. He's a bear. What's wrong with that? No, not, not, not really anything. It's just, <laughs> I was just like, Why does Shox look like a school teacher? A I out of okay, I see, I see, I see, it. She's got, like, teacher yeah, vibes. Well, we'll see if we'll see some more Volibear. I guess it's Today, the iPad. Our first match is Vitality up versus BDS, and I'd love to hear some hot No stream for two weeks, from, aware. Um, from my analyst, yeah, but I mean, it, vitality, nothing and then when I'm back, the pace is going to be change, like once I've had a break, the pace is going to be absolutely up. Well. Yeah. I think that's the oh, big thing for wait, me. Is one like, second. Oh, what oh they're fuck? motor not in, but I, I really think I'd rather see them lose in the fashion that they did yesterday to G2 
then win in what is a traditional <laughs> BDS fashion. Because bringing the things like the Talia, trying to play a more macro-oriented... Yo, how fun are those go-karts, bro? I would skirt things. them around the These whole fucking the track. The BDS have struggled with. And as a team, if you really want to evolve... And are we invited? Step and ...go up to that next level, uh, no. these are what you have to do. You will have to lose. You will have to try and make a few mistakes before you can learn this. And I want to see BDS achieve that. And I think this is the best way for them to do it. It was also versus G2, and they let Smolder through, so... Y you know, yeah. those things for sure. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. On the other side of it, I was like, how do I come up with a hot take for Vitality, and the best one I could really think about is just, I think Kasi, with the current AD carry meta that we're gearing up to, will be the best AD carry by the end of Spring Split, Oof. and it's just due to the fact that we see Think about it this way, chat. You get two weeks no series, stream, the small, but the rest of the year, you get Kasi's basically stream five, six days a week, really minimum. Dealing a lot of damage with very minimum. Worth, 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 worth. He thrives in team fights. These are some of the stats from Winter. You can see with how little resources he still managed to gain for himself, and now in a Bro, Kasi, DPM. He does 29% of his team's damage, and that's first. But the question is, if you do a high damage share percentage of your team, does that mean you're doing a high damage share, or your team's not doing any damage? Then, then, then. But ahead of the first game today, Lord did have the chance to talk to BDS's head coach, Striker. Lord. Where, where, what does Striker play? Uh, striker, thank you for so much for joining me. Uh, aggression in football, he plays the Striker. Let's talk uh, about what happened between winter and spring. I don't came he back. looks dead inside, we bro. So what he said on social media, okay, we saw that he made amends and that he wants to work on himself. But what I want to ask you is, how do you help players become better athletes and better people, better teammates? Because it looks like it's what Adam is aiming for. Adam. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a day-to-day -day thing. Chad, sometimes you got to take a break uh, so you can like rethink and repace. That is behind us now. I think my energy on the streams um, after taking a break is going to be yeah, absolutely schizo. We have to set the boundaries and, and the rules, right? And as soon as those are not respected, uh, there yeah. needs to be action. Uh, I think he understood that very well. And as I said, um, that's behind us now, so we are just looking forward for the future, yeah? Yeah, le let's focus ahead and on to what you guys are going to have to do today. You said that versus G2, you tried to display some of the stuff that you guys had been working on. Why do I feel so guilty about taking a break? Give me some specifics. And that no stream because he wants to grow well. his hair. I mean, I think when you have um, Bro, shut a team that <laughs> used to be a contender, it's important for I'm you to focus on, chat. I would say, basic things. And that's what we did up until now. Uh, in order to rock up wins, could it be in best of one or best of three? Um, now that we went to Worlds last year and we played many best I'm of five, I'm done with this chat. Uh, I think we are not the same uh, kind of team. I think we are up there in the, I would say, top three of the LEC. And if we want to be more than that, then we have to, I would say, diversify and be able to play more styles. So I, I want to I wanna hear more Chata, about you are rat for Sorry life. for cutting you off, but what I appreciate so much about BZ BDS is when you talk about the team, you talk about discipline, you talk about method, and we know that the LEC is a marathon, it's not a sprint, and you have to last until the end of the year to hopefully make it at Worlds. Tell me about the philosophy that you have in that sense, and as you said, what you, you guys should be focusing on, because you're the top dogs of the LEC now. Yeah, I mean... It's a marathon, right? But it's also something where you have to perform. It's weird, chat, streaming with a 45 second delay. I feel like every time so something funny happens and you all write uh, XDD, I have to rethink what I said 45 seconds ago or something that happened on the screen and try and figure out what you're laughing about. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, that happened. I would say the format demands you to play it smart in the first games. It was a nice debut, even though you didn't grab the win yesterday. Any closing thoughts on Vitality today? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think they had a good game yesterday. I don't think they are. Uh, anything special compared to their former self in winter, though? Mm -hmm. uh, I think if we do have... You're a, a cat for life? Respected Bro, you're not... How many fucking times? All right, coach. Thank Am you I so gonna much. Fucking tell you. Are you going to still post on your socials? Yeah. Thank you Bro, very I'm addicted. much, Striker and Lore. And welcome, everyone, to the Casual Desk. I'm Dracos, joined by Aragon. You might have seen him on the Analyst Desk. This is his first time... Woo, Aragon! ...on the Casual Desk here in LEC. He's a top lane expert, I think a general League of Legends expert, much higher ELO than me, so trust me, you're in good hands when it comes to breaking down the importance of tanks hitting each other. Um, Draco's is so away from getting into draft. Aragon, yesterday we saw a lot of crazy stuff. First question for me is, Smolder after day one. Ooh, oh, never mind, it's already it answered, it's already answered. I was going to ask, is it permabanned now? But BDS yeah. seemed to be ready to ban it. Okay, so interesting adaptation from uh, yesterday. Usually Jace is banned against Photon because it's a good target ban. He usually really likes to pick it. It's a good flex now, especially with- Senna uh, first pick is good. Malco rotation, but Senna is available. I thought that'd be a red side stable ban too. So Are they drafting imagine, on stage? Um, some kind of Nautilus. No, they're not. Photon's not even in his chair. He just sat down. Uh, 
Oh yeah. god. Curious to see if Vitality want to start cooking with some of the yep. potential more creative Senna lanes or Senna pairings. And if BDS just instantly respond with a Varus here, that was a personal. Yeah, kind of the big trend through all of our playoffs. Well, maybe not all of our playoffs, but our finals was Varus for Senna. Varus for yep. Senna. Varus for Senna. Very used to seeing that matchup. And Ice, of course, I think was the most successful Lethality Varus, at least in the early split uh, across the entire league. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Varus Nort could come out here. Varus Chad, Nort why are you so mean yesterday. to me? Uh, but it doesn't look like it. We also saw Zeri. Why are you so times. mean to me? Uh, Every so time Zeri something happens, it's new Kajal, better Kajal, Kajal's gone. Add Drill to their name. La la, la 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 la. Um, because it also synergizes really well with the uh, the North uh, the Sejuani. However, on three, it could be a Braum. So a really potent three-man stack of Zeri, Sejuani, Braum could come out into the into the uh, center Nautilus. Yeah, the infinite CC and Braum, what we saw yesterday. They can't pick Nautilus here. Powerful on the patch in general. It wasn't it's just completely with the they should pick it Vi, though. just good overall. So see if that is a higher priority for teams today. And the Zeri. Oh god. We saw Ice Pilot. And Vitality is griefing Aragon's right. Braum on three here really is well. fucking fisting session by BDS. Split was we've seen him on utility, the gins, the varuses. What's he gonna look like on the hyper carries? We saw a bit of Ezreal, but he looked fantastic on the Zeri yesterday. So, Daglas's yeah, rel is banned. That choice. And there's the Nautilus, yes, and there's the Jace for Photon. We could draft so far. I think, uh, the, the Sprawn makes a lot of sense here, maybe because uh, it kind of works well with a composition with a standard front to back with the Zeri. I think all you need is uptime. Um, and uh, however, more engage could be good. Alistair just ban them. Into the, into the what do you mean, because, ban them? Uh, you really ban for having opinion. The range of the Jace. I think yeah. that's an uh, important thing. But they win. Rock a soft self counter pick themselves. Mega yeah, in int. terms of the isolated Dewey too. Um, but it is a really good duo with a uh, Sejuani because it does pro Sejuani passive. Rakan counts as a melee champion. So it's not too bad. Um, I just would have expected something different. It does facilitate a really nice uh, core uh, mid game there. Yeah, and definitely for LeBron. Chat, just remember, in the world, so maybe there are a lot of people out there okay, who think they're rats, but they're not. They're, they're actually cats. But you need to be careful who is a rat. Because rats, no rats. And if you're a rat, you'll recognize rat. But if you're slightly unsure, and maybe you're not sure if they're a real rat, they're probably a cat. Could be stay a away, they'll fucking eat you. It could be a Jace mid, stay, right? stay among I, I think the rats. TBS aren't too sure if it's a top or mid Jace. They banned Twisted Fate. So, Malko Jace, I am kind of convinced it's still pretty decent, at least as a duo. We saw it a lot last year, but. Why do they uh, ban TF? Right now is, a, is it because they're looking uh, for a Kali on 4? Uh, TF ban doesn't make sense unless they're flexing Jace. Yeah, well with this the is Spice the most Akali on 4 this spell is a Kali on 4 spell I've ever seen in my life. We're also seeing Twisted Fate and LeBlanc banned. Lock, of course, comfort pick for VTO. Very much likes playing the more mobile, more assassin style picks. But Ooh. what is this potentially foretelling? All right, th so there you've got Renekton. TF LeBlanc, so two the, hardest counters to Akali Adam. in the game, and they have Sejuani. Are they meta bans or are they Adam bans? The immortal yeah. question. It's not just gods, it is, of course, Gord's. Is VTO just going to get Akali if they don't take it for free? I don't think it's going to be a Wukong, because uh, Wukong's really good into Darius, so you wouldn't ban it they take Ari. Um, yep. It's telling me that they it could TF be LeBlanc? a Gisante ban. I really like this from Vitality. A really common trap that people fall into is drafting triple topside into Adam, because all of Adam's champions are really good into a lot of melee champions. So you just end up losing the entire topside for free versus Garen, Olaf, or Darius. So they've gone a, a range champion in Jace, and that way, you know, the top side's safe. Yeah, have that option to fall back on. And Photon's certainly a guy who has had ups and downs over the last few years, but when he's performing, Maokai jungle is someone who can go from to Rel to Maokai. To I mean, Maokai's good against Ari, I guess. The Maokai, the Jace together. Maokai in the jungle, of course. Um, we did see some adjustments, but his damage to monsters actually went up on the previous patch. It was the support. I mean, this must be Jace really top, and they have Ari. So Lissandra is pretty good here, but then you're the overloading damage. Uh, oh my I God, they're playing Jace mid. So that's the photon blind pick. Uh, and now you have counter pick Olaf. Used to be a thing. It's been three months, and we're still playing Jace Maokai. Nah, it's uh, been six months and we're still playing Jace Maokai. What the hell? Karma is also a very good pick into Rumble. I'm just worried about the, the top side damage share, so probably not that. I think they Karma, need Olaf. Kind of AD Bruiser top side. Um, but this is where they I need Adam in. to play an AD I think, Bruiser. Yeah. I think I mean, it's not a Garen <laughs> game, is it? No, it looks I mean, mega hard. Draft, of course, yeah, like, exactly. That's a really important thing Adam. to know, of course. You have Who's going to win drafts? It's no left. Yeah, All right, chat, I'm going to run ads. If you want to avoid ads, you can use your tier 1 on Twitch Prime to support the stream and get no ads if you're a rat. Yes. In the 2v2. And interesting you're missing for the game starts. Olaf into Rumble Maokai. Oh my god. 
a lot more scaling coming in for the side of Team Vitality, whereas you have a lot of aggression that you can uh, you can uh, pull out from Team BDS in the top side at the very least. You have strong skirmishing uh, with the Rakan Sejuani come mid game, as well as a good pairing uh, with the Ari Sejuani, which we saw a lot last year as well. And of course, the natural melee synergy of the Olaf with the Sejuani to uh, play skirmishes. And Rumble really hates. I'm being still CC waiting for down. the pog off, right, so, so I know when to run ads. A really good pairing. Zeri, also key to highlight, uh, is one of the only AD carries that rushes tier 2 boots. Well, one of the few. And that lets her shift upwards into mid really efficiently if she wants to contest early grub. Same with Rakan. So the there we go. There's the pog offs. Perfect. There's the delay catching up. To play Nicely done, chat. Good job. Alright. So Very standard well. comps, Rakan except for a top lane. A and I guess solo lane Jace, but Jace Maokai is a classic. On both sides. Not a list. Top lane matchup, Olaf into Rumble. That sounds like absolute Armageddon. I would love some kind of early so invade top side could work. When you yeah. have the reliability uh, of that charm, I got the hiccups, chat. So far, Jace in our league, it feels like it hasn't quite gotten off to a great start. We really only had a couple matchups. We saw the Twisted Fate versus Jace matchup yesterday, where TF yes got put very far behind. But Merc Tread's value is insanely high. In, in yeah, for blue yeah, so side probably. With Actually, compositions, you kind of want to survive early. So Johnny has a lot more. Yeah, Merc Tread's are valuable for a lot of people this game. Jace top side can do a lot more bullying. Chat, stop with the copy pasta, you little. Fuckers. Uh, want to see BDS be more aggressive in this composition in terms of the early game. You have on the side of Vitality though a really nice Rumble Ma uh, Maokai ultimate Chad. combination where you just drop a nuke on them. You know, Maokai Actually, I'll ask you tomorrow. I'll ask you, you tomorrow. Drop a on Rumble ult on them, and it's it's a really good team fight chain game changer. Do you think that it's harder to pull something off like that when you're playing against a champion like Zeri, like the Ari, who have yeah. so much mobility? Because it's not, I'll it's ask not you the tomorrow. I won't ask you today. last season where you have these super, super immobile champions. Yeah. Or do you feel like it's just so powerful that, you know, it doesn't matter. You can wait for those cooldowns and then fire all in. Yeah, maybe I'm going to be a bit wary of the cleanse. I think it's also really difficult into the Olaf who can just run through. Uh, right, but you have a nice ability to tap. How do I enable Marvel streamer mode? Uh, always. Uh, same with uh, streamer mode Merch, enabled. Example, you can always just dip, dip on out. It's really slippery. So I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, definitely the mobi mobility from Zeri, like you highlighted, get them out of any sticky situations. Yep. Zeri, Zeri, Zeri. Is Kometo coming today? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna play Fnatic versus K Corp. We'll see how Vitality can weather that storm and what they can get out of some of these. Oh my God, Labrov! What are those tissues? Yo, did you see how many tissues that guy had on his desk? What the hell? What is my man doing with all those tissues? Yo, show me Labrov's desk again on the right here. But on the top side of the matchup. I feel what? Like any time Show me that there's angle again. A, there's an Olaf. How many tissues? On the map. We have to talk about top. And it's probably also true anytime there's a rumble yep. on the map. So that's yeah. That's double top. I feel like they have gift wrapped you an opportunity here. <laughs> Alright, we're back and in it's business chat. Vitality versus BDS. BDS looking to claim their Let's first get into win it. In the spring split. Lost to G2 yesterday. See if anything crazy happens in the level one. You talked about the importance of top lane. It seems like BDS agree with you as they're sending all five members topside. Yeah, so top lane's incredibly volatile this game. Eyes on top lane because they have no teleport each. So that means if either top lane or die this game, they are probably going to miss slow stack waves. They're, gonna, they're not going to be able to teleport themselves up top side to even bail them out. Even just a chunk onto either one of them means they'll have to recall because of threat of dive and then they won't be able to teleport themselves out, uh, teleport themselves back to bail themselves out. So. Very, very volatile. You're doing great, Aragon. Now. Just slow down a bit. Which is interesting because now I feel like we got used to last split. Yes, top laners were doing psycho stuff all the time, but junglers were always going bot. Mm. You know what I mean? We got a lot of crazy picks, but now see if Daglas, if Shao can. I actually am starting there. to like the new you text. Sejuani Yo, on the top side bro, of the I'm looking at LeBrov's desk right, right now. Holy fuck! The top side of the map. Might be just more about My man's got a water leak on his desk or some shit. Photon. Yeah, we'll see if Hillisang or Labrov can unlock themselves in this matchup. I imagine the, the Nautilus can get priority. And let, let, let's see can you can see the tissues in my cam chat? Can you see them there? After a three <laughs> crash, but Adam, <laughs> doing the funny again. Ah, uh, here it is. You I told you guys, four, level one invade one top. Keep the axe is coming. Oh, Mega Tony good. To manage the heat, though. And Shea's just going to move into the top side of the map. And interestingly, Drawny moving over. So trying to split the map, isolate the top side matchup, could leave the BDS bottom lane all on their lonesome. Hmm. See where Shao wants to take this. Uh, this is absolutely brutal, right? Because topside, if you are the Olaf, you can create a wave state uh, with the threat of your axes. And now I imagine because of the whole jungle state, Photon's going to have to concede priority because he knows he doesn't want to get run down if he overextends and Adam creates a freeze or something. So this is an amazing game for BDS gangster, already. Probably going to concede wave state. Level one invade went hard. What you can do as Olaf here is force a crash, have it bounce back, freeze, and then have the threat of the run down of the ghost anyway. So this map split is devastating. And that's really never a situation that I feel like you want to be in as a laner where you're opponent has so many choices for how to ruin your experience, yeah. whether it is forcing the crash, forcing the bounce back, and then 
using the lovely power of Olaf with Ghost, or if it's just forcing the dive. For now, stacking a bit of a wave here. See if Shea wants to go for an early dive. I think early dive would be fucking risk. great for BDS. It's a... It Ooh, like that hook. Wave crash coming in for the side of Adam. Um, I think he had another option to let it push into him, but he's getting a bit chunked. Shea! Shea on the way up. One. But a quick flash out from Photon. Already a small advantage. That's actually not Adam good for BDS. Because Daglas is stronger than Shio now, and Shio used his flash to do that because he's using Hex Flash. This is horrible. He's going to lose his Raptors for this, and enemy jungler has red buff. And they have mid push. coming down. I think they know that Daglas is there. So Adam does have priority, but he really needs to crash this wave. Photon's a huge HP. Photon's going to kill him. He's dead. Photon's just going to try to run him down. That's an Ignite. Adam, desperate to get the wave and knows he will lose so much. So close. But he doesn't even. Take a look at the is jungle. Is the wave going to crash? Because if the wave doesn't crash, that is horrible. That is the worst thing that could have happened. And now it's Daglas versus Shale. Adam on the way in. Oh, Adam's staying. Sustain through this. Get a few more stacks. Stun layer down. A bit more follow up. Daglas over eager, not respecting the position. <laughs> Adam, yes, he's low health, he's out. but he's still an Olaf. off the axe. <laughs> not going to get Also, one HP. Coming out from Daglas. Daglas didn't Adam get the red. The losing trade into running to defend jungle anyway. Really, really close there. The axe manages to land on the slow from Shio and the CC, but the, uh, not having the flash from Shio or Adam. Is they can't chase away. Okay, it's, it's not the worst now. Gonna get the scuttle crab on the top side. Things down to the bottom side of the map. You expect that to be the focus point for Dex. Not the worst now. Recoup some XP. Karzi and Hellsang having a hell of a time. Wow, Hilly Karzi are doing really well in this lane. Nautilus obviously with Hex Flash said you want to hear it comes, baby. Lot in terms of wave pressure, forcing these recalls as the waves. Oh, this gank is also mega risky. Hellsang gonna do what Hellsang does, which is stop them at any cost. Now. Oh, what a good charm. In. Shao there once again. What a good charm. Not quite able to get the fourth. Really He's unlucky timing for VTO to, to trade like that. And you can see the setup potential from the CC, from the Ari and the Sejuani. I imagine this next five minutes, it could get pretty dicey if Lebrov decides to move up with his six because it's a flashless Jace who's... This game is really good for Vitality, actually. Without the I think the, the Sejuani blundered the split map. I think Shio should have just full cleared. Yeah, Jason, the isolated 1v1 always feels so good. You know, yeah. you do so much damage in the short trades, but you're building tier... And early. not showed. Daglas will be really far behind. They couldn't get the wave into dive because Rumble can just fight the Olaf on the wave before it hits tower. Rumble level three is so strong. Overheat, fucking blasting session. Farming Nautilus versus Cardi, who's now roaming up. is this guy high? Sejuani sneaking into the bush there, up there, and this flashless both of the top laners. So right now, I really want to see Daglas cover. This does look like it could be a losing two v two for Vitality though. That nah, I think Vitality wins this two v two if Maokai's there. But Maokai's not going to be here, is he? Yeah, Maokai's here. I think Vitality win. But Maokai's running away. No Maokai comeback. Help! Uh, Photon knows something sussy. Maybe he lives. Charm flash could be dangerous. Oh my god, the creeps hurt. Photon's gonna get level 6 as well here. Oh, Nuke's gonna get level 6 in one minion. Here it comes. Can't even walk forward. Equalizer. They both burning. hit six. Wow, this is There's so fucking close to the game. Difference. Level six to level four. I mean, and he gets equalizer. They sent three members top to help Adam push. And Where is Vito at? Says, nah. Where is this chase? Today, Chief. <laughs> this is a bit of a diffy in the tiffy. And, uh, you know, credit to BDS. I think it just Adam, a little bit. Just dive this guy. He showed itself earlier. And this is what we're seeing. Oh, he has no Q on Rumble now. Oh, Daglas back away. This could be a dive setup. You can see Sejuani's already beelining topside. Is this guy just going to go solo kill the Maokai? Oh, Vito has no flash. Bro, everyone should have died, but no one's died. And now Vito loses a mid wave and Nuke's coming back up. And now Vito's the one who's dead. <laughs> and so is Daglas dead as well, I think. Oh my god, Vitality is fucking ending. Photon played so well in this sequence. Yeah, and we take stock of this. At the end of the day, it was Photon so played that so well. Vitality choking Adam out of the game, but the moment where they split, where Photon shows on that top wave, yeah. gives BDS access to walk in with a man advantage, and VTO squishy. They have more than enough base damage. You said it before; it didn't get to show itself in the top side skirmish where Photon stood his ground, but it does show itself there. And I think uh, now Vitality Photon's punished for winning lane because his jungle mid just fucking into it. Yeah, no ult for Rumble either. He used that to clear the wave earlier, so they're just lacking a lot of firepower. They really don't have any. Maokai early game is not very strong. 
right? You just have nothing. Typically, your farming Hex string for Olaf. Oi, oi, oi. Rumble has swiftness boots. That's such a good buy. You mentioned earlier, Maokai usually, you know, take a step back in terms of the presence they can offer the skirmishes. It feels like Vitality kind of altered the script there when Photon got so far ahead individually, but forgetting that when Photon's not a part of the fight, when that ultimate's not available, that they really don't have the advantage. That said, in the 1v1, you can still see... Photon damage. murders Photon him now, even with Hexrinker, doesn't matter. The phase rush. Doesn't want to just get run down, but Look at this Olaf! He's down. getting destroyed! Yeah, This is unplayable. 50% attack speed in Rumble Overheat, by the way, with percentage health yeah, cool. uh, magic damage. It's, uh, it's, an, it's an interesting you one. Why is every champion that like shoots fire out or spits fire out just really strong? Yeah, even the Hexrinker, not going to save him. Maybe uh, Adam has to go to lane. Invest. I don't know, he has no boots. Gold, which is probably the... Uh, <laughs> The objective best, like early game defensive item for an AD champion against an AP champion, yeah. it's just so good. It's so much better than He's not ghosting to lane, though. Like what it provides you, and oh, you he's bleeding minions. Yeah. <laughs> Both neutrals, it looks like. I think BDS are just running the early Photon game. Rumble is clean. Like, like, composition. But both neutrals going on the side of BDS, I don't think they contested. BTS has still no flash, so he can't get in there. Yeah, so as dire as top lane is, BDS still exerting a lot of pressure across the map. Getting a dragon, mm. getting two out of three of the Void Grubs. So holding on to a little bit of control in the game and holding on to the gold lead critically. That is Shale. It's not entirely him. Bot lane, of course, is super deceiving because the Senna isn't farming. You kind of have to look Wasted at Wasted Ignite? No, it's not. Except that they're you guys think Ignite is always used for all ins to kill. It's actually not. Sometimes you use Ignite to push out, right? So, like, what Rumble was doing there is he didn't have a kill angle, but he was trying to force Olaf out of lane so he can deny him, like, 100, 200 gold worth of creeps and then force the wave to bounce into him. And that can convert to more plates Enemy Junger is clearing the top, the so if he crashes the wave, he can force him out of lane, crash the wave, let it bounce into him, and then he can play safe on Enemy Junger's top side. See this? Look, waves coming into him, Sejuani's top, he's fine, he can't get dove. So it actually like... And look, Ignite's already half cooldown off, right? So the Ignite was really good. Doesn't really mean too much. Vitality, getting control of this bush as much as they can, really just trying to stop BDS from being able to get out of bottom lane. As long as that bush is dark, he like, he like so put himself in a really good lane state from making the Olaf base there. Good vision around the Drake, but not much else vision for BDS. Yeah. Topside camps up for the Maokai. Pathing, opening through mid lane. They do have some options. I think Photon managed to hold the freeze there. So, potentially an avenue. Aragon's doing really good at casting. He watches the minimap really well, but I don't think Photon's holding a freeze. But he's he's doing the right thing. Hold on to this lead and see what the equalizers do. I think he's gonna start pushing back now because Daglas wants to contest River. Let's see, the waves are coming in anyway. Daglas is six. He's overheating. You can see top left, so he just got a massive trade onto Adam. Now, who has Daglas could abandon this camp, go gank top instead, and run through lane. But the problem is Nuke has mid push. Maybe he's gonna lose this Grump. And the nice thing is you Your Photon is frying kind of Adam's HP bar. Yeah, you know, you get a bit of extra oh. vision. But BTO didn't think Merc he treads. was the target. Charm going in. Merc treads. comes out just in time. Charm comes out a little bit late for Nuke. Yeah. Those Merc treads. You forgot to turn the fire on the TV. Crucial Shut up. purchase to make sure they didn't drop there. Yeah. Crucially, now, does this give them control of Grubs? Because that's a flashless Jace again. Fight comes in topside. See, this is why Shea Photon starts bouncing the wave, because he needs to help his jungler. Daglas just waiting to see if Shea would commit anything else. Photon obviously... Did you know Aragorn there. broke his toe on the Orc helmet? Yeah, I did know that. Still two levels down. Photon keen to remind him of that fact. Another hex drinker proc to oh. keep Adam alive. The no sums. Ticking. And you could see Photon was planning that the entire time. Pings uh, for assistance consistently coming down in the top side there, trying to ping for something to play off of the chunk. Now. My, I mean, you just watch topside on this map. Is he but dead? Oh, yeah, he's dead. This is the problem. Is that pressure point? BDS don't have enough resources to cover the bottom Easy side. kill. Taken out. What is they going on in bot? So How do they get a window to do that? Eight. He's got so many items. You're not used to seeing a support this strong. <laughs> You're absolutely right. That's the, that's TP the in from Jace. Why? Everywhere. Oh my god, he but failed his QE as well. But to the angle, but we might have oh to my the god! Daglas is a bit tankier than in the previous exchange, and there's no Ari this time around. Yeah. Labrov conceding bot side, and Zeri gonna be able to get there, but decides, you know, we went down to two plates, I need to make a plate happen top side, recover Adam a little bit, because you could tell he was chunk, so they need to cover on the dive, still. Oh, VTO TP top and fail this combo. Ice falling far, quite far behind. EU Jace, man! He has a 300 gold lead. 
over a Senna who is not farming. That is concerning. That was a 1.4k gold lead for Hillisang. It's kind of fake data, obviously, because he is getting CS, but that early Frozen Heart. All right, Hold grubby start. So much harder. Zary slides so much harder in the fights with that defensive item. Senna's he here. Nautilus has no TP, here. though. Yeah, TP up for Nuke. on the way. TP up for Nuke. Zary on the way with the tier two boots. She's going to be there first. Hillisang isn't there, so this is just a uh, BDS favored fight here. Man advantage. They could Maokai ult this, but on the side, though. If he gets caught out, they don't have Rumble ult. BDS, good presence of mind. So there's not much follow up. To ensure that they had a man advantage. Vitality feels strong. Four grubbies to BDS. Force when they're down a player. Grubs going to the side of BDS. Adam now finally able to get a little bit back on the top side of the map. Plate's going to fall away in a minute. He will grab at least one of those. Yeah, I really like this decision because you have multiple grubs for BDS. You were losing on both sides of the map and you transitioned to kind of a 50 Oh, charm hit. Coming out Arm connecting onto the no rumble Dash still, though. Oh, Nuke one shot. On the chase, the power point for Vitality. Just nice take of the Blast Gun there, Karzi. Shale running. And Root as well came out. Who the fuck just flashed? Daglas flashed. Play starts well, but I think they just overstay their welcome. LeBrov does make it out to safety, just barely. Man, Karzi and Photon are... But take a look on the upside of the map. You have Demolish Proc's nice. Nautilus just farming plates on his own. We're going to get a really Hilly's just... I never thought I'd Nautilus say this, but Hilly yeah, didn't yeah, leave his lane to go fight. And he hasn't died yet. Nautilus, of course, but Hill was saying... I mean, doesn't win the 2 He's dead. One, but Nautilus... With gold, does not mess around. Is he dead? Nice, though. Knows he has the backup. Does feel comfortable. Hillisang waiting as long as possible. To Hook the tower. Hook that. Hook something. Oh, he's oh, out. Hell yeah. Hilly was just pushing okay. bot, Hillisang taking tower plates. I never thought I would say that. I always thought very clean this motherfucker would just roam to any fight that exists in any universe. So nothing too much going to happen here. Hillisang not going to miss too much either. And the Senna stack check, of course, it is above her portrait there, above Global 8. There's no way That's someone in chat just said, Rakan, 100 CS behind North Kek. RZ sitting there scaling pretty comfortably, and I think this is kind of the insult to injury portion of this game, is because they got that dive off on the bottom side, and because Senna is getting so many stacks, yeah. it's just, it's frustrating because you also have this top lane problem that for now is an Adam problem, but very quickly is going to be an everybody problem. This, Oy, uh, this dragon feels like they're getting a bit away with murder. If you take a look at the item advantage, it's like completed items to components across the board here. Have a reset. Karzi, be careful. Chase. No cleanse. See why Senna has been a bit of a priority. Woo. Shea not going to throw the alt out. Karzi able to backstep just in time. And the dragon coming through, and you highlighted it. If you take a look at the itemization, uh, Jace bits and pieces versus the malignance of Nuke. Yeah. More on Olaf. Robbery there, I think. Securing that dragon, just super nice. The scaling team always loves securing dragon because it buys them more time before the soul win condition, which they have to contest. So, you see top side as well. Will this yeah, Olaf be, be a problem? Happen, so mm. just into some I feel like BDS's comp only really has one way to play the game, and it's run forwards and kill everything in their path. They can't kite back with Olaf. Rakan. Their only direction is forwards. They have just finished their recalls. Hubris. BDO just built hu Hubris. I've seen different builds for Jace. I've seen Eclipse. I've seen uh You've seen Hydra build item. the item that is so greedy. It's mine Yeah, as well Hubris is kind of greedy. greedy. Yeah, but you get statues, man. You do get statues, <laughs> which is fire. That's my favorite. It's, cool. <laughs> it's a, really it's a cool perfectly item. designed item and in terms uh, of what it brings. Passive name Ego. Uh, I like that a lot. Yeah. But yeah, Vitality going to secure this. Going to play for cross map down bot side instead. I'm surprised about this. I thought they'd want to contest considering the item advantage. I guess that did fizzle away a little bit. Perhaps willing to contest the Herald just to give... They get bot tier one. Uh, not the, the worst. First blood tower to Ari. I mean, Actually, it's not even first blood tower. It's kind of useless. Here, but, uh, Vitality have already let but it is what go. it is. Get Ari ahead as much as possible. Ay, ay, ay. Adam, Adam, Adam. Adam needs to get kills in the next fights or two. Otherwise, he's just going to fall off a cliff. No Nautilus ult, Shio lives here. Could Maokai ult soon, try and force a tier 2. There's Maokai ult. They should drive it now and force a tier 2 maybe. Here we get Olaf's... Uh, oh my god, Olaf's ult's gone. Oh my god! The damage is crazy. Oh, the snipe as well! Yo, Photon is frying. Oh my god, Photon, you're a psychopath! That was too much. I'm not gonna lie, that was too much. Nuke, Nuke, you're going in 1v4, buddy. 1v5. <laughs> what is happening, man? What is happening?
Yes. What is happening? Is this a new vitality we have here? They're so clean. What is Nuke doing? Why is Adam so useless? I love it so much. How the broken is Photon? Coming in from the Jason These are the questions. So the replay. Take a look here. Look, look at this. Senna ulti, Rumble ulti, JCQs. How can you play if you don't have a lean? You can't run over them. You can't. He just, just missed the E on Rumble. Maybe it would kill him there. Rumble solo queue experience. I did not to expect to see it in the pro game, but here we are. Nonetheless, against Adam. What is Counts Nuke doing? With a with a pick, with a Where is he pick. going? I mean, credit to Photon. Punishing, pressing these advantages. And I think Adam's going to be kicking himself. And not just because of the lane pick, but in that instance, if he just ults a little bit sooner, I didn't check the cooldown. Maybe it had just come up. Mm. But lets the hook hit and then ults, and the pullback has already come through, and that forces the flash. Truth. Every well. time. And Every time I see someone write the OME emote, that's when you know you fucked up. If you get OME as a player. <laughs> 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, probably even in some cases at a man disadvantage. We talked about hubris and <laughs> it's staying on that 19 extra AD for 90 seconds. And pretty easy to keep that stacking up as a Jace when you have so much long range poke. BDS kind of fishing for a quick play here because this is the weak side of the, the map. They have Ari down bot side without TP, so they were just seeing if they could BDS fish throwing like Cadrel. What do you mean? I don't throw. They have a bunch of base damage, so they can work. All right, they're forcing down top tier one, and they have TP on Jace. Adams in a bush. They take a proper three on three. They'll win. They have first move on side vitality for everyone. It's five top side, complete overloading the side. And transition to that and some tower damage. VTO waiting in the darkness, hoping to catch the rotation. I think coming out from Nuke, we'll see if he has managed to make the play there. Ooh, VTO can force ult. The 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 forcing out the Ari ultimate is big. Stops mm -hmm. so much of the potential playmaking, the counter punch potential of BDS. Yeah, I I'm really surprised. Man, Chad, hubris has to be a trash item, right? Of, like not being able to like it just the is. The TP. I thought he just right? commit to the side right? and play. Say yes. Uh, and potentially cross map down bot side, but maybe he can't because of Fatio's potential threat. And it's only a 3k gold lead, which is significant, don't get me wrong. Yep. But Vitality are playing with so much confidence. Uh, VTO just setting up in the darkness, hoping to catch BDS on the punish yep. when they skip steps in the setup. You know, new kind of wandering into Fog of War feels like he knows where Vitality is, but he doesn't have perfect information, and it costs him that ulti. And now the next play is that much easier. The incremental advantage is continuing to stack. Adam, no flash for the next few seconds. Nuke, no ultimate. And it's going to make BDS getting anything else done really tricky. You can see now. This Olaf has before, to be the most useless thing on the planet. On the VTO, More plated steel caps, ruby yeah, crystal. Everything's coming down this this Senna is going to murder him. Seconds, rather. But Drake and 10. Really case of they just need to press R. Can Ice carry this? I think it's done so, bro. With Malkai ult from Fog of War onto the team. Because then they could just... <laughs> the with, the, with the Rumble ult, with the Senna ult. There's so much range that they could play off of. I don't think BDS can muscle this. I mean, Ice, one and a half items. New one and a half it's items. good on Rengar, Hubris. Oh, really, Olaf is it? Olaf is Olaf. You know, you get Shocker. The Magi's AD do item do is good on the thing, fucking cringe-ass one-shot kitty cat. Again, Vitality playing a little bit slow. Ulti now going to come out. Keep your eyes on Photon's equalizer. Where is it going to go? Oh, flash hook was clean by Hilly there. The combo is clean. There is no room. For get him, Hilly. Get him. No Show me another hook. He's got no hook that bitch. Now, Vitality, how deep that, not the wall. Nice from Adam. Now Works. Will hold on to his own life. And Vitality are clean with it. The dragon's theirs. <laughs> it's just like, what what avenue does Ice have to potentially have uptime to be able to hit in this fight? And the, the the reality is that isn't. Everyone's too squishy, the engage is too easy, they're too scattered. And Ice just can't find anything to potentially do. You talked about it in the draft. Zeri needs uptime, needs to be able to just hit. Hmm? But Senna, Ice is range, behind Senna and Gold. Isn't getting better. The yeah, Senna, well, that's already enough range. And then you've got Senna's Fultar, really fed. Who's so far ahead of the clock in terms of individual gold? She has got 96 yeah, souls at 20 you, minutes. That's yeah, pretty I, insane, I actually. Put on side, to find 96 kind of souls on Senna. Like what dragon. the fuck? It's rough because it's going to be third dragon, but they need items. They're too, they're too poor. Man, they, they need to cross map for one of these tier twos and get an objective bounty, and that's the avenue back in the game. I feel like that's what you say when uh, you're always behind, but it really is the only avenue. Some bounties, you know, 200 gold shutdown on Photon, 300 gold shutdown on Marty. There are avenues. I love it now. The hu the new QXDD is turned into the OMG emote. With this champion, but really have to find a way to make it work, and it hasn't been happening. Outside of that single play on the top side, where it feels like Vitality got a little bit ahead of themselves, Photon wasn't a part of that yep. trio. Um, they've been playing flawlessly. I mean, winning out just about across the entire map. The problem is they just lose side on <laughs> they lose side in both matches. Fnatic versus so K Corp. They could just go one Freest win of my life. Just stall for dragons and inevitably outscale. So it feels like a checkmate for Vitality, really. What? And then we have to look at Vitality and talk, you know, discipline. Is it gonna be there this time around? Mm. Their, their early game, you know, we saw against TH, especially against the Wukong. 
Uh, rough in the early, but pretty clean, pretty controlled in the mid game. It was with Smolder, so you know, partial credit, let's say. Now see if they can clean it up here. Pick out on a dag, West Adam should just be able to come Oh, phase rush Maokai. Oop, WQ. Car what, Adam flashed on him. Does Karsi have no flash? Oh my god, mega kill. Oh, E flash from Nuke. Oh, the rumble ult is insane! Oh my god, this rumble! Oh my god, Photon is just completely destroying them. Rumble just try to spin to hit everybody like that. <laughs> you were talking about discipline, and they run in face check and get hooked. Senna, we take a look at this replay. I mean, it's just a classic vitality moment. They try uh, to walk in, bait some spells out. Very, very normal. Daglas tanks a uh, uh, frozen domain, but uh, you can see the, the phrase phase rush to run away, and then Senna gets hooked. Kazi can't go anywhere, but the TB comes in. Vetio is trying to help for some reason, and then uh, I think we just all need to be silent to watch the equalizer. Yeah. <laughs> what a rumble. <laughs> Yeah. And here, my favorite, just watch him spin. He's, He's literally uh, <laughs> dancing on them. He's just trying to hit everybody. He managed to get the angle at the last Holy second, shit, that rumble. Going to stasis. Holy he fuck. Goes off in the stasis as well, and, and you absolutely the saved the game. They finally found their window of opportunity. They spotted oh, Vitality, brutal. skipping steps, getting over eager, trying to bait cooldowns, you know, doing things that they probably didn't need to do, and it looked right up until that equalizer came down like Damn, Photon. It's <laughs> yeah, they started Nash for no reason there. Vitality Macro might oh be a little bit shit. <laughs> so hopefully they clean that up and they stop just getting sucked in towards this Baron area and getting caught. And any fight they take, there's no flashing away from a Rumble, uh, sorry, a Rumble or a Maokai anymore. They did the double ward stack. See the back of the pit there? There's a ward on a pink. Oh, it's a ward on a ward, actually. BTO is just randomly in team. And Hilly wants to fight, so he's got... Ooh, Senna ult was crazy good there with Nautilus ult. Bro, EU's way of ending the game. Woo! Fight that Baron. They're 4 before a Nash here, but there's no Ariel, no Rakan ult, but Zeri has some tools to work with, it's just if she gets hooked, she's fucking one-shot. They have no jungler though, so just finish. Holy Hilly. Rakan, chase him! He's gonna W back over the wall, isn't he? Too scared of the turn. If Where'd he go? Dashes forward, presses R, gets bonus damage. It doesn't matter because Maokai will flash the And uh, Oh my god, he just left him. Here, but if you're gonna die anyway, then he is. Yeah. You kind of delayed your own death That's timer, true. which is a bit rough. Yeah, and delayed death timer with 50 seconds left of third. Senna's on our horse. Is uh, pretty brutal because now you Hilla can see zero deaths. Vision. Feel strong, yeah, man. It, it was another decent equalizer. It wasn't quite, wasn't quite the last one, but VTO getting caught again. Vitality mid game. Uh, around the snowballing around this Baron. But still, the hook comes out, they manage to one-pop the Sejuani, and the Senna ult with the beautiful three-man Nautilus uh, knockout that you highlighted. Yeah, just turn around. I mean, the, yeah, it was overall pretty clean. And Vitality, I don't know whether or not to respect the fact that they know they're so strong that they can get away with that, or question the fact that they keep wandering. I used to pray for them. days like this, know, Hilly I, Zero Deaths. It worked. No, so you didn't. Point, guess, You're fucking lying. You never prayed for Hilly Zero Deaths. You never did that. that said, Why would you ever want Hilly to have Zero Deaths? Lead. Two dragons, we're not really close to Soul. You can see what is potentially a very long flank from Cheo here. So BDS opting to cross map top side with six grubs. Now I would love to see Vetio actually potentially recall and go defend top tier two preemptively, knowing that they're. Why didn't Vetio QE? Uh, he probably used map. his his shock is his he gate to get out of base so faster, so he probably didn't have it. Top tier two. He would have been able to TP in. Doesn't look like he's going to. I'd rather be the threat on the tower. Maybe feeling like they can break the base here. Oh, he's recalling now. Okay, finally going to recall. Resets coming in for Photon as well. Surprised that we're not seeing Vitality take the dragon on the exit. The pings are now coming yeah. down. Looks like they will grab it. But a minute 18 left on the Baron, only grabbing a couple tier twos. All things considered, not too bad for BDS. You usually expect more from a Baron when a team is this far ahead, but good good heads up play from BDS to kind of make the counter push on the top side of the map and force a response. Yeah, a tiny bit of gold injection onto the Olaf. Now, it's very simple. If you're Vitality, you just play the top side. You can Maokail as you hit top side. Uh, Tower, tier two towers. 
They're dropping in the... The gold injection is highlighted by our friend Sanchez <laughs> Dare here. But that's a total damage. Excuse me. We all prayed for this. For no, I was like, it's not looking, it's looking grim. They have no top the wave to play on. Adam can sneak it right now. Adam gets top wave. Yoink. Full top side vision push mid and top in. You don't have a tier 2 bot to play for him. You have tier 2 top. Um, and you Maokail to get uptime on the tower to secure it. Uh, very simple. You can see Vatio going over to hit the bot, uh, wave in top 2. This point. Senna has 125 stacks. Mamma Mia. Hilly just bought a support item. Jesus Christ, yeah, chill out, you're spamming it. Yeah, I don't know why he just bought it now. We'll get that wave started. Vitality trying to leverage. The last, well, they're not even really going to crash this barrier. I have no idea why he bought it now. I think, honestly, I think they could siege it pretty simply. They just throw down various ults to stop. Um, them getting run down, but it doesn't look like they're gonna commit. Maybe is this right. like, actually this, smart, or is this Hilly has a little bit of gold in his inventory? Yeah, Fuck it, I'll buy this. I'm done farming anyway. Malkyle, Rumble, all walk up with like at least one creep and just burn it down. But yeah, Kazi, just on the way. No vision. All right, so how do you find the flanks? Nuke. They want to play for mid push. Blue trinket used. Two minutes, thirty seconds on the Baron though. There's not really a lot for BDS to go for here. Oh, into the wall. LeBron now running for his The Root's going to Root miss. Still, oh, Root gonna miss. LeBron, the oh my is. god, this is such a mess by Vitality. <laughs> Why are we rumble ulting here? Carzy chasing through. Keep in mind, Carzy, 126 stacks. And he's still killing LeBron. Go on, flash Hilly. Oh, you don't have flash. You already did it. Oh, Ooh, what a shot by Carzy. Clean read coming from Carzy. Yeah, ping's coming down mid now. They just want to siege. Utilizing whatever they have left. No Malkyl, no Equalizer either, but they have the threat of the Shot Glass. It's, maybe it's because Senna's going to start farming. Senna's not going to sell her Blood Song. They're going to have no Ward item. This is not... I don't think this is 5 head. Am I high? What do you mean? I don't think Senna's going to sell her Blood Song. She needs to keep it. Maybe she would sell Blood Song if she's 6 items, but it's going to be a while still before then. Try to flank, Labrov try to flank. Unless one of them just gets one pop, like the center, um, the fight is just winning. So they can take whatever they like as long as they're yeah. kind of clumped. Maybe it's good the if the game was close game. and it's going mega late game. Then I guess it could work, right? Chatterman's is so powerful now. The fact that he has Lord Dominic's two items plus the yeah. Blood Song, uh, 129 souls. In LCS, I think they say 140 souls is where it feels unbeatable. But like, it already feels unbeatable right now. There is no. <laughs> Bro, this OMG emote is yeah. like. <laughs> I mean, that emote is so like, fucking I dumb, bro. If anything, this is the closest <laughs> you're gonna be. Uh, for a little while, at the very least. You have two minutes till the dragon has time, but you're not gonna complete an item. So a fight now is as good as any. Uh, Ice probably doesn't want to commit his flash at any point though, so it's wow. Maybe Vitality popping some sums before that soul fight too. Keep your eyes on those cooldowns for Ice. He's able to go into the next fight with two extra. Hilly hasn't died yet. I know. I didn't use to pray for times like this. Hilly changed, and I'm sad. I'm not afraid to admit it. Could be an avenue back to the game. Ay 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 ay, mama. Yo. What the hell? They don't even have a wave. Why did they do that? Why did they rumble ult? They can't take top tier two now. I think they probably could have taken it if they waited for the next wave to come in. Now they just have to base. It's fine though. Nash is up soon. Easy play. Yeah, I mean it's just Adam, right? I, he wants to die backline play on low HP all the time with versus low DPS, but he just he can't, right? Because they're so far accelerated. Every single item that you want, a bunch of AP and void stuff coming out for the rumble as well. So many item thresholds here that he just cannot tank and he's gonna play. Alright, Ice, can you single handedly carry the game with a Sejuani CC and a Rakan CC and a fucking Ari CC? I think the answer is no. Rumble ult and JCQ will make this impossible to win. Try to get something, but BDS on the I mean they can't even the second Vitality Ooh. show up in fourth, there's Nuke, no you good cut. Nuke now in trouble to Sacral. Nah, you're well. basing and TPing, bro. Yeah. You ain't part of this fight. The, uh, shot last. Yeah, the slow as well. Okay, Vitality, <laughs> listen, listen, Vitality. Baron is spawned, but Drake's up in 40. Maybe we shouldn't force Nash here, because we could throw the entire game and lose soul. Or we could fake bait Baron, force them in, poke them, and then go to Drake. We're going to force Baron. You know what? Fuck it. Full send. Yeah, don't be like Gen G. Don't take it slow. Just fucking send it. Good idea. Fuck it. Okay, you decided to use your brains. That's a bit boring. Why did you do that? Forcing the fight, forcing them to come into them, and then tank shot plus is a, is, it's a really interesting creative way of making them secure poke. But now, now we're going to go to Dwagon. 
Olaf Nold. Oh shit, we're flashing on Sejuani. Boom, big kill. Looking to find the flank, but he will get punished for doing so. One member down already. Mountain Soul coming in for Vitality. Uh, sorry, yeah, for Vitality. And there's no cross map available for BDS. They can't exactly push in top tier two in time. Vitality could just recall and now. With Are you okay, Kai? Your energy seems low. Bro, I, my, my energy is great. What are you on about? And my energy is mega good. Early game I'm for chilling. Vitality. It's still got some hiccups, as we saw yeah. yesterday. But mid late, even without Smolder. Admittedly, with another stack champion. <laughs> so up. we're looking, and we got, we're going to keep an eye on Karzy and these inevitable scaling champions we go for. But it's looking pretty clean, pretty disciplined. Yes, they skip a step here and there, but usually when they have a big enough gold lead. Good macro by Vitality. Good, good hustle. Punishing BDS left and right across yeah. this entire mid game. I, th I think that's the nature of Vitality. They don't, they don't just like to sit back and wait for each dragon. Um, they, they prefer to force stuff in between. Maybe like I forgot that I was in the studio. Spells, Holy shit. I'm sitting here with no shoes on. My socks are out. Yeah, I'm laying on the fucking... My you legs are on the desk. <laughs> I forgot I was in the studio. She's never gonna get in range to auto attack that center. Yep. It's really hard to find up time. I think that's the uh, name yeah. of the game. Yo, Cadrill. I mean, you keep talking. I got about offered a sub time. this morning. Concept, you know, congrats, bro. Have time to just auto attack to just hit. Congrats, Ka. Ice? No. He gets an ultra shock laser here and there. He might get a couple autos on Daglas or Photon, but I'd love to see his damage dealt actually, because I don't think I've seen him alter someone yet. But Lebrov. Now it should be really easy to crack top tier 3. Rumble stays mid and buffs waves, hovers in vision top side when they have pinks down. They push in top, they mouk ult if they need to, and they take the tower. I think Photon is... Oh, they're using Hilly as the, the bridge with Karzy. So they can rumble ult maybe on the tier 3. Yeah, okay. I think Senna being on the tower helps a lot though. But this is the downside is once the Maokai gets out of those early stages, he never has And now they can either move yet. mid or they can start threatening so mid to top. Players. Still a lot of single target burst for BDS if they manage to land a charm into some kind of Sejuani ult situation. Next okay, top wave looks great point. to play. Ooh, they hooked the fucking... What a mega hook by Hilly. How does Ari get hooked? What is it? Hilly's just sending it! Yo, Hilly! What the fuck? He hooked Ari, got a rumble ult, killed Ari, flash auto, got Zeri flash, hooked her flash. Yow! That's it. Senna. We're done. So many, she almost has 160 Labrov's stats. flanking. Labrov is committed Pulse to the champ. Flank, but there's no follow up. There's no damage. Photon's just going to walk into a 1v3 and kill everybody. He doesn't even need the rest of his team. Vitality. Boom. What a dunk by VT. Oh. Was this game any good? Actually, it wasn't a bad game from Vitality. Actually, wasn't a bad game from Vitality. They kind of threw a few fights in mid, and Rumble had to clutch it. But other than that, there wasn't that many you know mistakes. Who your key of the game is. Yeah. I'm not even going to say it. 2 for Most decent. You both for anyone else they made some early plays in top uh, that were bad as well by the Jace Maokai to put the Olaf in an even slash like slightly losing state. a little bit more about Smolder than a lot of people would have liked. Today, a very different story. Showing some mid-game issues up. Uh, where yesterday they completely threw it away. Bum, bum, bum. Chat, I'm gonna go make a coffee. So I'll be back in like two minutes. I'm gonna go grab a coffee and pee, and then I should be good to go for the next four games non-stop. Why are they all so expressive? <laughs> non stop. A game of with Let me coach put my today. shoes on. My Oi. The day, Don't be degenerate. The and if anyone goes behind me and starts Photon. doing any dumb shit, uh, make sure you tell guy. me. It's really Photon. You have three choices. BRB quick. Make a mistake. It's the illusion of have you ever been to obvious. Toronto? No. Also a surprise, Isn't that in Canada? To me. I've never BDS been to Canada. A Canadian nuts. You think it might work out? A little bit more for them. And you can see them branching out. Yep, you can see them branching out. But now the bow coming in from Vitality. Looking good overall. And after the break, Laura will be sitting down with VTO to talk a little bit more about that game. Red Bull gives you wings.
Oh my god, I'm so awkward, chat. I'm so. Ah! I want Kajo to kiss me. I'm not gonna kiss you. Shut up. Yeah, when's Dagda coming up here? When's Dagda coming up here? This guy was like, yo, can I have a picture? I really like your rat content. It's like, bro, what do you mean my rat content? Okay, it's not it's not rat content. It's just it's just it's just content. Why do we have to label it rat content? Why does someone come in the chat saying bros looking the wrong way? Little bro is giving them comments. I play with you. Yo, chat, shut the fuck up. Block me, I'm the carry, you block me. Photon is making it work! It's the strongest rumble I've ever seen! Dragos! <laughs> and welcome back to the LEC as I'm joined by VTO. Welcome! VTO, thank you so much. Ça va, frérot? Ça va, ça va, thank you. Well, VTO, well, tell me how disgusting your Jace was. Crazy game, a good game. Because it was mega disgusting. Oh, so far uh, in spring. What did you think of BDS showing today and the way you answered them? Uh, I think they showed the same thing as always. Mm -hmm. Like they have. Uh, like the way of drafting is often like the same with hyper carry, like a bit more tanky jungle and like Adam, uh, one of his champ, or yeah. more melee to to play through top lane. Content for really rats. Early game. Uh, I think Shio is really good at uh, finding some some cheese or like find ways to to gank or invade, and I think it it cut off uh, a bit of guard yeah. uh, early game. But uh, after this, I think we had a really good draft, and then we I didn't so get I my daily quest. It was really. I think our comp was really easy to play, so it was yeah. not that hard. And a lot of good scaling and a lot of uh, <laughs> good setups. I think. Uh, which yes, you on did get your There's daily quest, Lilka. Your daily fight, quest is to shut the fuck up. That we saw earlier. You guys turned this one around. I don't I'm think kidding, it was really I'm initiated kidding. by you in the end. Uh, oh my god, chat, I'm gonna lose my mind. Do you know when you get a new screen or a new thing and it's got the fucking tape on it and you want to pull the tape off? This motherfucking thing has tape on it. I want to pull it off. Stick to Rumble, stick to Rumble. He was the power pick. There's so much tape. A bit like 2v5, then Kazi ints. Oh my god, I'm gonna pull a bit off. I TP in the. I don't know why I'm tipping. Oh my god, I'm gonna pull a bit off. So, but they. Like, but everything. Oh my on, god! On Kazi and me, and no, I can't do it. I'm gonna put it back on. Oh my god, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And then he just burns everyone, and they one shotted everyone with with Ili being there and and peeling for yeah. for photon, and then he's saying no photon peel for me because I'm the carry since he was playing like notious farming, but I think yeah photon is just he played so good this game from laning to like team fight it was it just they basically won this fight like three v five yeah so. Yeah, good job to my team. Good job to the team. Despite the int, he got the Kia player of the game uh, here today. What is special about do it? I'm not gonna do it. Laner, would you say? Um, I mean, I would say it. It reminds me a lot of Irit mm -hmm. when I played on Misfits. Uh, I think current top laners. I mean, I played with two now, and yeah. I, I can see a, a bit of a pattern. <laughs> but I think they they bring something that I'm here to get my daily quest. What's the quest today? And uh, I think it's like the, shut up. the way they lane and, um, and uh, how they see team fight and how good they can be in team fight is there something that yeah. and your reward is as here it was is uh, like just uh, like one really really good um, and I one think XCD yeah uh, that's something that's it and that's Sotan a reward can play so many champs so a lot of carries but yeah. I think you can play. Other champs too, so I think that that's great. Cap's and dad is here, chat. Cap's dad is wandering around the audience. For sure, but despite the uh, numerous uh, Korean top laners that you had in your chat, career, look who's I on stage. Like you evolved a lot, and especially Rogue. Damn, casual rogues on stage. Yeah, Personally, they are. I'm not talking about winning the split or anything, but when it comes to what you want to be as a player, what should we be looking forward to? I mean, I don't want to be anything in spring. Yeah. I'm mostly aiming for end of summer. Okay. And I just want to be the most complete player I can be. I think I showed in the past that I can play team fights good. I can play carries, some melee champs good. But I think my understanding of side laning, uh, mid game, or laning, uh, I've been way weaker than, than the rest. And that's what I'm 
mostly focusing on. I think I did a backflip and broke my neck. Thanks for the quest. Yo, no worries, bro. Worse than I was before. No worries. And that I was in winter because I'm just. Chat, you know what's crazy to me? all the information I can and mm -hmm. learning so I'll much. Wait for me to so, finish. like, individually, I'm playing worse. But once uh, I will, like, get wh wh what I'm learning right now, I think, and I will get back to my peak uh, level individual, I will be so much better and so much more complete. In the champs I play, I think I, I'm training so many champs that I didn't play much. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm aiming at the end of the year. I love the fact that you want to take some time here and uh, let things build with vitality. But thank you so much for the interview and sharing your thoughts again, Vitio. Best of luck tomorrow against Chat, SK. Chat, here's what I think. You, against Niski. It's gonna be fun. you know, and Kasters, there's... And back to you for the next game, Rogue versus oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lore and Vitio. Lore, absolutely fire. Shenron shirt today. Just got to you know, call that out. Um, Let's take a picture, Chat. gearing up for game two. Um, Dracos looks hella good, by the way. This haircut looks hella good. The Rumble show. Don't know if we're going to get the same this time around, although I do still think we're going to talk a little bit about top lane. We saw that Wukong come out yesterday. Yeah, Finn, maybe, an angle yeah. to talk about. He's been yeah. doing pretty good. So a reason to talk about top lane more today, especially with both these teams. Of course, Heretics and Rogue, both starting off Oh on my god, chat, I'm so awkward, man. Um, the know, photographer Rogue came in and wanted to take pictures of me. Mm. So I just sat here like this. A lot of hiccups here and there. Team Heretics. Fuck, game, man. Good. Yeah, I stopped yapping now. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, we're in draft. Place. And so just see how both these teams want to adjust. What do you say? Yes, about Jack's special team? Yeah, I think whenever you uh, play I said I was watching a stream. Uh, it's usually and he didn't like some build of Kaiser or some shit. They scaled too much. So knowing to give it over to Com makes a lot of sense. He did um, before, so maybe Zeri. Oriana Smolder Callista. I mean, you've taken away so Arsenal? many of the best Oriana Smolder Callista. also good. The Nautilus we've talked Oriana Smolder so Callista. Hoi Volibear Senna. The universal safe blind pick in the first. Talia pick first pick. Now mm. coming out. Of course, Azir is not a part of the pool, and Oriana has been banned away. How do you feel about the Talia? I gave me a sigh. I think I Draven like blind here is suicide because Varus is up. Broken, and I, I wouldn't mind Karma Sinzao can work into Talia, but I'm scared that they get Talia Vi. So playing so something like Zeri is really risky. So they're going to go Ziggs. Uh, we're one to wing Ziggs. We're one to wing Ziggs Nautilus. That just happened. Yes, it did. I think it's because they're scared of Talia Vi. I think full topside here for Heretics is not bad. So you're going to be able to move the Ziggs around the map. I don't know why I was looking at the ankles there. It's pre recorded. Maybe a good matchup as you outrange Talia. But uh, they have options to drop now because of uh, the Ziggs Nautilus. They could take the Varus here for Flacken and just play like Varus Brown. They could also just play Zaya uh, Rakan. Not the best into Ziggs, but what is good into Ziggs? You could take the Zeri yourself, but they have Nought. Zeri Vi? I think Vi here is a must pick if you're going to play Zeri on two. Otherwise, Rogue takes Vi on three, and I think the lockdown is really frustrating because they have double lockdown with Ziggs ult. And of course, we're just assuming that Ziggs goes bot lane because he's kind of. But Sejuani and Rel are very seen. powerful yeah, champions. Think, uh, and as much as Vi has really good lockdown, Sejuani and Rel is like busted wrong, as hell. You know, do, uh, Chow, what is that on my face? As well. I think my face is mega well. red. You see yeah, that? Has potential too with the dive what happened? Set up as a flex with Talia too. Um, but it's really what they want to round out their B3. I'm also curious to see if Rogue are going to They took the Vi, thank god. Alright, now Rogue on three here, need a team fight, engage, or a mid match. So, it's either. Okay, it's mid match, it's Tristana mid. I was gonna say Tristana if they're gonna play AP bot. But draft is as expected so far. I think bans coming out are situational. So, they're gonna take away Gragas, which makes you think of Jace. Now, Jace can work with Rogue's comp, but they're gonna have to play an AP jungler. They're probably gonna play Rel. Maokai, they're looking for Maokai Jace here, I think, Rogue, Jace top. Heretics have some engaged to play against the poke. I mean, Ziggs, Maokai, Jace would be the most annoying shit ever, so I wouldn't be mad about a Maokai Jace ban here from Heretics. Um, I don't know what Markun plays in jungle otherwise, or Finn plays, but they could pivot into a Cassante. but yeah, Maokai ban, very good. Now Rogue's ban here is also targeted at probably think, uh, wonder. They could ban Braum because they're playing Rogue, Tristana so Nautilus into Zeri. Braum really is not really a bad pick for Trimby here. Um, could also ban Lulu, but I don't think Lulu's worth banning. Well when you're, you're playing Vi, you don't really want to play with Lulu. I think Trimby Rel here is probably what they'll look for. Rakan is another engaged sport that follows up onto Vi pretty well. I feel like we see a one every now Heretics, again, I think Jace is a bit of a worry. 
but uh, Rakan banned away, the Maokai banned away too. So splitting up Especially the considering Maokai's down and they can deny Rel, they'd have to play Tristana, Sejuani, Jace, which I think isn't that good. Yeah, Rakan really good pairing with Zeri. Doesn't really have well much synergy on top side. The single target damage of the Talia and Vi. You just yeah. go in on the same target as the Vi, and it's just a one shot with a double knockup. So. Uh, on the flip side, they ban Nar. Heretics pinching junglers and they ban Nar. And there goes another blind for Finn with the Nar. Yeah. Why do they ban Nar? Pretty well in as well. So if they're not going to take it here. Why do they ban Nar? Feels like an easy option for Heretics. Are they going to pick way. But yesterday we Malphite like or some shit? Jaxing when they went Wukong. So I feel like Heretics maybe have a different read yeah. on the top lane. There's yes, the Sejuani. I think they should have uh, taken Rel away because I think Rel here is good for Heretics. So Very good. Has, maybe an into a tank here. They need follow up on Vi. Rakan's down. As well for and they already picked jungle. Um, I think, I'm thinking and they need to play into Nautilus. I think they should have denied Rel jungle here. Rogue a bit crazy if Heretics don't take Rel themselves and they go Lulu or Braum. I think Braum is acceptable. Kasante blind. I'm shocked. Are they really going to play Tristana, okay. Sejuani, Jace? We'll Renekton can work, but Renekton is really not, sure not good here. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> Renekton yeah. ain't Slightly great. Worse than before, Slightly worse. still, really, I think he's completely fine. You see it all the time in LCK, he's uh, more than fine to be playable. What and are we thinking, Trimby? Leona? Role. What? Reset, Ooh, I mean, it does the same thing as Rel, but Rel's just Leona's better. Interesting one. We don't see a ton of Leona mostly Right, because, okay, so uh, why don't we pick Rel on four here, Rogue? This was pretty obvious. Nearly as many other engaged supports. There's just a lot more. I think you deny their engaged so supports, the and they have to play here. Leona. Yeah, well, we mentioned this earlier. And then Nilthus is good into Leona because really you can well hooker E, and you have a stronger um, jungler. A lot of draft is about synergy. Anyway, so is it Jace or Renekton on five? Really or are you going to play something like Udir? If you play Udir, the comp's ruined and the game's lost. You're not playing Vayne top. Now, what does Finn have into the Cassante blind? Is it really Jace last pick here? Oh my and god. Okay, they're going Renekton. Oh, Alright, chat. Ads are going to run. If you want to avoid ads, you can use your tier 1 or Twitch Prime to support the channel. Type in sub mode and not get ads at all for a month. You'll never get ads during the game. That's why they're always running before the game starts. So I'll see you in a second. Alright. The Renekton, I guess they kind of have to go Renekton because Jace, Sejuani, Tristana is dog shit. It only has one melee champ in it, so they are forced on Renekton. But I think Renekton is just bad in this comp. Let's see it though. I just think that Heretics have. Annoying champions for uh, Renekton. You play Ziggs as in, in terms of a Ziggs composition, your most important aspects of gameplay to focus on are just control and moving Ziggs around to take every single plate, right? I remember back in the day, you would track plates, five uh, plates, top, mid, and bot, you know, and move them around. The same with the Tristana. You play side lane controlled and secure every single side lane at tier two tower. Oh, yeah, change title. Good That's one. Your general game plan if you're rogue. I mean, if you get any kind of lane lead, it's always a little bit nerve wracking because if Rogue swap up their lane assignments and what started as a Renekton getting two plates turns into Ziggs mm. taking the other three, you got yourself a big problem. <laughs> so see how we're oh, sieging a Rogue. How effective it will be in this game. Game two now coming at you. Both these teams, of course, starting off with a loss. are looking to shift things up today. My eyes are on Sejuani, Markoon early because yep. you have a lot more potential than a Vi early game. These Vi motherfuckers having a mid-off? <laughs> Shut up. Can three camp into invade, three camp into gank. What do you mean a mid-off? really is a plethora of options here, especially with the potential of playing through top or bot lane with that setup on the Renekton and Nautilus. See what they want to do, where they want to put the focus yeah. in the early game. Normally we kind of expect the Ziggs to be in isolation, farming until he gets that lost yeah. chapter. And with TP, I, you know. We know. We know. You're Ziggs. If you've not seen Ziggs Bob before, he pushes. That's what he does. Yeah. Uh, on the top side, though, I feel like, you know, some potential for volatility if that's where they want to show their faces. And maybe we end up in another split map situation. We're seeing the Rogue's comp is really good at taking game. towers, though. Drusana Ziggs, classic, classic, classic tower to taking comp. Some early vision. Yeah, I realize I'm listing off every single lane as potentially volatile, but that's because it's true, right? Mid lane, uh, the Tristana could also get ganked by the Talia with the setup and the Vi. So something that's really important when you play with these lanes that kind of want to perm push and threaten plates is that you shadow them. So I want to see Markun potentially hover through mid as well so that Larson can hit the turret. Right, Rogue did this yesterday. If Yankos gets nine kills, kills so you will shave your head. His allies can no, I will not. A bit more information. If Yankos gets Markun, 90 kills, I'll shave my head. Placed around his raptors. We'll see if he does this game. can to avoid that bit of vision. First bomb going a little bit wide. And it seems like Comp and Zulis are, are ready to just concede level two based on how they're posturing. Bomb not going into the wave always going to be a little bit tricky. Or just don't want to push too fast at the very least. Yeah, so what is Markun's choice here? Does he three camp red buff? Uh, 
into like, outside in it's literally it's, it's, you're it's setting it up like it's an episode of the bachelor it's like <laughs> who will he pick who will get the all right kira top to Mark bot from uh sejuani this is what Markun's good at right? i think He's top is a dead lane I, i'm gonna be honest i can like, see I why mark is batting top uh, bot to top to bot uh, any kind of i think it's such a dead lane top fantastic to dive as well i think larson should call his jungler mid a shit ton it's done there but obviously no larson should oh he's playing lethal tempo this game oh he's crazy no really got a good read Spyro yesterday, mm -hmm. you know, I, it just a bit Calm of a false start. Yeah, the, you know, I really hope Larson is spam calling him, his jungler so to come see mid. See if we get to see more from him on the Talia. It's hard to have a strong read after a single game on a brand new player to this stage. But obviously, some good tools to disrupt the Renekton, the Sidwani, Larson as well. Poke now is stepping in. Comp with a bit of follow up damage. Nice bit of burst there as Trippy. Make it 15, be real. Okay, if he gets 19 get kills this game, Yankos, I'll shave my head. This early game. We talked about where he's gonna go. There's um, no way he's gonna Wherever it is, he's been spotted. He got spotted on top side. He's been spotted Ooh, again. Ooh, big on hook from Zoilus. No not flash on Twimby. The trade from going nice plays from Rogue bot lane. Hell yeah. Markun has really some things to work with now. Trimby no flash. I wonder if Markun does anything about it. Maybe that just guarantees his crab because Trimby doesn't want to go up into River. I think uh, there was a world that Markun actually had to double back to the other crab, but now Yankos going to counter gank. Nice counter gank by Yankos. I must be careful about stepping too far up. Yeah. I think uh, Rogue really want to walk in this wave, and Markun isn't here. Should be no flash, so he feels like he's close enough, but we saw in the previous game as well. In a base and run top crab. Just a little bit desynced can cost you. Where is Perks? Oh, buddy. Luckily, Where have you been? Range, the wave you were living under a rock. Now just trying to ensure yep that step up and body block the wave to stop it from crashing. So, but jungler's gonna reset and go to the respawn camps. Uh, wonder if there's a play. There's pings coming down in top side, uh, walking in the wave, I imagine, to help wonder crash because Finn is incredibly strong at the moment. The way this matchup it's works, it's going is well. Zwyru still has a pot. Incredibly, Rook's uh, gonna come out. Just the base damage and the sustain as I might have to hold in on a Trimby again. W -A. Ooh, the knock by Comp. Like nice bounce back on the satchel charge. Damn, Comp. First strike damage coming in. Ooh, that hurts. Black is getting chunked lower wow. and I never thought I'd say this, but this the Ziggs is winning his lane. They can get so much Yankos is going to find Markun here. Markun on the top side. Spotting Yankos. I think he's fine to fight him here, Yankos. But he's going to abandon ship. Wonder's got a really nice top wave, though. I think he should be covered here. for the wave state top side. I was looking at mid prior. I'm still pause champing for when Sejuani's going to pay a visit towards mid. Yankos didn't want any of it. What's the potential of the Sejuani Renekton base damage? I mean, too much for him. Yankos went to extend fight, so get him back off. Kind of hover around because this terrible wave. Look at Wonder. He really wants to crash this wave. He's got to kind of just stand here whilst all his minions die. But he's standing uh. menacingly. Finn goes in, has the minions to heal up off of. Push back there coming in from Cassante. Oh, Renekton W. Spotted her for the stun. Then out of spells for now and Wonder trading back. Renekton W. Uh, Finn taking control of the wave. Yeah, managed to break the freeze with a nice little trade. Now he's going to have to recall and TP back, I imagine. Otherwise, there's threat of a dive. Is so Perks playing in the second division? Uh, no, he's not. kind of just being pulled to topside permanently just in case of a play. And Zwiru, mana. Not going to be able to stop no the mana. gloves. I mean, you got two biscuits yeah, a little bit more time. But of course, that's the struggle of laning against the Tristana. She just doesn't need to, essentially doesn't need yeah. to use much of any mana at all and can keep a push just based off the, uh, the explosive charge. Yeah, he's going to TP back in. So not the end of the world. He's going to have his items and... Uh, I think Larson is going to match, but Grubbies. You'd Why is everyone pulls champion? Go over the side of the road. Team Heretic, though, not willing to let this one go quietly. Angles can maybe smite Lost one away. On the way. Markun retreating. Level six for Finn, though. Great, they denied one. Not bad. Tyro has bought. Larson so has bought as well. Both TPs now used. Trimby's going to be in trouble here. Trimby's 07. No flash. Just easy. Kill. Big Pulling kill for Larson. To the side of Rogue. Wait, is Rogue going to beat so Heretics? Rogue a little late. Ain't to the no point. way. But managed to catch on the way out. And there is no of, way they're going to lose to Rogue, right? Do a bit really? There, but they're managing to get picked, uh, losing Please a flash don't Uru, lose to Rogue, man. Reset. And Zoe Lee's coming back mid again for a potential re gank. Could be a dead Zoe Lee again. I mean, yeah, you get two grubs to the one of Team Heretics. You get the kill. You're able to steal the Raptor camp away as well. I mean, it's, it's a difficult position right now for Team Heretics to find themselves in. Falling mm -hmm. behind this much early on, you expect to lose lane pressure in a lot of these matchups. All right, Drake's Todd from Markoon. Comp has bot push. Trimby's level back. three. Luckily, three members there. Zoelis, a little bit too isolated. Ziggs is starting to come up, but it doesn't matter. Inting. And again, we see this. What is he doing? Overconfidence coming in from Zoelis. Thought he was safe there, not respecting the potential for Team Heretics to just burst through that health bar. Yeah, you can see Comp was trying to crash the wave, and Zoelis was just playing point guard as a human ward. Was Markum started the Why didn't they just do Drake there? Help. Tristana Larson is so strong. Priority either, so. And they have to catch bot. I think Markum's a bit scared. 
Good punish from Team Heretics. Mm -hmm. Matched up the kill score, only 500 gold between the teams. Not gonna matter too much. Larson will get the push out here. Did leverage his TP. Keeping our eyes on the rest of the map. Yankos, coming around on the bottom side of the map. Zoli's hex flash out. I like that he still has the nice confidence hook. Yeah, to try to go keep those things off. There's the Ziggs follow up. Now do Drake. It is only a lost chapter for Ziggs. Do Drake. However, so Hello. 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 No, you don't have the burst. He's on crap. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Early game He's going to go Drake after that. I'm sure of it. It's not about killing champions. He's not going to go to his red buff. Like having these back and forth trades and maybe you can get something off of a pulse He's going to go to his wolves. Why aren't we doing Drake? And you just go down bot side with one of your junglers. But Holy fuck. Yankos' head is itchy. Zeri and Ziggs early game. You, you kind of lack a bit of damage. So. Sorry. You said pop flash and I just went to a very different game for a second. I got very lost. <laughs> got transported to Madrid. Yeah. Your heartbeat there. Anyway. Uh, Team Heretix, I mean, the good news is that Flacket has stabilized a little bit. It is only a Kerchase, but Trimby hovering in the darkness. And Zoe Lee's kind of, I think, just going to leave. All right, well, Mark will clear his we'll camps. See where he resets to if he's just going to run straight back down bot lane or if he wants to go mid to maybe make a play Grubby's up elsewhere. in 130. Grubby's are really good for Rogue. If they can get five, that's three lanes huge. Priority with Rogue, uh, with three lanes of potential for getting plates, and only one plate has been taken, right? Top side, usually, what you expect is consistent demolish procs every other wave. Comp. 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 Wee. Has no business stepping up, but didn't recognize that Trimby was oh, there. Seven, buddy. He was in the 1v1. Flash out to safety. Flacket on the flash in. We'll finish the job. Quick kill. Easy kill. Big mistake, bro. What is this rogue That's bot lane doing? In First the book. Nautilus ints, and yep, now the, and now you can the Ziggs is Trimby's just standing just there like he owns the lane. With Flacket and potentially move up to Grubs. Uh -huh. Gives him a free reset to be able to do what he likes. Trimby. That's, That's the second time in two days we've just seen a bit of a sloppy death from comp the good news this time around he has the tp he's not going to lose too much zoli's still stepping up larson on the way in trimby will walk away to safety and i like that uh rogue stuck with their game plan mm. Aragon, that they still drafted aggressive lanes i thought that they might pull off the well at least they canceled trimby space for a while i like that they went with it but we're still not seeing it really impact in the way that it should on paper at the very least yeah, I mean, it's a bit slower when you're scaling with Ziggs, isn't it? Well, let's take a look at Skank again. Comp is Dash so greedy, man. Comp, I don't think he flashes the Q flash from the Rel, uh, so he takes a lot of burst damage. Maybe he didn't preemptively expect oh. it. See the Q flash here. He should have flashed way earlier. Yeah. yeah, and he managed to flash over this part of the wall, which I quite... Which is tricky. <laughs> yeah, it's quite difficult, but Flacken managed to pick up the kill. Good on Flacken. Flash for Flash. Golf claps. Golf clap. That's what I was going to say, Draco, you telegram. rat. I knew it was coming. Yeah. All right, we're getting first Drake of the game Rogue. ten minutes in. You love to see it. They started this one earlier, a bit nice job. Early, and that was still Should be easy pickup. And only death of the game thus far. But now Yankos is wandering in, maybe hoping that it's All right, that smite had me worried for a second. Now yeah, the they should push mid together so and move really to grubs. Comes on line level six, and comp should just blow these bot waves. Just hit that mid wave, Mark. Walk up and whip it. Or just run straight past it. In the midst of everyone else, they absolutely. Finn, you good? Watch out. Pull back there on the Finn. Unstoppable now. Finn gonna be in trouble. Instantly gonna try to ult, but Wonder. Wonder. Just doing so much damage. Finn now just running the dash forward. Wonder, Wonder baby. One v one man just divided now. Spiral. The washed oh, allegations the are Trimby not looking good, good anymore. Immediate combo. You talked about it. The single target. Yeah, damage. Tristana into Vitalia. Good luck. Have fun. Finish. How much more can Team Heretics get? Holy That's shit, massive. Team Heretics are back. The to to chase down They're, They're so fucking back. Grubs. Isolated 1v1 from Wonder onto Finn. Managed to catch him out off guard, chunked and low. And then finding the play with the combination of Tlia and Vi. So much burst damage coming out. Managed to pick off Larson too. Who, I don't know if he had flash at the start, but not managed to get out of there. Take a look at this one. Rogue, you can see. I think they found the opportunity. Ooh. The Unraveled Earth coming out Larson, just no in time w. to stop the Larson follow-up. Yeah, and you can see Zeri was actually on the way in case this play extended. So TH, no matter how long this went, it was going to win favor. out. A little bit bigger claps this time. We're scaling up the coach reaction. <laughs> he has two <laughs> kills now, Yankos. You two out of 19. Up front damage. And He's not getting 19 Spyro kills. Sorry, chat. My head is not TH. being shaved. They didn't even really need the yeah. Talia there. It was just a little bit of Threaded Volley, a little bit of Unraveled Earth. The rest was really just so much of that Phi base damage coming through at this point in the game. Because Larson is very, very squishy. Continue to be so, but has the Kraken Slayer now at the very least. Not really able to push out mid here, though. And as a result, uh, not going to be able to grab plates at the very least. Can't get mid prio. Rogue, what are they going to do with it? Got vision. 
There's no real objective to play for yet on the bottom side of the map. I think uh, what they're fishing for is potentially onto Zwiru. Um, he d is flashless. Uh, Lawson does have something. So consistent volatility around mid is what we're seeing. You know, especially with Lawson wanting to perma push and secure plates. Shadowing him's never bad. And they haven't really uh, been able to do anything this game, Rogue. So you can always track jungle. This is the most they got one kill by a mistake like from. Where uh, Trimby. Lanes, you just need to spot the enemy jungle, Top so got solo move. killed. They lost the Grubbies refight, and now Sadly they're is, playing Zix yeah, Rosanna with two Grubbies bit, and hardly any pushing lanes. You know, so early lead. They were I don't think little pups trades, are going to get a tower. Trimby had misstepped, but Team Heretics did a lot to, to kind of come back into this. I'm sorry, no flash. Oi, oi, oi. Spyro, keen. It is safe to say, but knows that he has Yankos behind him. Zyro, is he willing Use to the Ziggs the wall here? Bomba. Big Ziggs ult there. The Larson hit the... Range, nice. Uh-oh. Wonder. Uh-oh. Finn. Wonder trying to buy a bit more space. Comp now going to be in trouble. The Ziggs. Oh, Finn fucked up. Finn fucked up real hard. Now he's dead. He didn't get the empowered stun onto Yankos. Yo, why is Yankos 3-0? What's happening? Yo, Yankos, don't get 19 kills. Please. Oh. Oh my god, what is that Nautilus doing? Hey, mama. Oh, Larson, is he feeling it? Oh, bro, he should have sent it. I think he should have sent it there, Larson. He has Kraken. Now it's over. The fight's over. I think he should have jumped over the Cassante, maybe. Just maybe if Cassante W'd him, that would hurt. He's first on the reset. It's just, and it's just getting worse for Rogue. It's just a five fight. Look at Zwiru. He has no flash. Yeah, he's walking up all the way here, back against the wall. Gets a Ziggs ulted, but watch Flackid. This is where all the threats are gone, and he can just free hit. And this is exactly what Zeri loves to do. Keep autoing with her ult up. And look, double dash used for Renekton. Nothing he has now can get on to Flackid. And he can just free hit all the way back to the base. And Yanko's powerful. You know, we know how impactful Yeah, I think is. Larson should have just gone for the Vi kill here. Just jump. Well. Cassante, not a champion to be trifled. Worst with case, he so jumps, gets a reset, and jumps out, and Nautilus dies. You know, I think Zoli's just but Nautilus died lead. anyway. The ward coming down yeah. a split second too late to spot the ball breaker. And Team Heretics, it looked a little bit rough early on, but have done an incredible job fighting their way out of this deficit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, playing the composition extremely well, picking their fights really well, target selection, and knowing threats as Flackett. Wonder. More marks up on the stun there. Marku not going to come through. Permafrost. Harold fight. Harold will reset, which is a little bit awkward. Rogue, do they feel confident in the 5 What cream are you going to use to bolt we'll to bro? The top side. Wave is in an even state. Bot lane's even as well. There's a bit of time to A-Ram here if they want to group up and force the 5v5. But Finn will return top and stop Ooh. that. Catch back him. is decent onto Larson. Q3 from Wonder won't connect, and Tofu Strikes not finding their target. But Yankos on the top side to Shadow Flackett should just be able to push that wave in. Yankos walking away. Why does he need 19 kills? So now I said I would go bold if Yankos got 19 Hook kills in. this game. Hex it's not happening though. Good start to kick things off. Wonder trouble, but it's still Wonder has W or not? He's living for so damn long. Dash back, getting out to safety. Manages to escape the mine. Where's the moment, But still goes down. A one for one trade support for top laner. Yeah, getting engaged on when Yankos I don't like how messy this game is for what I just said. And maybe a lack of respect on the engage. On the side of Rogue, but still, gonna have to start this dragon. Everything used for the side of Rogue, and now they're just gonna cross map this top uh, with the Void Grubs to be able to cross map and take our damage. Can they get Herald here? Yeah, they kind of should be free. Dairo, they're waiting for a little bit more information. Team I'm Heretics surprised Heretics aren't just gonna cross through mid and fight they Herald. Oh, they are gonna cross through mid and fight Herald. So should just be I Herald think it's good. You have TP on. Uh, life, testing top you don't have TP on Cassante, but you can slow them down. Wow, Rogue are fucking pussies, man. They have Tristana TP, and they're scared to do this. They don't have ults, I guess. Do you have 7 TP on that PC? Yeah. Maybe they can a rogue if the Tristana, uh, Larson rather, can hit the bot tower. Maybe they can cross map that, but they're always going to lose any kind of cross map race because Rift Herald in top will score them a tier two. And I love the drafts that we are seeing from Rogue in terms of what they could provide for early game proactivity, but you can see just a couple of fumbles here and there from the team really costing them and making what is a, a very clear win condition feel much less achievable. The Team Heretics just get further and further ahead. 2k gold lead. Yes, Larson is pushing, but Team Heretics have already got the tower. They're all going to reset. They're going to be first back on the map. All right, first uh, blood tower really over to Heretics and Herald. Rogue, Rogue get bot tier one. On the tower trade Larson's that, going Dominic no second. I don't really blame him, though. That Cassante is advantage. absolutely fed. Absolutely. And items coming out for both teams now. These, 
I wonder what Rogue's gonna do Yankos, to if say, since last split, I thought Yankos this split they finish the bottom two again. Like Lee what do you do? Do you just kick half the team or what? The team over the finish line a lot of times, just fucking blow it up? When and Perks Who do you get rid of? Yankos, Obviously, if it's part. hard to say now because they've still got eight games left. But I think yeah, over the past years, honestly. You know, a few splits certainly in last year as well, where he just looked like the, one of the best junglers, if not I the best jungler. I think you get rid of, to replicate some of that. everyone, and for Marcoon, apart from Larson. Still struggling to find his footing on this rogue line. I think I, I would really trust Larson to stay. In winter, and uh, despite the, the potential setup for a lot of the laners. Uh, but then what? Do you have four players on contract? Not going to be able to play for side on either side now if you decide a TH. You kind of get wave cleared on, you play for side with the Cassante, so they're gonna say, you know what, we can't do that, let's just play for mid. Not gonna save the Rift Herald potentially for a minute before Dragon to secure Herald mid is that. good. Instead, just gonna siege mid. And you can see everyone from Rogue. Trying to go up, but again, Marcoon caught out here, taking a big chunk, Wonder off to the side. One way to get it done, Trimby taking a little bit of damage, but Team Heretics full collapse on the mid lane to ensure that they get that charge, and now Yankos oh, there it is. looking to slide, looking to Oh, drift. he got zigzalted. Nah, cringe. <laughs> Yankos had that drift. <laughs> a little bit of a speed bump. I was, I wanted to see the drift. I think that that was objective. Yankos had that. From a League of mm -hmm. standpoint, but I wanted to see the drift. Did he flash to alt? He just burned flash. Did he flash to get an alt? Range? That can't be worth it. When dragons two minutes ten. Wait, away. did no Ziggs never flashed alt? He might have. Did he flash in the previous exchange? Yeah, I'm for not sure. sure. Zoelis, <laughs> bit of a stun here. Yankos is a big boy. Viral on the way in, is. wall down there, but Larson untouched for now. Does do a decent amount of damage. Double TP's here. Wonder coming in, but Wonder's now going to get collapsed on. Hook is there, unstoppable though. Pull back into the wall. Wonder now trying to use him to escape, but doesn't quite have the timing on the ulti. Rogue retreating, safe for now. Trust Lars Larson after all this mess. And the angle I think the if you have four rookies who are all psychopaths, I think having someone like Larson's not bad. I think if you have four players who do fuck all and Larson, of course no one's going to do anything. Is clean from I think Larson is just like reliable late game insurance, right, as a player. But he won't do anything. From Team Heretics. They're skirmishing, their fighting is so damn clean today, and Rogue are just running for the hills. Yeah, what can they take off this as well? They're just they're still they're chasing. Just ignoring the tower, they got the minions finished if they want more. Trimby wants to chase this so bad, but bit, yeah. So I see what the angle was. Nothing to do there. I don't think they're gonna be able to find up time on this. Maybe just reset some temper. Back on the map. Essentially secure vision for our dragon in a minute 30 times. Like two minutes ago it was a 2k gold team. Now yeah. it's almost 4k. I mean Credit Team Heretics, they see these windows of opportunity and they punish Rogue so well. Yeah. Hook lands. But oh, you see, Flacken was expecting it. He immediately dashes, reacts, uh, dashes behind Trimby, who then cancels the leap of Larson. Crucially, midair. Wonder, Ghost tries to run them down. Yeah, Rogue are trash. Like, this is disgusting. They're literally, yeah, just it's funny because I feel like yeah, all these players have had high highs, right? Comp and Larson were at the peak of Rogue. Finn was on Rogue when they were winning regular seasons. And Marcoon was on XL and almost made worlds. And Zoelis is a rookie. But my god, are they all dog shit together. Yeah, trying to play off of the, uh, the remount, the leap. CD coming off cooldown again. But Dragon coming up. I wonder what they're, they're playing for here. It looks like a death push in top side, just in case. A quick play. Wait, he has eight it. kills on, on Vi? Wait, does he have eight kills? Yeah, let's look at the checklist here. No, he has four. Yo, no, no, no. Assists favor, don't count, bro. What is this well. chat on about don't eight out of 19? Well, nah, assists like don't count. As soon as they do, you what are you on about? Push up your vision line and do I said kills, Anything not kill participation. Yeah, I, I was really confused because they were playing for top side. I think they lack Baron damage though, so it wasn't going to be anything like that. No, Leon just coming up with the Talia. No this chat, man, trying to get me fucking bold either. on every so single, every single day. They're like, right, bet your hair. And how they set up vision behind it. Bet your hair. Now you could see Yankos is moving in. Bet your hair. And no, I'm not betting my hair, bro. Even contest. They don't even want to. So sending four people top side. And I just think you're in this tricky position right now where. Zig's damage is all right, but clearly not menacing yeah. enough because it's just full armor on the Team Heretic's top side between Yankos and Wonder. And Larson and Finn just aren't really going to be effective. Yeah. And it's very unlikely that Comp is going to have the time to just throw out bouncing bombs left and right. I, I think the problem Team Heretic is having right now is just too You much don't count assists. Infamous, you know, Zig's, the amount of wave clear he does you have don't. alongside the satchel from Tristana. So they just cannot siege top tier two. They cannot siege mid. You can see every single time they push in mid, it's just bombs. So uh, the wave is gone from 2k range. Bombs. All right. Here we are. Here we we missed this meta. <laughs> the infinite wave clear meta. It's not Victor Azir, but Zig's bot, you know, bringing us a slight flavor. Bring back Sibia. No, don't. <laughs> we, did, did you watch LCS? It didn't look good, man. It was.
Hot mess. Chad, I know in this interview that I have to do before yeah. the K Corp game that I'm going to be an absolute you NPC. The Sarah, you should, you know, I know it. I did. You're part of a new era of casting in League of Legends. I'm going to be an absolute NPC. I don't want to flame player. anyone. So you, did. Plus you, you need to be the zoomer that you are and enjoy <laughs> I wish it was Fnatic versus Rogue interview. Then I would fucking you know, unleash. That's your, that's your age but Fnatic K Corp, Leave the for us how can I flame like them? They won their game the and Kameto <laughs> carried the stream <laughs> yesterday. Games, I can't, but I can't. <laughs> bro, Kameto <laughs> carried my stream yesterday and they won. If it didn't happen with Kameto yesterday and they lost, I'd have ammunition. I don't have any ammunition. You highlighted it well, though. The Ziggs. What should I say? Again, doesn't have to walk up to instantly reset the way. So, so between dragons and between neutrals, you have a few options, right? You can play to choke out the enemy uh, with jungle camps. You can try to pop summoners, try to pop flashes. It's not eight out of nine. You know, by engaging on someone and playing for side as well, uh, you can. You largely need to do this by invading the jungle and keeping vision and transferring vision from bot to top as well. So it's good to see Team Heretics doing that. Maybe they can force a Larson flash or something to help them in the third dragon fight. Yeah, my eyes are kind of on Zoe Elise as well. You know, four deaths this game. I like what he does mechanically a lot of the times, but sometimes he's just in the wrong place. And really needs to respect the Team Heretics have this entire jungle. Oh! Up. Ooh, Wonder got it, even blue. with the Ziggzold. 29 HP. Mm. Leandry's likely would have finished it, but that's uh, frustrating. Comp using the ulti, hoping for the steal. Still a very low cooldown. And now, because they know generally where Comp is, they've seen Finn on the bottom side. It gives Team Heretics access to top tier two. Not enough time, however, to take down the tower, but a good chunk of damage. A lot of chunk damage going on, but no cross map potential for the side of Rogue. They're kind of just eating waves down bot. Every single time they walk up to the wave, they can at least hit it once to proc that uh, grub true damage damage over time. Yep. And tick it down a little bit. Maybe on this next siege, they can take this tier two completely. Crucially, they're on a ward, but excellent Weaver's Wall. Arkun going to use the ultimate, but this is the play has kind of already fizzled. They have nothing, it feels like. They engage, uh, Markoon throws his R, but Finn TP's in, and there's just no play to be made. Actually, I know what I'm going to say. Follow up. I, I guess Rogue didn't want to commit anything. Yeah. I mean, they committed the TP, but they didn't want to commit any flashes to follow up. They felt like the Weaver's Wall came in, and you would assume that that's where the play stops, but the TP coming in after a moment of miscoordination. Perhaps yeah. everyone on Rogue not quite on the same page there. Potentially a bit scared to pop resources before this next dragon. because the next Actually, no, so they're important. never going to interview me again if I say that. Okay, never mind, soul. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, maybe Larson and Comp. No, this game slowed five. down. 5k gold lead. Uh. And, you know, time is running out because yep. Zeri's about to hit three items. There's already a death cap on the Talia. Gankos is still 2.2k gold ahead. And it's a Sidwani. You know, of course, Markun's always going to be relevant. Chad, but, they don't even want me to uh, cast games here anymore. Gonna How really am I gonna, what am I going to say in the interview that's going to make it... Sidwani. If I say something really bad, they're just never going to do that again either. The map is entirely dark. On the chase, gonna push anyway, won't overthink it. Rogue We're good. Hoping to catch Team Heretics When's the Baron start happening? Here, walking in the jungle before they have priority, and Hop for now at least can freely walk up to mid lane. Although he's hesitant because he doesn't really have the information he needs to make that decision. Three items coming in now for the Zeri, so any fight they take is absolute dumpster. If they start a Baron, they can just turn. <laughs> Why are you saying 15 out of 19? You brought it, I forget, every time. You know, I watch One him cute. bot lane, I remember the satchel charge part. I forget that he just doesn't have to interact with other teams. Yeah. You just play for the third bounce, and that's like two two screens away. <laughs> and you're just clearing the entire way. Like, you're wave. never going to hit a champion that way, but the minions, easy pickings. Wonder at least starting to put a little bit more side lane pressure down, and Team Heretic now overloading on side. All five members committed here. This might catch Rogue off guard. Yeah, has Vi got Q? Doesn't look like it. Yes. <laughs> Coming over the wall. Immediate mean, response from Markoon, but again, the counterplay here from Rogue Wonder? Is, is Oy, man, if Wunder got hooked there, the he was no fucking dead. He had no W. Oh my god, Trimby. Trimby on the from Why are they doing this? What is Heretics doing? Big shutdown over to the side of Comp. Now it's Team Heretics who are a bit over eager. They don't even get a kill, they don't even break the tower, they just lose Yankos in the process. Yeah, they, they really dive forward and Yankos falls. I think they could have just played for push both in mid and bot lane, hit the turret a few times and then back off with that deep vision in the bot side jungle and play for dragon, but wanting a little bit more than that because they have so many items on their Zeri. And we're not at 15 minutes anymore. The Ziggs is starting yeah. to hurt. You can't just dive into those minefields as Yankos with no MR. I mean, you even have tabbies. You're full armor. No Three pentas for Yankos? Like, no. He will shred you. You get over eager on the leap in, and by all, while powerful, very telegraphed. Zig just gets to set up his whole combo as you come into him. I think crucially, though, Tristana no flash now. So if I ever presses R, well, they have Drake with a, a for free, potential but and a Talia I don't know if it's worth Austin going towards Drake up, for so Heretics because they might lose a lot of Nash control, which they're already doing. Does. Larson getting closer to a third item here. Bro, Baron Dick, not bad, but Tristana in the mid lane. The Ziggs having this area is off the rails, my guys. 
Oh, what? Zix has Rabadons? What is Trimby doing? Is this a play? Oh yeah, Larson has no flash. He's fucking dead. Oh, that's Baron. The rocket jump is not enough. Team Heretics recognize the advantage and punish Rogue for overstepping on top side. Extending on side, and Finn has no TP either, so there's not going to be able to be any kind of flank. He's I think Rogue should just fight it. They have a really strong Zig. If he can land some important skills, then they're going to. Well, there goes our jungler. Never mind. Their jungler walked up before their top laner was there, and Comp wasn't in range. Ooh, is Trimby dead to Leandris? Don't say 10 out of 19. It's not. It's still 4. It's still 4. I think Rogue could have played it a bit slower in the play for the poke on the Ziggs. Because if you're in the pit versus Ziggs ult or Ziggs Qs, you're kind of struggling. But they get managed to get engaged on over the wall and it ends too quickly for Finn to come and have an impact. Yep. And we see here, I believe this is after the Larson pick. So the setup here, the turn. Yeah, marking the potential Baron steal. So, I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? I think just to uh, play. Uh, yeah, I mean, Bro potentially overestimating how quickly Team Heretics, or how if Team Heretics had put all five members there, you know, it could have gone down much faster. So maybe just felt like they had to get in there. But Finn, of course, wasn't close enough to participate in the play. So it was just easy inside Team Heretics. And Yanko's again wandering into the pit. Should get punished here. Is forced to flash. Wow, Rogue actually got Drake. Will not steal it away. Heretics so are slow out of base. Lost tempo bot side. Second Drake back over to Rogue. Yanko has to flash. Just continue to leverage that Zig's wave cleared. And. Uh, you know, whenever you're doing They're going to get bots here too this time, right? Surely. Above, it does always feel a little bit awkward, yeah. wasting a bit of that time that you have to push in. Yeah, Team Heretics Surely. had to secure the Baron, so they're late on the map naturally. Wundo didn't have any TP, so I didn't have a TP rather, so he couldn't be there on the play, and they just lose out on the Dragon. But it doesn't matter, right? You have so much standing gold in Tier 2s in the mid What if he gets 19 deaths? <laughs> now, then I'll uh, shave my fucking head for two years straight. Played on by the Ziggs. So, Zwaru is going to hit that mid turret. He's free to do so. Team Heretics, even at a man disadvantage, another thing kind of step forward here. It's so hard for Rogue to get on to Flacket. And the other three members, they can't really afford to burn cooldowns on at this point in the game. I need to put my shoes on. He isolates himself. That might there be an go. avenue of attack, but Team Heretics really trying to sink their waves up here. Power Cannon will drop mid wave a little bit far away, so Flacket not going to auto. Really taking his time, hoping to get both waves to crash. Wall to get the tower, time, the Weaver's wall for but no one can hit it. That's the problem. <laughs> Blocking the creeps, a bit awkward, but now the turn that was a bit too close to the tower. Heretics. Man, Heretics is comp sieging against Zix. Well, I guess if someone's inting, it works. Off. So Elise will sidestep. It's really hard towers to hit towers. Still up for Rogue, though, keeping that inhibitor line alive. Yeah. Trying to find uptime on the tower with a clear wall, I think, as well as maybe fish for someone pinning them behind it, but still trying to find it. And they use this barrier. You imagine this is just going to get taken. Well, and of course, later Stop we go saying one out of this uh, chat is so annoying. <laughs> passive, giving more and more, so a bit harder for Flacket to walk up and auto attack for free. But that should just be the tower taken out now. Team Heretics feel like they have enough an advantage to just bully through on that wave. And Yanko's immediately shifting priority up to the top side. Trimby very low. Trimby has red. Avenue of an attack here, but Flacket again. Finn's low. The big threat, and no one can get on top of him. So yet another tower gonna fall. I mean, three items to Ziggs and three items to Trisana. This is the closest they're gonna be in terms of item thresholds, right? Three to three and a half is doable if they manage to find the engage on that. Chunk of the Trimby might just set it up. But Double bro, in hip, no, not bad. Not, find no. it. not bad at all. <laughs> they don't. They don't feel like they have the angle. Mm. Good patience and from Heretics. They're they're bleeding out. It's really rough because you, yeah, you yeah. see they want to engage and Finn EQs to clear the wave and then he has no E, so there's no dive to follow up. That locks out any potential engage because Markun wouldn't have any follow up on the engage. And I feel like this is an instance, you know, it's obviously a very high pressure situation, but I feel like at times the reason that people get frustrated with Rogue is because sometimes it feels like they're playing not to lose instead of playing to win. You know, when it comes down to these moments where you highlight so it, where the perks was the problem. Is close well, it's the thing great, is, it's, it's, be great, right? it's you hard. You, you can't say perks was a problem go. after this game because they're against there, Rogue they're and Rogue are. Um, uh, your avenues of attack are so small. Uh, uh, so small. Should be fishing for the pick uh, here. Uh, He's running. <laughs> There's the wall. Weaver's wall. The fuck was that? Viro. Why, potential for turn there from Why is he building walls, man? Give this man an orb. Pain by numbers. League of Legends takes over. You've taken two inhibitors. Now you just play with time. Yeah. Play with time. Super minions coming, flooding in top and mid. And you just got to keep playing for attrition on this tower. I don't know if they're going to get this tower ever. Enemy team does have a Ziggs, and he does have QWE. 
So I feel like that wave is just going to perma die unless they threaten the dive somehow and Trimby flashes in right now. Uh, still a few hiccups here and there. A few times they've been caught out as Trimby's caught out to kick off the fight. But again, Flacken oh, is there goes not the in touch whatsoever. And Yankos is off to the side threatening the Nexus if Rogue tries Oh my to god, Zeri W. Ch Chats, remember when Zeri W used to yeah, one shot? Is now in right when now. she went full crit? Multiple stacking. So that was crazy. Might have to zigzag the bot wave now. If they don't pull the trigger, they're just going to be completely flooded with super minions. So there he is. There it is. Making it out oh, to sorry. safety. So Elise is dead. Alti now coming well, in. Well, they zigzag the wave, but it's still out. alive. And Black it goes over the wall. It's easy pickings. He's just going to clean up, throwing lightning through the entire. Rogue well, Rogue lost, line. and the sky is orange. When the sun sets. Two straight facts on the casual stream. Two Yordles just trying to get it done. But there's no avenue here. They're not even going to walk up. It's over. I don't think they can even clear the minions at this point. It's uh, yeah. Should be getting chunked a little bit, but uh, I think that's game. Team Heretics bleeding Rogue out of the game, not giving them those avenues of tech. GG easy. Taking them out slow, controlled, yeah. steady, making it happen and finding their first win in spring. It was just a slow bleed out, wasn't it? Every single dragon fight after a certain point in the mid game. Yeah, and like they can come back. I think credit to Wonder and Yankos, especially. Yep. Um, you know, Trimby had some Wonder, moments. Yankos, Giga Chats. Who gets MVP? Uh, I don't know. I would vote for Wonder. Fuck like it. He solo killed so top. Much work. Kia player of the game at OEC on X. Wonder, Yankos, or Flackid. Individual 1v1 kill. The impact of those two in the mid game skirmish. Why don't they want to cast Wonder games anymore? Because I'm not a caster anymore. Up, and it just felt like that freed up Flackid and Spyro to just be DPS threats. They were never threatened. Yeah, I'd cast the game though, but yeah. I think at one point Wonder had four items to two. But yeah, Chat, it's not 19 out of 19. Class. For now though, we're gonna head to a quick break. Bows from Team Heretics when we return an interview. Don't go anywhere. All right, it's Fnatic's time, baby. Wake the fuck up! It's match of the week. It's match of the week, boys. Wake Done. up. Done. There we go. Break? Break. Dun, 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 dun. Even the biggest, Even the biggest champ, champ needs a break. Needs a break. I'm tired. Me too. I'm tired. So, what do you think? On to the next one? Let's go. Come on. I'm tired. Me too. Chat, it's not 19 and 19. Shut up. Red Bull gives you wings. Ah, this chat. Welcome everyone to the Kia Tilt Proof Challenge. We're here to see if four gamers can stand up to the test. Ah, <laughs> 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 Match of I the week. I'm so happy that I didn't eat before. I think Shox is coming in here now to say hello. So we gotta do it into you now, chat. Why am I so nervous? I've never been this nervous in my life. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I feel so nervous, it's crazy. I never felt this nervous even when I did a World's Finals cast. What the fuck? Yo! Yo! Oh, Fnatic's on the stage, hell yeah. Carmine Corp is also on the stage. Chat, don't be weird in chat, don't be weird, don't spam dumb shit. Did Yankos get 19 kills? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Too much coffee? I think so, I think so. <laughs> uh, you're out of form? Yeah, I'm out of form.
Does the mic stink? No, it doesn't. La 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 He did He did what? Do you take snooze right now? No, I don't. I, s I quit snooze. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Stop saying hi, she's not even there. I'm not a schizo, bro. She's right there. Shut up. I think she's going to open up the segment by coming into the room, I guess. That's why she's not entering the room. Maybe they can. Maybe I'll ask them to put the camera on Twitch chat so we can see. No, actually, I can't do that. You're all gonna spam fuck some dumbass shit. And welcome back to the LEC. Welcome. In this new interview location as we gear up for a match of the Is that my mic? KC versus Fnatic. And I have Rhea, head coach of KC, with me to talk about this game and the comeback of KC yesterday. Thank you so much for joining me. Very first LEC interview. Yeah. Congratulations for the promotion. Thanks a lot. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a new position with I a know. new uh, audience, you know, like a lot of people that are probably watching the, the LEC right now. But uh, I mean, I'm focused on what we need to do good as a team and as a coaching staff, you know, to, to make sure that a team they can perform, you know, right yeah. now, so, yeah. I mean, I've known you for a while, yeah. yeah. We'll talk about this later because you've been coaching KC actually in the LFL. It must be really different here, but first things first, victory yesterday. A bit of a change compared to winter, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it was a, a really important match, not gonna lie. Uh, I think we, we needed to perform and to make sure that we come ready against Giant X. It's, it's not the best team, right, but it's, it's still a team that can defeat us if we are not playing well. Um, and I'm really proud of everyone, you know, the, the staff and the players, like they did exactly what they need to do to, to win to yesterday. Um, and now we focused on the next game against Fnatic. So, yeah. yeah. Tell me about Fnatic then, because they're one of the best teams we have right now in the league. I think this is the perfect test for you guys to exactly. make sure that you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think Fnatic is, is for sure a good team. I think like they don't have any like clear witnesses. That's that's one of their uh, their strengths. I think every one of the players can carry the game. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I think uh, like what we have to be focusing on is uh, what we're doing laning phase and how right. we playing all together as like main jungle support uh, and how to pressure the map. Uh, I think that's that's pretty much what we need to do. And after that, we can focus on ourselves. The results are the results. And Fnatic is a good team. But we can be a good team too. Well, wishing you a good day for the Blue Wall and a lot of luck on the Rift for you guys today. Ria, thank you so much. Merci Thanks beaucoup for interview. And let's see what Kajro and Shox think about Fnatic not having really mistakes. What do you think, guys? Oh, I don't know. Um, indeed, I am joined here by Kajro. I'm going to ask him that question. You're going to see him in just a second. Hi, Kajro. How are you? Uh, I'm good. It's been a while since I've been on the broadcast, but uh, it's good to be back. I think the last time I was on the broadcast was when I came on the World's Analyst Desk with the Weibo yeah, shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've changed sides. Yeah, and we miss you. Uh, but hey, first, before I get to asking about analytical things, didn't Kamito save you yesterday on your stream because you couldn't cast and he was casting or what happened? Yeah, somehow my stream heard his stream, even though there was no audio coming out of my stream. So on the back end, something like put Kamito on my stream and then he started casting the game in English. So I was I couldn't hear him. So I was like, "What's going on?" And my and my whole stream was listening to Kometo cast in English. So okay. thank you, Kometo. So there we go. <laughs> but of course, <laughs> you do represent Fnatic here. Um, are there any weaknesses, or what are the biggest things you think Fnatic cannot drop the ball on versus KC specifically? Uh, they don't have too many weaknesses. I think lane phase for Oscar was a bit rough in playoffs last split, um, but he looks a lot cleaner this time around. Um, but other than that, I think Razork's like the MVP of that team. So just follow Razork and everything will be fine. 
Speaking of, Bo yesterday was absolutely insane as well, so... Yeah, but Bo's a psychopath, so like, you know he's just gonna like, he's gonna get loads of kills, but maybe he's gonna int, so... If Bo ints, then just kill him. He's like Hillisang a little bit, I think, yeah. sometimes, yeah. That's what you think, okay. When it comes to KC, though, I mean, I think, um, I definitely would want to see them win more. Uh, maybe you don't want to see him win right now, but who could make the difference, or who will have to make the difference if you say Fnatic doesn't have a lot of weakness? Um, I think if any player on K Corp needs to step up, not not in sense of like step up the most, but like really can carry them, it's upset. Uh, I think, I mean, I remember casting upset at Worlds in New York, and he was two v two killing T one's bot lane. Yeah. So uh, to be tenth place like a couple years later sucks. Um, but yeah, I think I'd keep my eyes on upset. But Noah and Jun have been strong. They've been really strong. So I think they'll shut him down. All right. Thank you so much, Kadrol. It's time for our match of the week, delivered by Uber Eats. K Corp wasn't playing that terrible. The fact that they started 0 3, like, got into their heads. I think this format is very momentum based, and having a difficult week one like we had in Winter Split definitely puts more pressure if you start off slow. It's not gonna be any different this time. But All right, we can't use Okay, that was really awkward, chat. Yo, so chat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm awkward. Dwarf, like solo killing Google Yo, I was really and nervous, and man. Oh hey, that's me casting. Three Upset. Like he's trying to put a lot of effort in getting his team better and better, but he just didn't find any success. Usually this team plays a lot through their mid jungle, and especially Rasa. I think he has reached a new level and he's a very good player. I'm looking forward to beat him again. We don't need any more motivation. Oh my god. I Wait, oh, the camera's mega cool. zoomed out. I look like a tiny little rat in the fucking corner Hello now. and welcome back to the match of the week. I'm Medic, this is Dagda. Together hey. we are... I was. I always forget that I can't say your half of the name first when I yeah, do our duo. Yeah, so yeah. we're Medda. Yeah. Meg we'll that's Megda. Meg Megda. 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 Sure. Yeah. That kind of works. Okay, I'm just telling them to. <laughs> we haven't cast together that zoom much. Zoom in actually, again. Yeah. Fix your hair. Yeah. 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 So it's, actually, it's, it's nice fair. to have you here. Yeah. yeah that's good. That's good. Yeah. And we're looking How have I so gone from casting yeah, world finals in front of like 20k people to being nervous in an interview with shocks? Every single game but what happened one to me? So far in the My anxiety is crazy bad. Maybe it's because I'm not uh, like casting every now and then now, so I'm kind of grieving. Alright, focus up. Better, and I think that kind of rings true throughout the course of the weekend, but we'll see if it continues to ring true here. As I think it's because I stopped leaving my house. Alright, Kalista, Smolder, Senna, Varus, Oriana, first pick. Um, okay, I don't mind an Oriana first pick. I don't mind the Oriana first pick. I told Riot to fix the camera, I told them. Zeri's open, Vi's down. Maybe we're going to have to play some kind of Maokai game here. You with that Zeri denial. What do we got, Noah? Flex Talia for Razzle, because obviously he did play a lot of Talia over the course of his career, but we'll see where Carmine Court go. Zeri already... What do we have? What do we have? What do we have into Zeri? We're not playing Ezreal, right? What would Noah Jun play? Yo, wait! Camille support can work here! That's all gonna be fine as well. Like, there's a lot of opportunities here, and yeah, it will just be the Sejuani. Camille support can work here. end up taking, like, a strong... Uh, you could also Maybe we save it for 4 5 though. Let's see if they pick AD and drop support. They could take probably take Rel here though. Yeah. Like Nocturne can work. Oriana Nocturne's really good if Razork's feeling it, but I don't think Razork's much of a Nocturne player. They're gonna pick Rakan or Lulu on 3. So it's either pre pick Nautilus here or drop support and play for Camille. Kaisa, they can do Kaisa Nort, they can do Kaisa Camille, they can do Kaisa Nort, so they're probably gonna go Zeri Brown here with Sejuani. That would be really annoying for Fnatic, but then it lacks hard engage onto Oriana, so they could do. Rakan and sack the lane a little bit and play more for team fights. Chat, I told them. Very powerful if you can get to those three items. So we'll see where Fnatic decides Obviously, your anxiety is going to get worse if you just sit there streaming all day. We'll see more yeah, well, what do you want me to do? AD Make Kaiser. it. Yeah, I think with the, um, as you say, the amount of AP that you're going to So they've gone for Brown. Well, Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> it's mega zoomed in now. Yo! <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Brom, going to be taken here. It's kind of become the answer to the Nautilus. And double Freljord is always a really nice take here for this squad. Yeah, Permafrost and Kikazu. All right, now Carmen Corp going into the 4-5 here can target something like... Uh, 
Razork, Lee Sin, Zin Zhao. Man, they're not that annoying for Sejuani. Maokai is a bit annoying. They're going to target Oscar's Cassante. All right. They're going to get rid of the Cassante. Oscar has played that seven times this year, if I recall correctly. Only two times on his next. Kuei Ban is good. I believe it was the Gwen. So what else does Seiken play? He's an Azir merchant. What else is he a merchant of? Talia is pretty bad for their comp. They don't have reliable. I think Talia, Sejuani, Braum sucks. Yone Ban could be good, but I guess Oriana wins in lane against Yone. That can auto clear waves with QE, the Molten Fisher. Makes it a little bit trickier for Saken to play in that lane, but still things like the Arby There's the Zin Zhao ban. They didn't you know, ban Nocturne, but I don't think Fnatic play Nocturne. Damage to back it up. Yeah, I think the they do ban Talia. I don't think Talia is good for Sejuani Brown. I think damage, something like Yone is more annoying, but they obviously think Yone is not that like good in lane. The Ari, I like when you have Already on Soul, jungle, that's a strong champ. The but they're really Ari heavy AP. Merc Treads are mega good here. What are we thinking, Razork? Lee Sin could be pretty good here. Rel is also pretty good. What are we thinking for blind? Oh, an Aatrox game. Hell yeah. What about Cabo Shard if he goes Olaf here? Are we fine against that? Do you have triple melee? We have Kaisa, I guess. I don't think Cabo Shard's going to play like Nar. Maybe he plays Nar or... I don't think he plays Camille or Olaf, right? Um, or you could even just try fight fire fire with Renekton, but that's such a volatile matchup. Renekton, sure. alright. Chat, I'm going to run ads. If you want to avoid ads, you can use your tier 1 or Twitch Prime to support the stream and get one month of ad-free viewing experience. You can also write in sub-only mode. You don't have to sub if you don't want to. You'll be back before the game starts. I have to run them so you don't get them during the game. I'll see you in a second. A lot of sense. So here we have both team compositions are locked in. On the side of Fnatic, you have a really good AOE team fighting comp. You know, that Rel is jumping in, Oriana Shockwave to follow up. You've got the Kaiser who can dash in and out of the fights. I like I'm the waiting for the pog offs so I can press the add button. Well, but so do Carmine Core. Maybe a little bit more on upset to be able to dodge in and out of these fights. Already in Cage has the Fnatic jacket on. We lost. Down and then no, we didn't. The star search at someone and hope that person dies, whereas upset can be dancing in and out a little bit more. Yeah, I think for Carmine Corp, this is going to be a test because it's very much a team that wants to All right. protect the backline. Like, let's set up a defensive uh, circle of Renekton, Sejuani, and Brom just keeping people out so Aesol can do his thing. Zero You're a stupid rat. Kind of Thanks, man. Pace with herself, but what we've seen from Carmine Corp hasn't been that, right? Yeah. It's been very separated. So I think if you end up in that position, Fnatic, as you say, with the amount of engage and follow up damage coming through from the Oriana, she'll be to pick Carmen Corp apart if they don't set up that defensive style. I think Fnatic's team fighting as well has looked stronger than Carmine Corp's over the last, I'd say, a month or two, you know, over 20. All right, so I think Fnatic, good mid matchup. Managed to navigate team fights. Uh, bot matchup is pretty rough. Carmine Corp versus. And uh, top is. Really, Both the teams coming out either dead lane yesterday. or heavy contest. Likely heavy contest early because Sejuani uh, can probably pass top or uh, bot here. Sejuani Braum against Nautilus, insanely good. Sejuani Renekton, so insanely good 2v2. Take or perhaps some really good early options. Whereas Fnatic have yeah, much better grouped Corp options, well, grouped up, they outrange and yeah, they have really good snap engage. Follow up. Whereas, um, well for like the what is this picture of me? The Fnatic tweeted. Permafrost, so it makes it very easy then for Bo to be able to set up for plays potentially around Oskarnen, who I think honestly has been a bit of a picture of Fnatic, bro. Fnatic <laughs> since playoffs. Um, whereas on Fnatic, it feels very much a hey, we can actually play around our mid jungle incredibly well, lean into our bot side, which is kind of where they found their most comfort. So, will it be curious to see how they decide to try and play this one out as humanoid? Already going to take a few love taps off of Cabo. The command attack just giving him the vision in the bush means he can step forward, puts the ward down to spot out those razor beaks. Uh, Noah is running lethal tempo, very much implying that he will go down the AD route on the Kaiser, or at least more of a hybrid route than that pure uh, magic damage build we were talking about in. Hold Ra up. Expectations are that Bowen Cabochard will want to shut Oscar down in the early game. All right, I think this lane for Oriana is pretty good, mainly because she outranges Aurelion. Very powerful. Will upset and Targumus be able to weather any storm that Razzle can The bot matchup is kind of annoying. Level 1 is so not the worst, but uh, obviously Northwest to Braum is just annoying. Looks like the Sejuani is passing bot. Get Razork and Humanoid play together. Like get that lead in mid and then transition to bot. Like we saw a lot yesterday with the Talia where. Wow, they're actually really trying to be aggressive level one here, Fnatic. I can't believe they're actually playing like 
that died. against Neri Brown. Making sure that you get three kills onto Humanoid as that game started to progress. So I think that's where we'll see a lot of attention, especially as you start to creep over towards like level six, where you get a ton of engagement. Oh, Saken got the level two first. At the moment, Saken going to do a reason. It's going to hurt here for Saken. Humanoid as he starts to stack up that passive damage. Getting all that Stardust, obviously does just scale all of his abilities. There's not a break point you're looking for on the Aurelian Soul. Apart from when you have your ultimate, then you need to get 75 Stardust to ed and evolve it, and, you know, enhance it to give it that yeah, big It's more about when damage. he breaks you versus hitting a break point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice bot situation. Looks like Demand Rennington dashed in onto Oscar, but he dashed away, so he's fine. Level six. Jun gonna get stunned up with concussive blows, and the unbreakable means the trade is Oh, good. both junglers are mid. I think Fnatic lose this. Oh my god, he missed Q flash on Razork. He should be fine, though. Humanoid's not level three yet. Oh, he missed Q flash. Aye, mama. Yeah, Bo just gonna stick around to make sure you can actually crash this wave now for Saken. Even though he missed a cannon as well. Health advantage, you know, having the shield would be able to put a good amount of pressure on. But I mean, nice turnaround, gang. Saken did have to burn his flash. It's okay, just play safe, bot. Um, if you're fanatic, I think that just opens up an opportunity to try and repeat gank here, especially as uh, Saken, if he wants to try and play aggressive play forward, will be very vulnerable in that mid lane. Razzle not running hex flash on the realm this game though, so doesn't have as many avenues to approach that mid lane, not as many ways into it. I wonder if we'll see both trying to focus around Oscar's doing really well up here. How about Shard took a cheat to race, though? Very susceptible so that's going to be really annoying for the Aatrox. When she doesn't have that summoner, very low mobility mid laner, really only walk around on her two feet, gets a little bit of a movement speed from the command dissonance as well. And maybe Bots being pushed in on the bounce from K Corp, both mids TP'd back. And Humanoid should win this lane in isolation, especially considering Saken has no flash, he can't play as aggressive, right? Razork doesn't have hex flash, but he can revisit mid pretty easily. Orleans, I guess he's got his fly, which is kind of annoying, but Humanoid should be able to poke him down, he only has one pot. Top situation, Oscar probably needs to take a base soon. It's fine for now, because Rel's topside, but obviously respawn for top for Bow when he bases here is going to be a bit dangerous for him. They're just trying to crash the bot wave here. Targamas trying to slow it down. On. Targamas here trying to hold this wave as upset is on his base way. now. I was able to slide through that bottom lane. Zeri graced with many gifts in terms of getting back to the lane a little bit quicker than other AD carries can. So he'll be there to catch the wave. And not really too much to talk about in terms of lane advantages for anyone. Only that summoner burnt Forsaken on KC's side. Razork has burnt his flash, and Humanoid used the teleport to get back into the lane. So it's Ooh, Saken's nice trade, Marek. Marek put one a point a in Q and one point in W on, on Orianna. Set, He's got his reset in, picked up the Kindle mm. gem, whereas you haven't got why. the reset from, reset from Razork because his clear has been a little bit more eclectic. So I wasn't sure. This is this revenge. This game here is revenge for Boaster. And hold it there for Bo coming up, but actually end up going for the shove. So. Not sure if they wanted to try and go just for the Void Grubs instead here. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it's just a shove in to make sure we can get at least one Grub on Bow. The first Grub does give you an extra treat for your jungle pet. And often we will see junglers just look for the first one. If you can get more, great. That's, you know, perfect. And with the push in the top lane, Kabashar should be able to come over here and help Bow get it a little bit quicker. But wow. doesn't even need to do that. Bow doesn't even want to commit one, for wants more. Wants that treat, wants that extra XP. Uh, per Grub Camp, you can get one treat, so likely see Razzle coming over here later on to get one of those Grubs as well. Curious to see how do you want to try and play this out though for KC, because you have a lot of information as to where Razork is. Marek's command of base, and uh, uh, one thing to note so uh, is Razork has Cosmic Insight, because his flash is up a lot side. earlier the the than Aurelion's. The Nautilus is positioning here. So there is a window for Razork to flash in mid again at level 6 before Saken gets his flash up. So there's a 30 second kill window there if you look at the flash timings. Razork's a bit early though. His flash is up in about 50 seconds. So he's way too early. But he has no other drop right now. I think he's just marking the Sejuani. Oh, he missed the hook. It's fine, no flash. We're good. Away. We're out. Razor blocks. He has jump. The mid lane prio for humanoid means that he can move a little bit. Razor flash in 30. He could try and punish this already on. Just force Carmine Oh, he's away. going. A little bit too far forward. Targum has yeah, no flash him. either. Okay, nice. Flash. Jungle support, Absolutely. no flash. That's huge. That means fights are on your terms, not theirs. Aurelion has no flash up yet. They're going to pop the... Aurelion ult ignites down. Humanoid's chasing. Hook hits. That could be first blood there. 
Baker. Bake, 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 Baker. Oh, yes. Get him, Noah. No flash. Okay, the flash window punish is gone because of this early fight, but we get Drake off that right, or we get Crab and Base Super Tempo. Hell yeah. But bro, the crowd is chanting Fnatic. That's right. That's fucking right. Oski's doing great really as well. He's chilling. Ends for Carmine Cause. It kind of felt a little bit like they wanted to fight it, but then also they didn't want to fight it. Maybe just different players having different ideas exactly as to how the fight went down. And then Kabashar TPing Oski. it back up to the top lane as well, when perhaps he could have TP'd into the battle. Obviously, he would have had to go to a tower because we're pre-10 minutes, but he would have been able to join that fight if he had decided to go for a turret. So you can see here, right, you've got three members of Carmen Corp that are fighting when Upset can't really get into a position to deal anything. He'll get a W over the wall, but everyone on Fnatic is getting a hit, whereas Upset manages to get an auto attack in over the course of the whole thing. And no one nicely done just to flash forward there to finish off Bow, but it was just a very disjointed fight where Upset wasn't in a position to really deal the damage that he needed to. All right, they're going to get the three grubs, but we're not. Fuck, we didn't get Drake yet. I think Razor needs to run to Drake. Of it there. Bo's going to come back up towards these top side grubs. Doesn't have the pressure in mid or bot to look for the Drake. Razor just went back to a clear. So three grub grubs in the end for KC. Doesn't mean they are leading in terms of neutral objectives, but in terms of the bloody ones, it's Fnatic who are in the lead. Yummy, it's yummy. Lifesteal from the Aatrox. As well. Which is a bit alarming if you're Car Carmen Corp, to be honest, because what has been their success has been the early stages in a lot of their games, and then it's kind of been the mid-game where their team fights have started to slump. But now... Current We're clearing the bot. To a nice start. That must be a Drake start. Kind of Wait, how is Saken? He just hit level... What? Look at Saken. He just hit level 7. Marek Bresta is about to hit level 8. There's a one level lead in mid. Wait, hold up. That's huge. That's huge for the boys. It's already been kind of playing off of these advantages in mid that they've been able to set up in those jungle fights. It's things like the control ward that Saken just Marek Brusta. Give Fnatic all Red buff into Drake Force. Let's just get it, baby. A couple of bits of vision deep into the Carmine Core jungle, making it so that although that Carmine is Core doing think work in the fog of war, yo, this already on Kant lane. Just cover mid. Look at mid CS. To make plays. Hex flash over here by Jun. Razzle on the way as well. No Both flash on that fraud. That get him. Buff, but already Targum is dead. And he's just got another kill Jun. for Jun the Beast. He support this game two and oh already on the Nautilus. And as, as you say, like on a vision, didn't realize this. Ooh, threatened bot dive. They have TP on already on Oski. On the top end, Cabo, Oscar, and we'll be able to just step away from this. Just dash away. Played it still caps for both the top laners to start off, so unless someone dramatically oversteps, don't expect... Oh, you know where he's flying to. Here. Boom. Oh, no flash. By Saken. Bro, this is a fucking stomp. His bot side. Don't and stomp them this hard. And then exposed his own. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Removing his dragon area, Fnatic could be able to pick that one up as well. Stop glazing, you know the matchup's unplayable early. Oh, so I should just bone, be like, ah, uh, go Humanoid should, should be this far ahead. Side, which no. Upset is reset. I think it's because so Midwave was trash when they fought in bot side, and uh, uh, Aurelion was forced out with no TP and Midwave was frozen. I think that's the reason he's getting fucked. It's not even to do with the matchup. The matchup is rough, but it's probably because the wave was trash when they fought in bot side jungle. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I'm guessing. going for the Knight's Vow early on as well. I've started to see a, a lot of talk about this. We see a lot of tank junglers go Knight Spell first, and it looks like Razzle's doing you? the same. It is just such just push? a powerful item. The ability to haste armor and dead. health giving you a lot. Are you dead? And now yeah, we yeah. see it coming to the fore as Bo it's okay. kills off Oscar winning in the top lane. It seems like Carmine Core agree with your strategy here, Rob. Yeah, and then they're going to try and kill Car Humanoid as well. Nice flash, Marek. Right, flash away just in time. Glacial Prison uh, Fisher just a little bit too late there. No, they're still being chased, concussive blows. One You're more griefing. Humanoid or are you? Yep. E, 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 e. Oh, mama. Jun, fuck him up! But he falls instead to the singularity. Oh my god, it's cringe. They're both one HP. What is happening? Start to answer back with two kills of their own. Yeah, nicely done by Carmen Corp. I mean, you get the kill on top side, you get the uh, kill onto Humanoid. Saken just able to escape, but you also get the uh, execute for Saken. So up to 93 stacks now coming through for him. He's in a fairly decent spot, so... Overall, Carmen Corp is getting some things back, but it is still fanatic a lot of the times in the driver's seat, right? You're looking at Noah getting a good advantage of that bottling because the kills and now picking up some plates for himself as well. KC so outscales. If you are fanatic, you can um, still for these team fights off the advantage. I don't think up. so. I mean, already on Sol's area, Corp, two good carries. Two don't get me wrong, but Kaisa Oriana okay, with an Aatrox. 
have a shot looking to win out this top lane as Oscar Rinnan is forced away. And Rel Nautilus, I mean the Braum actually is what sways the scaling, I think. The Braum does a lot of work in the scaling battle. In the top lane. It's so powerful not only because of the, the raw stats and the um, accomplice passive it gives you where if you tether it to someone... jun has been just sitting around mid, he's not even level 6 yet. It, you know, it, it balances out and then you get Yo, my man, we need level 6 on this Nautilus, get it on the wave or some shit, there we go, so hell yeah. Once a minute, you can run into the lane, put it on the person in that lane, do the gank, get all of the benefits out of it, and then next gank, you just put it on someone in the other lane. So it's just so easy to utilize it effectively. It's not like when we saw it on supports when they just put it on one person for the entire game, usually the AD carry. Here, Bo can utilize it all across the map. Humanoid, no flash, remember here in the Surprised didn't pull the trigger with Sejuani up there onto Humanoid. Distract him enough so I mean, Jun and Razor are around, but they have a lot of follow-up with Brown Trying to set up for... Uh, Rift, or sorry, Void Grubs, I should say, as he's starting to move up, but it, he's going to leave Saken very exposed on the bot side, who has no flash of his own, so that's where you're kind of seeing a bit of a lean back and forth from Carmine Corbett to be like, can we clear mid? Okay, yeah, we kind of have cleared mid, let's try and protect Saken on the bot side, but now we're leaving mid exposed, so it's a lot of back and forth here, so Saken at least able to clear out this wave, but they will end up losing just one turret in mid lane as Humanoid is able to take that off the wave that was there. There are six grubbies, grubbies guys. So they do get some time we're going to dive this already on Soul. No flash. A little bit Show me the hook. At times, oh, the ult. A lot of them. Oh, he didn't get in time. Yes. He didn't get in time with the block on Brown. But the, sh the shield's in the way. Nice, nice Magnet Storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have cleanse, though. We have cleanse. Just cleanse the, cleanse the stun. Look for the Brown. Yeah, nice. Okay, the Oscar TP I don't think was necessary, but I can see why he did it. Looking at their vision. Maybe lost track of Sejuani. Very oh, he yoinked it as well. The Grump. Gonna be able to make his way back out, but nicely done by Fnatic, just punishing KC being overextended on the map. Brown didn't get in time to block. You can see skies descend. Good stun. Good knock up onto Noah, but they just have so much time. It doesn't matter that Noah's CC'd for that long. Yeah, I mean the amount of. Uh, CC that's in for Where's my bottle of water? As well, it's just absolutely absurd. And yes, you get Cabo in, but it's matched by the Aatrox. Upset again isn't in a position to try and follow. And this isn't like uh, Upset's problem. Upset should have been covering Midwave, but you had to then forego Bot Terror Forsaken in lieu of getting Void Grubs. But because you try and play off of too many different points on the map, KC get punished and Fnatic reading it well. Yeah, it's one of those, just play safe. And it, it, it's just the play meme, safe. Like, oh, just play safe. Yeah, I got tower dive by four people. It's like, yeah, just play safer. Just back off. You know, if you're playing through mid and your jungler's topside doing the grubs, maybe you shouldn't be trying to defend the bot lane tier one, even if you have targets there to help you out as well. Actually, it's well, true. It's the grubby's the debuff. Go for grubby's, lose everything bot side. Fnatic have a numbers advantage because that's really what professional macro seems to be about at the moment is how are you playing side lanes how many people are visible for the enemy team and can you find an instant engage on someone who is going to be outnumbered is Oski getting dove again no way are they diving this Targamas is fake pressure look this Renekton by the way hello 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 look this Renekton but Cabo Shard isn't going to be as lucky on the opposite side so thank you for it exactly Death Charge comes in Cabo Shard looks first up and he's dead why why are you here with this tower the tower's gone and now you're giving them 300 gold and the turret to boot and it opens up the dragon which was probably going to be taken by Fnatic anyway because Bo's topside but it just makes it that much easier for them yeah you kind of got to think of it in terms of like taking a turn right so if you look at hey Carmen Corporate committed to the top side but they're taking their turn to kill Rift Herald with it's crazy that the Knight's Vow he can Razork can gank bot there right and dive bot and whoever has tower aggro he just puts Knight's Vow on them and now it's on cooldown again but it's going to be up again soon so every play he looks for in a two three man core he always just knights vows anyone before damage begins and it actually really helps the fight doesn't it unfortunately it's carmine corp who are coming in on the the terrible side and for fanatic they're very happy with how the sequence has gone right you know you get the second dragon of the game it is a hex soul one of the more powerful souls oski we good and they're going to look to dive Oscar in. Concussive blows will go down on him in just a second. There's the first turn. Permafrost for the follow-up. Glacial Fisher going down, and there's a good kill from Carmine Core. Oscar in thought he was safe because Razzle was in the area. But again, he's got two people up top lane. Should he be defending this tower? And that's also the downside of this matchup is that you it's don't okay. Get don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We good. We good. We good. The in the top We're cross mapping. Or you lose it it's like a lot of people are dying on weak sides here. See, with all the permafrost, with all the stacks that are coming through from Targamus, the CC chain is just too long. Maybe if he got another Q and got the heal off of us with the. Q Q3, he could have survived for Azark to get down there, but unfortunately that CC just too hot to handle. 
Still, though, for Fnatic, 2,300 gold ahead. Two dragons to the good. Grubs they have heralds from mid tower here, K Corp. Over to Carmine Core. Where are we in terms of items? Well, both the AD carries have a static shiv. Kel surprise. Noah is on his way to his next item with a pickaxe and a recurve bow. The crit cloak completed for upset as well. Both mid laners have their first item. Saken going for the Rylies and Humanoid going for the Seraphs. Variations on a blue star in the mid lane. Gandalf wouldn't be happy. He's uh, Gandalf the White. Gandalf the blue. There is a blue wizard. I can't remember his name, and that disappoints me. So I'm sorry. I for just wish I knew what Tom Bombadil was. That's oh, he is. All right, Humanoid Tom catches Bombadil top, but Humanoid must be over griefing his base here. He has TP, oh, no, he but he has no health and mana, really. Uh, he's basically is he greeting an item? Humanoid, I swear numbers. to God, if you're greeting an item, you little rat. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, he has blue buff. That's acceptable. That so he's going to take a reset now, though. There's no objective I'm on the top like, side of the map, but he needs to be careful. Watch out for Sejuani. Oh, Jesus, man. Marek, you're fucking flipping it. Now top tier one's dead. Unless we can somehow collapse up here, but they're five-man top. Does have TP. It's okay, you just get bomb push while Humanoid's well, stepping up. Humanoid, you're kind of inting. Wow, this TP is really far away. The, the tower will fall first. Jun gonna depth charge away. Glacial Prison went a mile wide. There's the damage coming out as well as Targum dashes forward. Magnus song to catch out. Nice. Oscar's buying time. Oh, Oscar. Targum went a little bit too deep. Oscar in it now. In from the side. Oscar had really good position there on the TP. Can you look for more? That guy knows something. Fnatic another TP from Humanoid as he looks to cut off the escape. It's all an upset, but he can't find anything. Caught in a dredge. Big Oscar. Let's fucking right. Marek TP behind the Renekton as well. But he's basing. Wasted TP. It's fine. The fact that you get the TP coming through from Oscar in a fantastic Oh, wow. Spot. I thought that TP from Oscar was kind of in because he was so far away and they already engaged. Because look, he's TPing now and they're already fighting. But the Shockwave disengages it and then K Corp try and chase with Aurelion ult and he has Hex Gates. That Hex Gate saved it because now he can get on top of the Aurelion Soul. Where Seiken and Cobblechart have to deal with them. That's when Fnatic Pound start to move forward. And it's so easy for them to turn around because, again, Carmen Corp very separated on. Big kills fight. for Oscar, big kills too for Fnatic. Many opportunities, That's too many fucking options, huge. Essentially end up with choice paralysis. Yep. And it's one of those things where, it, in the initial moment, it looks like Humanoid is doing too much to try and defend that tower. But you cheat tempo, you cheat your turn by teleporting behind the opposition and allowing that quick move for Oscar in, which then. Shot Carmine Core out of the battle. Bow will fall as well. He's locked Absolute up mega pick. I mean, there's no Drake spawning like for a minute, so they can't secure a soul point, but I mean, this just makes it so you can get deep vision and take away camps, right? The objective for Fnatic right now is mid tier one. Also, Bow has Herald. Is that going to expire? He's had that for a long time. He still has Herald, 18 seconds. Is it going to expire in the death? Wait, no, it doesn't happen anymore. It just auto summons, doesn't it? Fuck, they changed that. Oh my god, I almost broke my armrest. I forgot that. They change it so it auto summons now, right? Even if you die, cringe. I think you should be punished for dying with Herald. Okay, look at the bot side. Just blue wards littered all over the place down there, and it makes it very easy now for you to say, "Hey, we're going to set up a choke point where you try to walk in the river, right? You got to go through." You should be punished. Going to leave his sphere in the middle of that choke point, and it's impossible to try and approach. It's actually one of the worst parts about Rift Herald as well. I love Rift Herald. You know, you can ride Shelly, get the towers, etc. It's quite a good objective if used appropriately. But it means you don't have a sweeper as the jungler. And so it's all on target to deny as much vision as possible. Now that Bo has charged his Rift Herald in and will be able to dash out if anyone gets any closer, he now has the sweeper. And by pushing the Rift Herald right, through Drake mid, in one. the prio mid, which means he can now join up with his team, connect with them. The hook goes in. Oscar that hook was a bit sketchy, well, but Renekton ulted. Oh, so ult is okay. Not bad, Rai Razor. This Renekton can't. Oh, oh, shit, that hurts. Oh, shit, that hurts. Oh, shit, that hurts. No, 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 wait, no, 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 Oski, 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 you have Q, 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 his ult's off, his ult's off, Zeri ult's off, wow, that Orion Soul ult did so much damage, what the fuck, just about though, like nicely done from Upset and Saken to keep Fnatic at bay, because I was about to praise Fnatic, I like to stay again, Wait for Carmen Corp to start to move up out of this choke point in River. So you have a lot of setup where it's going to come through with Jun, lands the hook. You get the shockwave as everyone's trying to move through this small area. Then Razor comes through with the crash down. But as he, like, Cabo Sharp setting up a great front line, Sake with a massive stun. An upset is just untouched. Thank God Noah's ahead. Otherwise, that fight was fucked. So 
Looks like Fennec's getting, getting Drake on live. That should put them on soul point. Through. As you can see, Osprey and his health part. Yeah, and unfortunately for Carmine Core, they didn't have a smite left after the fight finished because they had the better health bars. They had more. And if they if they could have turned for the dragon, if they had that smite, they would have gone for it. But there was always the risk of Basil just jumping the wall and smiting it away under their very noses. Third dragon now secured for Alright, K Corp has objective bound. He's 5k gold lead for Fanatic. As well. If he'd been at two, if he'd been at two and a half. Could have played out very differently. Still a 5,000 gold lead for Fnatic. Carmine Core setting up vision on this top side. The Scuttle Crab has spawned. Gives you a big vision cheat if you can take it. Razor looking for it. Bo will step forward, look for the smite, but he can't get in range. And now Fnatic, no, that area is littered with Kaisa Carmine so Core strong. Wards, and they'll clear a few of them out at least. Mid lane tower is going to fall though. Carmine Core getting their third of the game. Yeah, I think it's actually a good trade for Carmine Core because not only do you get the mid lane terror, you kind of get to push Fnatic up into the top side. Chat, I have a pain like here in, in my shoulder. Like, like feels side. like my blood kind of flow here is the, trash. The protocol here for Carmine Corp is all right. Let's just try and get this ASOL rolling. Get as many stacks him to his bottom possible. Give as many waves to him. And at the moment, you can see in those fights, like Saken's getting to a point where he is going to be absolutely obnoxious. And yes, humanoid will also get stronger. He can have these big shock waves. Uh, but uh, when you're going this build from Noah. He has some good scaling, but it's going to be matched by like upset as you get towards the later. Who's playing game. next so game? Next game is Giant X versus SK. Then after that is Mad versus uh, G2, like which is finals rematch. Way, but there's still moments here for Carmine which will be fun. They can set up a team Razork's having a really good game. Razork and Noah. I actually think Jun's been playing really well. I think the bot lane of Fnatic, I was worried about them at the start of winter. They had like really shaky moments. But uh, so far, so good. I think their bot lane's definitely shaped up well. For you, or oh, six technically, because you can stack either side three times. But yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, the Baron uh, Force is rather easy with a 7 0 Kaisa. And they have Nautilus Rel Flash for turn. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wait one second. He gets out of vision now, though. Humanoid pushed out top, so that wave's going to crash, and that will be lost experience and gold for Carmine Core unless someone answers it. Looks like at the moment they are sacking some of the XP on top wave. Come back. Cabo on his way to catch it. So it can mean heart attack, really. Careful because well, GG. We're looking to see if he overextended on this side lane. It was a good run. They outnumber Carmine Corp on this bottom side of the map right now. Good thing for Casey is how quickly Upset can move between Wow, how do they move to bot tier 2 and get a bot tier 2? Oh my god, that already on soul turrets. Oh my god, no, I lost flash. Wait, this is a horror. Oscar's dead. Well, Oscar in and shut down. Good collapse. From KC, Razor, Glacial Prison. That's Wait. the next mid year I've ever seen one. But they Razzle, might get Nash off that. Magnus Storm will only buy him a second as he is shut out of the fight by KC. That's Byron for Carmine Corp, though. Humanoid gonna try his best to get some poke down just to try and stop They might them, get Nash off that. Why are we sieging bot tier two with no Nash when Drake's up in two and Nash is up as well? Like, really and we're ahead. Good patience as well by Feels useless. Allow Fnatic to push up two of that turret. And now, Carmine Corp have Wow, we just lost Baron. minutes on the Drake. Oh god. will be holding a big purple buff when it does begin. Have another look at this cuz Why are we sieging this when mid tier 1 is up? Yeah, they end up going too far forward when you don't have a uh, humanoid here. What she's trying to push in mid. So the quick collapse by Carmen Corp and the damage by moving that bit too far forward just sets up beautifully then for Saken to Honestly, it'd be an absolute terror on this Aurelian Salt. He's been playing exceptionally well on this pick and oy, oy, oy. punishing Fnatic when realistically that should have been Fnatic kind of getting a bit of a clean sweep. Like, Fnatic have been doing a great job of setting up their vision, playing around it on this bottom side of the map, making sure that Carmen Corp, because Targumus and Bowen kind of working in synergistic um, motions to get All right, they got Nash, which stabilizes the game, but we need to fight this dragon. When you we need to like fight that, Dragon. Giving those moments to Carmine Corp when you've kind of ticked all the boxes, but you just kind of forgot to put your signature at the bottom. It happens sometimes you just skip a step. Oscar right? just push top That's as much as you exactly can. What Fnatic did there didn't give Humanoid time to push forward. A minute on the Drake. Carmine Corp holding the buff for another two minutes time. Now set up their vision down towards this bottom side. Oscar's pushing in top. That's seen by KC. Wave pushed by KC in that bottom lane and will continue to push towards that turret. You can see the Fnatic ping. Oscar's pushing like, top, okay, so Orion has the base and catch. Cabo Shard has no TP. Mid tier one slow, but they have Nash to buff mid bot. So Maybe that means K Corp could play for bot tier two, but I think it's a bit overextended. If they give bot push, if they go for bot push, they drop mid push, they could take mid tower here, Fnatic, and then they have access into Drake as well, considering Oscar is trying to zone away. Oscar, Drake's in 20. We just wasted all. We're gonna get a tower for it because I guess you had to zone him away. 
actually a bit of a mistake from Fnatic. Carmen Cup should just Shockwave. keep pushing. Shockwave on Forsaken oh. is a little bit too Nice, they got Orion's flash, flash, but he has the upgraded ult and TP, so I think they're in time to fight Drake. The question is, is Fnatic in time to fight Drake? They have TPs on solo lanes. They don't have Aatrox ult, but they got Orion flash. I think in the short term that benefits K Corp, unless Yonoi can land the Shockwave on him somehow, but I think Fnatic should drop this. I think they should drop it. No level 16, no Aatrox ult. I think just dropped. Oh my god, they're TPing. They're double TPing. Oh my god, they're double TPing. Oh my god, they're double TPing. Razor can steal this. He's not in range though. Oh my god, they can throw the whole game here. They you also assaulted Rennington as well. Hey, 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 Rennington sold no flash. Oh my god, Oscar. Why did we not assault it? Wow, my god, they threw. They Nautilus ulted the Rennington instead of the Aurelion, which could There's no way they're throwing this. Yow! Wait, they're griefing here a bit, K Corp. You know, don't flash. Oh my god, he flashed. Okay, we lost to Drake. Can we get Bo? Yeah, we get we get Sejuani. Right? You have EW, right? EW mega combo here on Aatrox. Or that. Yes, okay, fuck yeah. We're back. Get mid tier one. Yo, 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 where are you going? Mid tier one. Hello. That mid tier one better be dead when I come out of this fucking replay. Why did we not assault Rennington? Just ult the fucking. Already on soul there, Jun. And then Oscar misses oh, Q1 and Q2 because I think he doesn't see Aurelion. And then Kai's ult gets interrupted by the Aurelion soul ult. And Humanoid has no shockwave here. Imagine you have Oriana ult right there. It's GG. He doesn't have it though. God, it's such a greedy fight. Why did they take that? But he's not going to be able to do anything, so Osgurden just escapes across. Humanoid still very, very healthy, chases Cabo Shard out, and now Targamus is completely overextended, so Bo has to try and help him. And then this flash from Humanoid, really, really good. At this point, Bo should have just given up on trying to save the support, but in trying to do too many things at once, they actually end up giving over all those extra kills to Fnatic. The common goal have fought long and hard to get back into this game, and I think they really are there now. Obviously, Soul still they didn't get mid tier one. Them. What? One more Drake to secure it, but the gold was five thousand a few moments ago. Now it's down to three. Carmichael have four items on upset as well. Who's only died once this game? Cabbage what? pushing in the bot lane. Chat, no just clip remember. it and check the map states when they got the kill on Sejuani and tell me that's not the freest mid tier one you've seen in your life. Right now it looks like it will push towards the KC base pretty soon, and Oscar's going to help it on its way. Reinforcement wave Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was a TP ward behind, but that looks well. so free, especially it's considering like it's 1 HP. In the of a battle, All right, we're basing on Kai'Sa. Young minions come Should have the um, <laughs> IE picked up, I guess, is what he's building, or BT IE. Okay, good. Wow, Kai'Sa, mega strong. Mega, mega strong. He's four items, but so is Zeri. For the moment, it's just that bounce of the waves. We'll see which team decides to invest where. Humanoid currently catching bot wave. Showing on the wave means that Oscar wants to back away from top because he would be very much outmanned by Carmine Cole, who is setting up around this Baron. Spawns in a minute and a half's time. AD carries the ones to watch in these fights. Obviously, Humanoid can have a huge impact with the Shockwave, obviously Razwalk with the Magnet Storm, but if Noah is alive longer than Upset, Fnatic have probably won the fight. If Upset's alive longer than Noah, Carmine Core probably won the fight. Yeah, I do think Saken has a Mid-tier one should be easy well. to pick so, like, up. Easy. Can we just so right-click mid and take this fucking thing as five? Or as four, I don't like care. One done, like, that tower is one. Whereas I think if you have Saken up at the end of it, that DPS is still something to be feared. So, oy, oy, oy. Um, definitely Nash Noah 40. and Humanoid kind of want to one-shot a lot of this front line. Or even if that already on Soul line, is getting really fucking Corp, strong. still options here as you start to push forward, especially like, as you say, upset, nerdy full build, and Saken is lagging behind. Like I said, when it gets to late game, the Braum is the difference maker, actually, because the front to back DPS is quite similar. But the Braum actually game changes it for K Corp, because he can block so much of it. Oscar with his flank has to be something that Carmine Court are very aware of. Fnatic don't have a huge amount of vision. In fact, none really passed the midway point of the map. They still haven't cracked the tier one in mid either. Carmine Core. With the Baron up in six seconds' time, they have total. What is Humanoid basing for? Right no now. way he has Rebidon. No control ward in there from KC means that Fnatic now have the knowledge that it hasn't been begun. Okay, he bought it. Oh my God, he has Rebidons! What? Wait, this Oriana is fucking OP. This Oriana is absolutely bussing. Are you kidding? He can if he hits ult on Zeri, she's insta dead. Our Baron's quick, and we have Rel. Razork. Balls, baby. Just finish it. 
Talking about stepping forward, 3,000 on the Baron. Oscar winning, keeping both. There it is, just finish it. All right, show me the Oriental. Oh, Noah, position is insane. Oh, Noah! Kimberloid, you good, Kerr? It's a penta for Noah, it's a penta, it's a penta. Yeah. Yo! Who stole it? And bot take the win. What an engage by Razork there. That's what I call confidence. Finishes the Baron with EQ Smite, doesn't give a fuck, and then just flashes on this area with no flash. Bro, monster fucking, monster confidence. Razork's such a fucking legend. What a monster. As uh, Oscar and Imazuk and uh, Noah are now pushing in. How long Damn. have we got? 12 seconds on Targamas. It could just be over. It is over. Noah taking down these GG. We pee. Holy Razork. Razork, Razork, Razork. A Razork. Solid what a dive. On the week. Nicely done from Fnatic. And again, like, solid team fighting, decent decision making. There was one or two missteps here or there. But overall, you can see they just had a better understanding of how they want to try and play at the map, play it through their composition. What a dive by Razor K. Just a few mistakes as well from KC. Oscar, rough early game, getting perma dove. But, yeah, it's okay. Just need to be a bit more careful on the weak side. Noah had the best scoreline, Razzle had some good engages, Humanoid hit some good shockwaves. You decide. I mean, that's kind of how votes work. <laughs> that's the beauty of <laughs> that's it. That's the yeah. beauty. <laughs> I don't have to commit to anything. I can just be fluffy. Anyway, we're going to go do a short break. Afterwards, Humanoid will be here with an interview. We'll see you later. What a game. Easy dub. Yo, Fnatic, Fnatic looking kind of clean this split. It's only been two games though, Mark. What are you yapping? What is you yap, yap, yappity, yap, yap, yappity sex, yappers? Wait, is Kameto in the studio chat? He is, right? Yeah, no, he's at home. Wait, where is Kameto? Oh, he's in a booth backstage. I thought he would be in the co-streaming booth. Interesting. Oh. Uh. Check Jun replay at the end. What did he do? Did he just dive in and die? Yo, 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 what's up? What's poppin'? Red Bull gives huh? you wings. Yeah, easy win. Never in doubt. Oh, do you want the headset? I, I had to clean it for you, but I got your headset, yeah. Oh my god, I've, maybe I should. I don't know if it's. There's medics. <laughs> yeah, I can't get you all on camera because it's too zoomed out. Huh? Wait, is your headset working? Wait. Say something? Wait, say something? Wait. Oh no, it's this one. Oh, it's two. There we go. That looks more like it. Wait. Say something? Yeah, yeah. I okay, I can hear you now. Okay. okay you're, nice. Medic, your, your short hair looks crazy good. <laughs> My hair looks good as well. Do you want to talk to the chat? Yo, oh, yeah. chat. Subscribe to Medicast on Twitch. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I wish you could subscribe to me. I still have a good luck. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so how are we doing? Good. I'm good. Oh, I we just did this for like 40 minutes. So I don't know why we're just talking to each other I again. Know, yeah, yeah. yeah we great. just came yeah, to say hi. Like, I'm hoping say you're doing hi. okay. You yeah, know. It's going, yeah. Try and see if you're doing all right after. Well, Fnatic had a bit of a. Yeah, there was a little <laughs> bit of a, a little bit of an obviously in the mid game. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys talk because there's no point. You <laughs> Yeah, we need to get a third headset in here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Everyone say bye. <laughs> I like the way you just came in, plugged your own stream, and then we're just like, all right, yeah, I'm out here. This is fine. <laughs> that is fair. That I is don't have fair. another headset. Sorry, I'll get one. <laughs> your jacket says Mark on it. Do you want to explain that? Yeah, well, I heard there was a really nice, like, Merc Lamont guy. Merc? Doing, trying to sell all this new merch. Had, Merc like, Lamont? Shoes. He had some, like, sick items. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go and see if I can purchase them. But I think I bought the wrong thing. 
You bought the wrong thing? Yeah, just like the Atron. Yeah, it should say Mark Lamont, <laughs> not Marco Polo. Yeah, close enough, you know? Maybe you put the mic closer, am I high? Is it? I don't know, man. Oh, I yeah, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. It's working. Okay. It's working. But, uh, Are you having fun? Yeah, I mean, it's a fun game. I was just so like... So, when you said you were going to come on the stream, yeah, yeah, and I was like, come on the stream, I thought you were going to come on during a game when you weren't casting. No, because, like, well, like, probably could have already wrong, but yeah. I wasn't sure what the plan was. I didn't realize you were going to invade after your cast. Yeah, yeah, I will have to dip in, like, two minutes. Cause I yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Chad, what do you mean, Giga Chad, Giga Medic NPC? That's not the fucking... <laughs> that's not the vibe. That's not the vibe, Chad. I, uh, put tag the letter. I, yeah, I have a feeling that this... Put that the louder. Lot. Yeah, I think I think you're good on volume now. I think you're good. Hopefully. But yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it was a fun game. I don't know how you felt. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was good. It was good. I think they kind of threw it on the bot tier too, and then K Corp got Nash for free. Yeah. And then uh, what else happened? I think Razork was just carrying the whole game. Yeah. Razork's a fucking beast. Razork's a beast. Yeah. Razork's a beast. Are you gonna stream LPL soon? When's the yeah, tank? Yeah, yeah. I wanna try to get it on back on tomorrow. Tomorrow so LPL back the stream. Six, so I was hoping. Yeah. Hell yeah. Get back on the LPL stream. Everyone says, hey, Dagda, great cast. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mate, yeah. your chat moves significantly fast. Sometimes they're slow, sometimes they're fast. Sometimes they're slow, sometimes they're fast. Just depends. Depends what they want to spam. There's the rat emotes. Now they spam a bit quicker. Yeah, once the XDD comes. Yeah, once the XDD starts flying, they're back in business. I do love how I just get people coming into my chat just going like, Pedro has abused us, he's made us miserable, and then they come to mind because oh yeah, we just gave They say that I abuse them? Yeah. On you fucking basis. liars, I treat you great. I don't abuse you. <laughs> fucking degenerates, what do you mean? What do you mean I abuse you? I don't abuse you. <laughs> I love how everyone's still saying much love medic. I think he's gone. Nah, he rose in the chat. Oh, did he? Oh, fair. Yeah. Oh, the cameraman's fixing the camera. Yo, cameraman, oh, thank, you. thank you. But, uh... We so won't. We'll need it refixed in. Like to ask for a quest. About the game, how it was when we saw okay, so my chat thinks I'm an NPC quest giver. Oh yeah. yeah. So every time I'm like talking to when someone, they're like, they ask the person fights. what quest I gave them. Uh, yeah. What did you think of their approach? I mean, it was to make you food. Going for that, that's you, why you did make me food. Yo, chat. He came on the stream one day and brought me food because I didn't have any food. That was really. That was my quest. Yeah. Yeah. I had to fetch the like. So that's where they kind of all the different ingredients. Usually for Yeah, it was tasty as fuck. I like. It. Yeah, they did I liked well. it a lot. Uh, I think Aurelion Soul kind of sucks. So <laughs> that, that's Soul kind of sucks. The, the right. well, it was doing some work though. Again, there was a couple times where I was like, yeah, true. Yeah, it actually needs, did hit. needs a lot of time though for scaling. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Uh, it's been weird trying to get back into league because like I've had time off, yeah. trying to like kick back into. Oh yeah, I need to like look at game. Yeah, true. And not just solo queue. Are you playing solo queue? Yeah, uh, yeah like, well, I'm playing a little bit. Me what are you playing? And, uh, thresh and the team also. We thresh just support. Spam it. In the base, uh, actually. Last I love thresh. We had no I'm so identity. We had I'm no idea trying to. I'm also sorry. I'm trying to struggle in my so brain to be like, I can I curse really here, because but if I go like I 20 feet that way, I'm not allowed to curse. So my brain is doing. Yeah, just say fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck that. Get the get the fucks out. Yeah, this is the swearing is allowed room, and in the next room you're not allowed to swear. Yeah, yeah. But I do have to go back to my actual nice. job. Okay. So, it was later, good bro. seeing you, man. Yeah, always yeah, welcome. You can always pop in whenever. See you later, bro. Bye, chat. Love you all. So Everyone say bye. On uh, your team loves you. See you, bro. You're the most beautiful human being. You're the best. Tell me about this. Did you write everything? Uh, of course not. All right. Uh, was, we got a bit all my teammates that wrote it ganked themselves. by the cast, but that was Fantastic. cool. That was They're nice amazing. to see We have June on the other side waiting for GB to break down a play. Anything you want to tell your AD carry? Uh, Main yeah, quest, go stream with Kajal. Really well, but I think your build was really fucking bad. So make sure to improve on it. All right, Marek, Wait, who was so that much? message to? Your oh, build was really fucking bad? <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I had something else planned first. Do you have a response to your mid laner here? I mean, our mid laner told to something and we mistake. So it was my mid bet, but it's fine. Okay, so mid lane's fault, yeah? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so Noah, I have Noah's a, uh, English is really good. We were talking about this play earlier as well. Um, I would love to know um, from a mindset of an AD carry how you approach these fights. We're going over the clip, I'm going to show it to the viewers as well in a bit. But you were telling me it was a mechanical mistake going into this fight. As I roll out the fight now, can you tell me why this fight is a mechanical misplay? Noah? You so there, it Kurt? starts off with a good shockwave in the beginning, but then Aurelian yeah. Soul comes down here. What goes wrong in this team fight for you guys? I mean, when we play this comp, we should uh, we should focus Jerry and Auser, Auser. So, but this fight, we didn't focus Jerry and Auser, so they got free 
free damage. So yeah. it was a mistake. And do you have anyone you'd like to call out on the mistake? Is it a team mistake? Uh, or do you feel like you uh, should have been better at setting it up for it? Or what do you feel like really goes wrong with it? I mean, it was team mistake, so we can do better with team. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay. As an AD carry, how much influence do you have on these plays? Because you were very fit this game, mm -hmm. and you had a lot of potential to carry this. Tell Law that KT are frauds. Do you take a lot of the communications in an instance like this, or do uh, you rely a lot wait, on Wait, what did Jun do at the end? Like Someone sent me the clip. No sums, or if they, if Inam has no sums, I call this, and we can buy it better. So he just I executed to the tower. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Uh, short and straight to the point. Thank you very much, <laughs> Noah. I'm going to have to throw it already over to the next game, so I'm going to throw it to the casters. Take it away, boys. We're taking it away, and then we're bringing Thank it back, because we can't actually move. We're tethered to the desk. Yeah, a little bit. It's like we have a, a leash. These nice little squishy floors, though. True. Yeah. People don't know about the squishy floors. Uh, so we're going <laughs> to yeah. cast Giant X versus SK in a second. <laughs> yeah. So now it's Giant X versus SK chat, max, and then after that, it's G2 squishy, versus... And it makes it a lot easier for us man. to stand for long periods of time. Because we're getting old. Yeah, so... Yeah, and Betty was already complaining about his knees. Maybe, instead of true, maybe one yeah. day they can yeah. rename from yeah. mad to happy. Anyway, Giant X versus SK. Calm. Um... A battle for teams to kind of solidify the ground they're on. Yo, the Medic, undo another button. String. Yeah, I think especially like Giant X yesterday, not on the best of times against Carmine Corp. Yeah. It was a little bit upsetting for them. I think they really wanted to come in and kind of hit the ground running. And um, especially since they were one of our teams that made it to playoffs last time. But uh, now coming up uh, against SK, going to be a bit of a toughie. I think SK also a team that you saw Niski try his damnedest on the RE yesterday to make it work for his team, but just couldn't quite get across the finish line. So curious to see how they try and bounce back here now. Yeah, I think on day one performance, I would Ash first pick before we see draft, etc. But we are going to see draft, and they do have to play a game <laughs> before we can decide that. Ash. So, yeah, it's Senna. Ash uh, first Ash pick. Oh, man, it feels so weird to see them huddling so during draft still. I'm still not used to it. With only one AD carry ban in the first rotation means that Giant X Look at the Fnatic tweet. On it. Patrick, the what did they tweet? Only player to lose on small Yo, my, my Twitter doesn't really work very well here in the studio. SK could look nope, that's not the Fnatic, that's Durka. Very common answer into the Ash. Just, you can outrange her because you just poke with your arrows instead of having to Oh my god. Oh, so to Yo, what is that Fnatic tweet? <laughs> just in the bottom side of the map, right? So I'm curious to see exactly what the game plan is going to be going for. Do you just take something like the Sichuani here? Wait, that's brutal. To try and go for some success. Or is it going to be a case of, well, let's just try and go for something funky in the bot lane. Like, Ezreal supporter sometimes. Okay, I guess they're playing. I guess they're playing Ash Kalista here, or I'm not sure what they're doing with this Ash because they lost Varus. Okay, they're doing Ash Kalista Gragas. Okay, I'm guessing that's Oduamne's Gragas. They probably think Gragas is an S tier pick. Or even in the jungle, you see a little bit of Gragas jungle still. And it's a lot of displacement already. You've got I mean, what do you pick? Do you pick Nautilus Ashen, here? You've got the or do you, you pay Varus support and pick an AD carry and counter push them in? Powerful combination already from Giant Tech. Like, SK you could play like Draven Varus now or some shit if you're psychotic or like Cajun Varus, or you just go north, right? Okay, they go north. I think T1 would uh, probably go Varus support, wouldn't they, the little psychopaths? Yeah, or, or Draven support. He struggles to get. Wait, Smolder's open. Yeah, I just realized. The draft from SK Wait, is what the fuck? To me it's like, hey, look, we're going Show the Fnatic tweet? I can't. I mean, I guess I can. Wait, hold up. Want into this scenario where it's like, hey, we want to try and play hyper aggressive into us. Um, but then if you're binding Blitzcrank, it's Wait. kind of saying, hey, we want to set up for like a melee or something like that, right? There it is. <laughs> and then maybe we're cut off guard with the fact that Ignar feels comfortable playing the Ash support. Yeah. Um, but he did play it last split, so that's why I'm kind of surprised to see that good this one. is going to be the Actual case. good one. I think SK are kind of now already a couple of steps behind in trying to catch up now to go like, okay, we'll now go Nautilus. We'll try and play for a bit more of an engaged style um, and see if we can get in on top of this Ash. Yone ban. I think you really need to try and get a good counter pick. Yone Lee Sin. Why would they play Lee Sin? If anything, they're probably going to play Jarvan. Jarvan or Sejuani is probably what they're going to play. I think that Lee Sin ban is really wasted, but I know Peach is a really good Lee Sin, but I don't think Lee Sin suits Kalista Ash very well. I, would, I think you need to play Lee Sin with like a mini support. When you think about team fights as well, Kaisa mid, a possibility, could just be extra kick hovering it for a girlfriend or for someone else as well, like we do often see that, so I shouldn't talk about hovers. That's one of the first casting rules you learn, and I talked about it, and now Renekton's locked in in the top lane instead. For irrelevant. With the rumble and the Aatrox bans, do you think Giant X are signaling that the Gragas is going to go towards top, or do you think they're just saying, look, we don't want to play against Rumble, we don't want to play against Aatrox? Yeah, I think you're like the Gragas is a nice answer into Renekton, so I think it is a little yeah, bit of there's a, the hey, shocker. Of these picks. Also because you're playing they can play 
I don't know why they're blinding Renekton when they've pre-picked Gregas, because Gregas is good into Renekton now, so I think they can just pick Huey, and I think their comp is strong, or they can play something like Tristana. Their comp is strong. Tristana mid is strong here. LeBlanc is trash. Karma's trash. You've already got the Gregas on top. It's going to be shown here. Karma could be the option in mid lane, which will get you a ton of push in that mid lane. Way is one of the ones that Jace is a bit better. Level, like there you go. All right. Well, I think Nesquik so Ari is not too bad Jace here. Uh, what percentage HP AP mid champ yeah, Way is actually well, not bad, I guess. Uh, Rel, Talia could work. No, Talia's been. Mm, Oriana is not bad actually. Uh, is there anything that's actually like insane here? There must be something insane here that I'm missing. So I'm actually curious if it's Jackie's going to take the Gragas as well. Yeah, Oriana. Alright, chat, right, I'm going to run ads. Place. If you want to avoid ads, you can use a tier 1 on Twitch Prime. You don't have to sub to the channel if you don't want to, but you can subscribe to get a month of free ad viewing experience, the, uh, and you can support the stream. The oh my god, the streamer says that every time. Yes, because the streamer runs ads before the game, so you don't get them during the game. Actually, I don't need to run ads. You're fine. There's 41 minutes till ads. You're fine. You're fine. Who's your favorite girlfriend champion hover? Whippo. Whippo always hovers Kai'Sa for his girlfriend. He's done that for like five the, years. Uh, command dissonance does cost a significant amount of money if you're trying to match the push from the Jace in the early stages. And it looks like it is going to be Jace in the mid lane against that Oriana. So we'll see how Niski is able to work the map. Did have a very good performance yesterday. A couple of misplays, a couple of like overextensions, but they were more overextensions looking to try and find his team something than he was out of position costing his team the game. It was uh, you know, desperation plays rather than yeah. uh, mistakes as of such. That's just, I think he needed to do that because if he didn't get the thread onto the back line, yeah, it was they, just they the game was over anyway, anyway, right? So, right? But uh, I think Niski's definitely been stepping up a lot. Like, I think he's had some really strong performances over the last little while. It's just unfortunate that his team hasn't been able to capitalize on it, but definitely looking like... Nah, it's 41 minutes until ads, but I also have I also have 15 minutes buffer of snoozing them. So I can 15 minute buffer them. So it's around 57 minutes of no ads. So we're fine. I want to focus yeah, on a couple players that title. haven't been doing too well, though, Dagda. Patrick and Exekick in this spot. Now, Exekick, when he came onto the LEC stage... Ooh, they're pushing them back to do the stream and invade. His, his winter last year was absolutely sublime. SK often look very good in winter and then kind of fall off over the, the course of the seasons. But I think yesterday, Exekick really struggled. I think Patrick has been a player that so often we have talked about as a possible next great AD carry from Europe. You know, it, we've seen him on so many different iterations of rosters and so often it's been, he's the guy that we have to look at. Similar to Alfari, like a very good player who just didn't seem to be able to win. Didn't seem to be able to get that final result. And I think Patrick, at least for me, has chat, do you think if I, yo, I don't know if Fnatic's in the chat, but yo, Fnatic, yeah. if point, I get Challenger, you have to start do you think if there's a meaningless me, regular season best of one, you could sub say, me oh, in? You know, if I get Challenger, teams, oh, they just would you do it? Would you let me? He really needs to I think I could do some work. For me to uh, solidify his position as one of the 80 carries we really look at here in And York. regain that trust yeah. as well, right? And especially after the performance yesterday in Smolder wasn't exactly the best. Now this is a lane matchup where they should very much be able to get control on this bottom side, even start opting in towards the double Doran's blade start as well. You want to play hyper aggressive. I could do some work. Double hail of blades, just get in the face of Exekick and DOS. They yoinked enemy blue. I mean, as you say, like, Exekick and DOS haven't had the best of times, and may not right now either. Yeah, Exekick has to flash away. I'm surprised Sejuani didn't hit Q and then Q flash on the Varus, actually. I would have done that. Fuck lane. it. Sometimes you see Ashes go for the heal. Ignar's job is to tank the hook, and then Because then you can just flash forwards with Ash, Halo Blade slow. Him, so use the barrier to make sure would be nice, no? that hook. Initially, obviously, Patrick has the Marshall Cadence, I think. Marshall yes. Poise? Yeah, Marshall Cadence. He has to the dash around with his. So, dash. bot lane is going to be mega good here because they have Nautilus against Ash, which is good if you have jungle, but they took enemy blue, so they have Ward on Gromp as well in case he crosses down. Avoid any future ganks down towards this bot side, but it means he won't have a buff. And Peach will have two after stealing away that. Chad, I'm mega good in competitive yeah, settings. The biggest problem is that now that you have no flash for X to kick, trying to approach the way it becomes so much more difficult because Ash exists with all those hack slows. Mm -hmm. So every time you walk up, you can't get away, especially after you hit the level two and you get that Ranger's focus. So Bro you thinks this is a make a wish. What are you about? Immediately. So it makes it very difficult for you to try and hold on. So I think Isma's job here just to try and break this and make sure that, well, not so much break it, but at least allow X kick and DOS to catch this wave as it hits the terror. Um, and make sure that he can get a ward onto the Raptors here as he comes in to spot out exactly what Peach is up to. And, I mean, he doesn't even need the ward because he just sees the ball. The Pomo Rider, Peach, there. He's going to force Isma out. 
can battle over these Razor Beaks. Peach will be happy enough if this continues, though. Wave pushing in in the bot lane. Isma just wasting a bit of his time. Peach goes in with the Arctic Assault. Johnny has red, so she wins really hard. Needs another order, doesn't get there in time. But Patrick still has that sizable lead in the bot lane. 16 CS right now. Now, there are about 10 or so underneath this tower, so if Exeka can DOS farm up well, it will only be a about a wave's worth of lead, but already a plate going over to Ignar and Patrick as well. Yeah, that's a, already the win for Ignar and Patrick. And again, a lot of that being the fact that Exeka and DOS tried to contest that level one, and it ended up backfiring, but Exeka having to flash away. So now the uh, push is secured. It means he can't go for the dive because Peach was occupied with Isma, but is he? Jackie's going in. Oh, yeah. Nesquik, I'm not sure hold he up. really wanted as much of this trade as he's taken. He gets the knockback, but Command Attack with the dissonance gets the edge of Jackie's hitbox and manages Nisky to base is here, Nisky 100%. Here freeze this wave back, TP back in to make sure he can maintain the freeze. Jackie's backing as well. He'll teleport back in. So it's going to be a few minutes lost for Jackie's at the end. No summoners burnt. Both the mid laners will use their TPs. Doss hit, looking for the damage. Aftershock will keep him a little bit tankier. Rangers focus now from Ignar onto Exa Kick, and he has no flash, remember. Does have the cleanse. Not often the most effective to use it on the slow from an Ash, but still sometimes needs must as the Devil drives. So Exekick could escape from there. Isma went in. I don't think he stole away anything from this top side with the blue buff still being up. In fact, I'm pretty darn sure that he didn't, but he did get vision on Peach, which allows his bot lane to be a little bit more It's kind of hot, I'm going to take this off for a bit. Yeah, Patrick and Ignar are going to... They could have frozen the wave, but instead they... It's lane kingdom in bot, and they have back, so they're just gonna go for the tower. I think not got the best back, vision, but they know Nautilus had to base. Try and help him, because he does, was there in a row mid, expecting... X kicks really scared of enemy jungler being around, so he just lost a cannon. He just opened up a 440 gold lead off of the, uh, the CS, and also having those two turret plates. So, Giant X is bot lane playing very Remember when KJ well was hyping up Jackie's in the offseason? Really yeah, he was really good in in-house. I think his, his Nico was what impressed me, but I think he is a Nico player and he mains it, but I guess it fell out of the meta, I'm not sure. With this bot side. But his Nico impressed me for sure. He still kept up in CS. Peach manages to take a Void Grub away. Isma will look to take one as well. We talked about how it's good for you to get a treat for your jungle item. Both of them really only want one. Isma might look for more because he's got pushing mid, pushing top. So he does have the opportunity for Niski to move across first. Then Irrelevant can make sure that everyone stays Okay, three, stays two Grubbies over, but there. Peach got so one. I don't really... A little bit more safety to Isma. I guess both teams are 0-1, so it doesn't really matter who wins this game, I guess. I think he's just happy as Peach. I think Odo has a good top matchup, and bot lane has a good matchup too. I think they'll try and reset and look for the bot dragon instead. Doss hovering mid as X kick is coming off a reset here. Don't know if they're going to be able to get too much though. Uh, Jackie still has the flash. Even Jackie is really struggling in this lane. Hook connect. When you lose lane push well. as Jace against Orianna and she can just lane. ball in the wave like and zone you with QWs because she outranges you, your QE so does less damage. He's trying to block the minions there. He's so far ahead in this lane he's trying to block the damage of the shield to stop him from being able to farm. But mid is a horror fest right now towards his bot lane but really that's the point of blading and that's the point we have to focus on and it does it like it can feel like we've talked about it a lot we've talked about you know, oh they've got this early lead they've got the cs they've got the two plates but this is the, the key point on the map and if giant x continue to pressure the way they're doing and they aren't punished effectively by sk you're going to look Wait, at what do you mean your youtube video thumbnail for your interview for what was it coming in to what's the thumbnail minutes and that's why oh my god what is my that, oh like, my god warps the entire way the game is played because it's a case of cool can we get a big enough advantage that we bypass not having an engaged supporter or a tanky supporter i think giant decks are playing well through bots right now but the table, they haven't so gotten that big of a lead against the varus considering the varus flash level one and his nautilus almost died and he was zoned off the cannon wave a little bit they're basically even in bots if you don't have a deal very very difficult to do so so at least at the moment X, our Patrick and Ignar have kind of bypassed a lot of that, and they'll be able to keep up. Oh my God, he a missed QE. Of strength, plus, uh, oh, he missed QW. They do need to continue like putting pressure yeah. at the and tower, the rotate minion. around the map, start using Ignar, especially as he starts to crest over to six. Like, just lob an arrow mid lane. If you manage to hit, cool. Peach has more CC to follow up. Jackie suddenly gets a kill. Suddenly you control mid lane as well, or you burn a flash from Niski, which would be massive. Like, there's a lot of nice opportunities from Jackies, to try and but use this Ash. It's not getting much things. better. I think Oriana Shockwave here is not bad. Oh, he missed QW. Through mid to bot might be a more effective. Strategy. Niski winning out on the mid lane right now, about 10 CS up, already has that tier stacking and if you can maneuver Jackie's out of that lane, get the push in mid and then come into this bot side jungle, it actually provides a lot more safety for your bot lane because they have that threat. That's what Just QE it and back, Jackie's just QE it and back. A little bit further forward, Niski has the shock blast, but a uh, shock wave, but the shock blast from Jackie's oh God, clears out the wave. 
defensively positions. It's a horror in the mid lane. But just the threat of him being there does mean again Niski Niski may be fast pushing his worth at here in base. Two freezes now that SK have helped Niski get, and he is opening up a bit of a gold lead for himself, getting into a position where he's going to be fine now. There's a tier start, so it's kind of like he's freezing. But I mean, he'll get him a CS lead in the short term, but in the long term. And I think for contesting the second you, grubby respawn became a lot harder because Oriana didn't fast push in base. Fights are in a great spot, but if you're Giant X, avoiding that duo, and honestly the top side of the map completely for SK, will leave you in a good spot anyway with just how much control Ignar Oh my god, Varus ult missed. Kick, trying to hide and Varus Q. There. If it had caught Patrick or Ignar, there was a possibility to, to engage. No cleanse, remember, on Giant X's bot lane, so... He could have looked for something, can't find it. Exit kick now. A lot of skill back. shots are missing. There's going to be more damage to this tower from Patrick and Ignar. Rest of the map on as even pretty much in every lane. Niski has got that CS lead, so he's about 300 gold ahead. Yo, is it, is, did, did Ramadan start? You, when you, when you, nothing to write home about. When you congratulate someone for ra for Ramadan or good luck, you say Ramadan uh, Mubarak, right? I don't do Ramadan, but is that like the good luck or like the congratulations or something? Again, I think it's for. We're, it's just going to be a case of continuing on in this bot side because at the moment it's like SK again, Leia Sisma is down here but not ready to, at a good time. He also the fact that X kick kind of wasted, honestly, the corruption, the, uh, the corruption as well. Going to leave them in an awkward Misky's spot. Blasting him. We spot him moving into this top side, but again, like Patrick and Ignar kind of got away. Unless oh, if he blind oh. hooked that, oh, if he blind hooked, they had a kill. Yeah, he could have been a big moment there to catch them out, but. The only, yeah, they're going to start to reset here, move up towards top side, make sure they're able to look for a rift out as well. And honestly, Giant X are just playing perfectly around this bottom side of the map, and you can see that SK are going to match these resets. Here comes the grubby swap, and this is where I think okay, Niski's taking his base now, but these grubbies are gone. You're just further ahead, so you're oh, sorry, the rift tower. Yeah, we're so used saying, to the yeah. eight minute swap for rift yeah, yeah, but it's sorry, eight minute swap for void grub still is the is kind of it, and you can get more turret plates here as yes, well. Yes, that's so what you say. It works out perfectly now where. Yo. You're just, again, getting more pressure for Eight Ramadam Harim Mubarak. Yeah, hell yeah. Good luck, yeah, chat. Good luck. Carry, you also have good luck on the on the Ramadan. Good luck. Good luck. Have good luck have fun. Still, Ignar and, uh, Stay strong. Much love to anyone who does the Ramadan tomorrow. This top lane tower. There's the hawk shot that should spot extra kick on his way. Doss trying to do what he can to get into this lane, but Peach Nignar keeping him at bay. It's going to be another plate at least. Isma moving his way up, but he's marked by Jackies. So he's getting that push in the mid lane a little bit more often. Doss with they the have ult. I don't know what they're the trying to cook there. Out, so but I guess they could look for the flash onto the lane. Ash now, but yeah, Peach is here to cover it. This is why you need Peach jungle. Get stunned up here by Isma, who just jumps away. It's more about posturing to defend this tower. Oduwamu was forced out of bot lane. Niski's on the way though. This Redman's is where, got again, some you good get pressure in this lane. Giant X because you don't want to give o too much across, but because you get the push, this is where in theory Giant X would reset and move back to bot side to get the first terror. But that's where they're actually bluffing SK a little bit here because SK have now reset, thinking that's what they're going for. That you can see they are on their way to bot side, but now realize, oh crap! Your mods, the people are being reared. Reset, so and now Giant X are going to get another, if not two plates, on this top side. So uh, nice kind of bluff there from Giant X to catch out SK. A little bit sneaky beaky from them, just hiding in the fog of war. Should be two plates. Nice I lead for the GX bot lane. They're, they're playing it well. It's just it like EU, for example. Game, so has it's always struggled with range supports like Ash. Power. By the I lane phase is never really the tower. huge problem because the lane phase is relatively exactly. easy. Obviously, if you make a mistake, you're griefing. And I've seen but bot lanes fuck up the range right? matchups and it's Nautilus like and just lose the game. The but normally, what EU does like poorly is out of lane with the lead. Look, 1.1k, whatever it is, maybe 1k or 900 when Varus catches this wave. This lead gets thrown really easily from just bad team fighting. Like one bad team fight and the Ash dies. Varus recovers, Dawson you just lost the game. Doing a good job to it's about maintaining the lead. Out the enemy That's a massive mistake for Peach, because yeah. as we, like I was about to explain, oh God, was, you basically get to nail reset for a dragon first and bypass a fight. With Peach now being caught, it means that you can't really go for the dragon on this reset, so X Kick and Doss will actually get their own reset in time to set up and match that play, or even just SK immediately go for dragon. So the plans there for Giant X hitting a bit of a wrench in the works. Peach doesn't die. It's a much stronger situation for Giant X. Oh, nice arrow. Irrelevant flashes it. Isma backing off the dragon because Irrelevant was forced out. And now means Giant X actually get to get in here. So Peach's slight misstep not costing too much for Giant X, apart from obviously the 400 gold that goes hand in hand with First Blood. Second dragon of the game for Giant X. And now they'll look for this bot lane tower. You need a bit of deep vision first. They have a, a ward over towards that blue and one where Doss is currently standing. 
All right, they got two drakes, four grubbies, and an 800 gold lead. Not bad. All right, Patrick holding this wave here. I wondered if they try and hard force this push to make sure they get five plates off this bot lane tower. But because Peach went to clear his quirks, went to clear his red, and because Niski has move out of mid, I think. Renekton's done really well, to be honest. Like most of the time, when I see Renekton versus Gragas, like Gragas gets the push and the Renekton struggles. On your support as well. Like it's a counter pick, but yeah, this, this time around the Renekton's actually ahead, and he's doing well into the Gragas and is getting the push. On the map to look for oh. Um. Okay, so. What the fuck was that? Yeah. He just flash auto attacked the ward. <laughs> I thought you were gonna hit he just did what like Ruder a, did. You know, Ruder did that twice. He did that, but it just felt like there was just. There was no. <laughs> it, was in, it was in the scriptures, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, the sun, how can Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> He's so humble. He's the chosen. obscured by a sandstorm that was <laughs> <laughs> rolling across the rift. <laughs> The Apollo fuck was that, bro? Worm, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, the tower in the bot lane, the first target here, and trying to crystal arrow on Dosh. Cleanse immediately from Exeter because he gets away from the glacial prison. TP behind as Patrick. Oh, burns Patrick's the heel. so fucking Ismail dead. Is looking for the engage face call out of Relevant, knocked back by the <laughs> the cast from Odawamne, but Patrick is locked. Peach, out no flash. <laughs> Peach next up on the menu. Oh my Imagine god. Imagine if he still had his flash, but he died, and maybe he'll rise again in a few moments' time. Twenty seconds before Peach is back on the map. SK punish well in the like this is disgusting. I mean, they get the picks that they now they've thrown the lead with the range support, SK and inherently it's just the SK's the team finding is just better now. Got to try and get a bit of damage at the relevant, but really massive turnaround. Again, just over pushing on this bottom side a little bit from Patrick and Ignar, where they try to go underneath the tower that bit too soon, and you end up with getting locked up as a. Uh, Patrick, which means that then you're the one that can't actually try and escape. You want that to be Ignar. And then great engage from Isma with the TP coming through from Irrelevant. And it's a nice try from Oda Omni. You had to try and get someone out of the equation, but with the way Irrelevant was separated from the jungle, it was going to make it very difficult to try like, and escape. Uh, it's it's just Nautilus with like Peach is tower. just sending like, it, bro. Uh, the guy has CC and it's tanky. It just feels like a, a step too oh, far. Isma might be dead here from Giant X as it Isma caught out with the Arctic Assault here. The spear's going in, tries to get the stun, can't quite land it as Patrick dances to the side. Good hook though. Oh, Niski. Patrick gets a kill, but he might pay for it with his life. Nice damage from Jackies, but they're going to trade back. Ash is dead. Oh, they both flashed. That was disgusting, but still, they got the kill. In the end, There's a lot of mistakes SK. going on this game. Odo's going to get some damage on this bot lane turret. It's the first tower to fall. And after how much damage Patrick and Ingnard did in the early game, it's a little bit later than I think they would have liked. This is where for Giant X, it's a case of, OK, we have two dragons. Can we just avoid taking team fights? Because with how Niski just played that last fight, with the big shockwave, getting next kick a ton of gold, you can see on the, the gold that was massively far ahead for this Kalista, it's just gone an instant and all for a crap. You know, Peach tries to set up here to go on towards Isma, but they just don't ha really have an awful lot of damage just yet. They will eventually kill him, right? But it's just oh, everyone in SK having collapsed. The shockwave is beautiful there from Niski, and Niski's in a great spot to keep using these auto attacks to try and uh, chase people down and execute. What a well. shit show! Just what a shit show! With Niski flashing forward, and he's he's got a big ass on his yep. face. He knows he should not be able to get that back. Like, yeah. oh, well, but this is where the game's lost, right? The arranged support lane is even. First item on the Varus. You see a lot of Varus is going opportunity first as well. He moves just that little bit of extra movement speed, but not as strong as it once was. As Jackie splashes in, Niski no flash, shockwave available. Does get the pull back, but Jackie's still chasing Solo kill. forward here, and Niski will be shut out of the fight. But by Peach Jackie. is just Peach caught again. Once again, it's rotten to the core. He's out though. Why didn't Dos just Nautilus ult him? Dash away. Knight's bow finished for Could him. have been a Sunfire kill. First for Isma. No Knight's Vow yet. Odo? Perhaps no one deserving of being crowned. Odo? Still, nice job from Jackie's on that top Why does Odo have a shutdown? He's oh, down in gold. The game's oh. even in gold. And he's down in CS. But Jackie's going to get top tower. And the fact... Oh, hang on. No, he's going to be fine. But the fact that you're getting the pressure here for Giant X in mid as nice well. Nice play by Jackie's. He is mega back perfect. in the game. He was so out of the game, but now he's back. Until the Dragon is up and available as well. Jackie's gets the reset by his Muramana. TP back into the fight. Like, Giant X are in a really good spot now. The only downside is that Ignar doesn't have his ultimate up just yet. He TP's in for this Drake, soul points. Before the fight kicks off, because with two... Well, almost two items complete on Taniski. 
He's going to be a pretty dangerous boy when it comes to these fights. Once that alteration will spot out the Dragon's HP. Spears being stacked into it. It's not looking for the engage on Peach. Finds it once again. And Peach, Peach almost dead. Away, and now in the Patrick's going to die. The, the range support's dead as well. This game's done. Dos. There's the AD carry support duo killed off. And the dragon secured by SK. And a great example of the downside of taking an Ash is that if you end up in a position where you're starting to fall behind and an enemy team can just engage on you, you just don't have enough survivability or enough in the tank to try and turn around. And they needed that Ash ult to try and find a pick beforehand. But when Giant X are trying to stand up in front of it, as long as Peach is out of the fight, like who else is going to try and stand up and be accounted for here? So Isma turns out to Peach. Patrick tries to finish off the dragon, but Irrelevant does a good job of turning on to him and forcing him out of the fight. Excuse me, sorry, that point forward. SK are in a perfect spot to just continue on. SK just They know the game's over, I think. Right it's so hard to recover now. You're playing Jace, Kalista, Ash. If anyone gets hit by hook, they're dead. I know they have Kalista ult, but it doesn't really matter. Like, Peach is just... Is, is he caught again? Like, what? That's the same spot four times or some shit. I'm not sure these writings are really coming up trumps for Giant X. Patrick trying to do what he can towards the side here. Isma I said Juani ult, but yeah, the they have a range support and the enemy team has a ult that's just running at them. Peach has to use the Mega Blast cone to get away, but aye, 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 aye. Irrelevant's having a great SK game. Fight, he's basically everywhere he needs to be. Nice yeah, TP I mean, timing. Didn't so get too much, but it's really good to always be active. The is that every time they go for a fight, Patrick isn't really in a position to follow up here. Like, you try and take the scrap, Patrick is clearing out a wave in mid lane. He's not able to get in position to follow up, and SK are just oops, SK's caught. Get caught here. Doesn't have a flash. They don't have. No glacial prism for Peach. Now on the chase. Come on, dissonance. They have the got shockwave though. Just look for the Ash, and she's dead. I mean, the the rift. I'm sorry, mate. There be monsters <laughs> as SK get their tenth of the game, and it's becoming a shooting gallery for this SK lineup. Giant X seem all at odds and ends. Yeah, they just don't really know where they want to try and be in the map, and. Peach, honestly, having a bit of a nightmare, getting caught out in several different positions, trying to overforce plays when the map isn't really set up, and SK are punishing every step of the way, and suddenly, X-Kick, who was down and out and having a miserable time, you can see on the screen, yeah, taking a sigh of relief, 4-0-3, <laughs> he has a gold lead, like, from this point on, Giant X, I just don't think you really have the opportunity to take team fights. And the problem is, you have no threat as well, it's like, well, SK don't care if you get the next Drake, because it's not Soul. That you can set up around the Baron, but they know they went out on team fights. You went Sterak second the the with Merc Treads. How much game. tenacity does this Renekton have? There's no way he has Legend Tenacity really as well, right? Holy fuck, man. It has diminishing Giants returns, but no still, like, if he gets hit by Sejuani ult or Ash ult, I think he's going to be stunned for half a, half a second, maybe max. Giant X do have four grubs. I guess that's something, right? <laughs> four grubs in a dream. <laughs> It's the name of the uh, next LEC single, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mad Koi versus G2, hell uh, yeah. I'll be honest. Like, <laughs> did you ever watch um, Mr. Blobby? Yes. Yes. That is, the, oh is Mr. God. Blobby. <laughs> <laughs> what is Medic doing? As a UK reference, you European kids won't get. And Irish. And Irish. <laughs> so, yes. United <laughs> Kingdom and Ireland. <laughs> it's all good. I'm sorry, after we beat you in the rugby yesterday, I'm I pretty sure I was snapping at one point. I was just. Oh. I was snapping. In the world. <laughs> Thank the, <laughs> the Irish is crazy. I was mean? snapping. I made it past the quarters, but I know. <laughs> Peach, Peach now stepping up once again. He's going to dash away with the Arctic Assault. Giant X trying to get mid lane prior. It's a 5v5 brawl in the mid lane right now. Both the side lanes in a relatively neutral position. So minions lost on either side. 120 on Drake. SK have control of mid top positions. side. And this is going to look a bit weird Peach just got level 11 off the crab. Grammy, They're going to herald mid. That tower is dead. The that is and they force a tier Harold 2. It's hard with Nautilus resetting for wards. Renekton is going to base and catch bots. Orianna can move top. You can get the stop on the tower crash. Four grubbies. He can chunk a little bit of this tower, but he's not getting it at all. As a lot of members from SK starting to group and Drake in 45. Kind of him a little bit late on his own reset here for the dragon. Yeah, it looks like it's going to have to be a Paris is really far away from Romana. over this dragon because he has to walk all the way back, knowing that SK will be pathing through their bot side jungle. He can back around here. 
Uh, that's eight seconds before he's back out on the map. The Dragon's up in 30. Maybe he'll get there in time, but perhaps with Peach on the top side of the map, Giant X actually just giving this one up. SK get the Who's going to get the next Dragon? I mean, SK should get it for free. If Giant X fight this Dragon, they're Sorry, fucking crazy. Don't just look at Kalista items and tell me if they can fight this Dragon. And Odo looking for Niski. Niski has two items. Seraph's Leandri's complete for him. Odo at the same, though. Seraph's a lot of ages. Yeah, the answer is, is no. I think it's a bit of a mistake from Nis for Niski to be Cross on the top coming side. I'd rather see Irrelevant on this top end, because he's able to deal with Ooh, much more Oh, they're hard cross-mapping. Oriana ult on this wave would be great. We can't really contest he stepped up too far to try and ult it. Gone. Nice he play by Odo. Low as well. Down Can they kill the Renekton? He was caught out. Irrelevant now TPing in, trying to they should focus the tower here. The, on this tower. the Varus and the Nolt are coming, the tower dies. Irrelevant's so tanky, Sterex as well. Nah, he ain't going nowhere. Nice response by SK to collapse top instead of just focus Drake. Odo no flash, Doss should catch him. Just hook. Oi, 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 there goes Baron. So the idea is nice from Giant X. Giant X will get soul hey, point now. Really fight this dragon because, as we said, Giant is off a bit of a weird reset. We know that SK, are SK just will get Nash. Strong. So all we'll do instead is try and trade. Make sure we can go for the top side. We punish Niski because Oriana doesn't want to be the one defending these towers. But they pull a little bit too soon. GX Chat, that copy pasta of weak is trash. Like that is just. Oh, is Niski gonna stop this? Yeah, he's gonna spot out Ignar and Patrick. Ignar has the edge of night. Patrick trying to. Patrick has no flash. He's gonna stop no it. Ultimates available for the <laughs> oh Giant my God, X it's a lane. horror. It was a call from Giant X to go for the dragon because they knew SK were on the Baron, but Niski's TP down there means that they do not get any objectives out of the trade. SK now with a 4,000 gold lead. Their second dragon of the game up next if they so desire that neutral. Have another look at this fight because, as you say, I, I really think. If we don't see Ignar getting caught, it's a much different fight. Because Ignar gets caught, doesn't get to use the arrow, has to use it to defend himself. Yeah. Then, yeah. I think Ig the problem is that Ignar is already the smoke for the fire that has happened, right? Yeah. Ignar being caught there meant that G Giant X, I'm sorry, SK hadn't committed to the dragon, and they were always going to be able to turn around this play, right? You needed to spot the fact that SK were on the dragon yeah. before you committed to it, and at this stage, you're already too I'm guessing SK are getting so Drake. Even, yeah. I think even if Ignar had right. not caught, they're just too far gone at that stage. You're too far in enemy territory, and SK are on the hunt. Bot tier one is their objective. Mid to bot looks good. Mid tier two is low. Giant X are committing a lot to defend the bot tower. Gold for them as well. Top I think this is completely useless. As is this bot lane. Irrelevant's going to push in here. Got two and a half items on the Renekton. 404 as well has had a quietly very impressive performance. Something often we can say from Irrelevant. Usually it's a little bit more loud. They're going to cast LPL tomorrow. Yeah. Is, but this game. He's just been in the right position at the right time on a lot of different occasions. Now looks like he's parting up towards top lane to push that out with Exa Kick and SK just doing everything they can to take as much gold off the map as possible during this Baron buff. Yeah, I mean, at this stage, it's not going to be a game-ending Baron buff unless Giant X completely misplay, but they're going to get a ton of the standing gold, right? Yeah, you can get trying. top terror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll try and get the uh, the mid terror tier two as well, and just get a ton of vision down in the end. They of the still jungle. didn't get top and tier one either at, at SK. The they should get it now. Not to spread out too I mean, Giant X could overcommit mid, mid and then play to bot, like so SK need to make carries, sure they don't right? drop mid push he too hard. To otherwise, the game is really difficult. Varus is showing top. They could all just hard rotate bot here and try and take bot tier two. SK should probably push mid and try take mid tier two, and then it's two tower trade. I think Giant X not bad though. Odo just doing a nice job of kind of abusing that at the moment and saying, hey, you're only playing off two waves. Cool. We'll just try and trade tier two for tier two. But it might be two tier and then SK can two then play for top tier two. They have 50 this seconds of Nash. Fall in the mid lane. So it's three towers. So it's three to one. one in terms of trades on this. Aye, aye, aye. SK will get about 3000 gold out of it in total. Reset now. And still a while before we see the next neutral objective on the map. So SK will likely just try to force Giant X out of the jungle. I do feel like neutral objective is a bad word for it, though. Why? Because they attack you. Yeah, which but isn't they're, very they're neutral, neutral in terms of the battle between each team. Yeah. They, I they suppose they only attack if you Indiscriminate attack objectives, I guess, then. Yeah. Because yeah. they'll attack anyone. Yeah. I feel like neutral is a little bit like, oh, yeah, you're not going to do anything, right? Yeah, you're like, chill. Yeah, yeah. But I suppose if you get attacked, they will attack, and that's the only way they do. But then, so the, like, like, yeah, the, the maybe problem is, I don't know, like, double recurve. pH is in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, man. I, uh, yeah. We can call them indiscriminate objectives if you want. I mean, I'm you were telling me all these facts they're, they're about Switzerland earlier on. I thought you'd be up to date on I all mean, the neutral statuses. You know? know, I'm not sure what I like the most about Switzerland, but the flag is a big plus. So, <laughs> um, I regret. <laughs> I regret life choices. <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome Fucking to Betty's world. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the indiscriminate <laughs> objectives still uh, two and a half minutes away from spawning on either side. About a 20 seconds discrepancy between the dragon coming up and then respectively the Baron coming up later on. And you can see SK just pushing out the waves. It's like, okay, we, we don't really have anything we can force Giant X to play around right now. They're just going to catch. So they can look for that bot lane tier two. They tried to get a bit of vision in, but that's been cleared out as a single ward. It's uh, 3 a.m. When does G2 play? The jungle. Uh, they play next game. Yeah, it's at this stage, it's kind of just a waiting game. Wait, right? is Terminus double recurve, though? As many waves as possible. Oh, you know, made bot. Really? Oh, Peach. Wow, Flashes I haven't built away. that item since you release. I swear it wasn't double recurve on release. My, man, my item well. knowledge Once is really weak. Again, it's Peach being a little bit too greedy. There's the arrow onto Isma. Jackie's now caught out as he tries to save his jungler and pays for it with his life. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah, it is double recurve. Holy that fuck. Was, uh, Peach of a situation that for Giant. I swear, was it like that on release? Maybe I'm high. SK, get another I need to uh, play more League, man. My item, my honest. knowledge of like I item builds, like, like for some reason, my knowledge of item is builds is just bad. Waves and then just set up vision. You Which know just comes from playing the game, right. I guess. They're looking at dragon, they want to try and from you. So, way too overextended for Escudo Crab at the end of the day. Um, you say that to Blab, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, Why doesn't he hit the blue orb? He got maybe, it. Thank look, you, he did get it. And maybe this is going to come back to bite SK in the 50 seconds uh, before we get to Dragon. Here comes the bot tier 2 play, but the wave's far. Space for Peach being dead. <laughs> um, and maybe the little speed up, they won't even get to it, which is just going to be... It's going to be an awful day all around, you know? Jackie's up in nine seconds. Irrelevant is showing top to push out that wave. So there is a tiny window of opportunity. Oh, what the fuck? Isma looks for the engage. TP in by Irrelevant. They, know they have damage? Jackie's oh, they one shot him. Spawned. He's coming back out. With already and one Isma is down, mega so tanky. What was a possible 5v4. Really nice play, play from SK. It immediately becomes a 5v4 on SK's side as they manage to use that TP in to kill off the enemy top. And even Beach just been sent back in as well. They're just... 15 seconds, SK are going to take this. It's going to be now seeing, hey, look, how much more are they going to try and get on the map? Because the beauty of having Odo Omni down is that you don't really have to now invest too much in spot side. You can start to teeter a lot of that vision off of pushing waves into top end of the map as well, or even putting Bro, more pressure onto the spot. Why is it so that I like, I, I mentioned an item, and then this motherfucking chat start. is like, to your Malzahar sucks too, don't forget that. Lead, it's like, okay, thank you, thank you. I just wanted to like ask about an item, and I said I didn't know it. Thanks for reminding me that, yeah? You've got the hubris already complete on Exa Kick. I'm a bit sad they removed the uh, the sculptures from hubris, yeah. like having the little statue. That was really cool. Yeah, it, was, it was pretty nifty. It's one of those things that it, I like those little fun additions of the game that don't really change anything but look yeah. cool. But it probably, like, there was probably like a Rek'Sai interaction where when <laughs> Rek'Sai ulted someone who was in the middle of the air, accidentally they'd ult the statue and fly to the base or something. And they become the statue and just yeah, live there the forever. <laughs> hey, I, it, it's better than playing Yumi. Okay. <laughs> give the give right, the things to execute. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, how is it that at 30 minutes a 1-4 Sejuani has over SK two one. items and almost uh, three and Lucid can't get one in 40? Giant decks are behind, but also partly because composition. we yeah compositionally and we just haven't seen the the proactivity oh, from Isma's Giant engages. that we are seeing from SK as he goes in. Whoa, oh, no. Odo! To catch out. Exekick on the backside has He's to pop the stopwatch. Ignar and Patrick now can open up and we say maybe SK will misplay. Well, perhaps they do as the face call pulls back Ignar. Peach on the front line. Oh, my God, Ignar. Wait, he's alive! Now, Patrick died Patrick for that. The one who goes what the far. hell? SK get another. Although Isma died off first, SK still have come out on top. I mean, Odo, we salute you. That was definitely a well-earned try, but there was just nothing that you could do. Nerdy gets X kick, but X kick's playing poke fire, so he just continues to hit you from a mile away regardless, and SK are able to turn the fight around. So it was almost good for a giant X, but just not quite enough. And we'll see it here, right? Isma trying to get on towards, like, Jackie's here. I know some Patrick is going to be coming around in just a second as they spot them out here. And I like the call, but... um. Odo just makes him work for it so much. Immediately, with X Kick being a half health, tries to blow him up. Doesn't quite get the Q barrel down to finish off X Kick. And the next Kick is continuing to just be able to turn, it, turn out damage here. And even as they try and go for the re-engage here with the Ash, this is the downside of it. Immediately, <laughs> she dies. Well, it doesn't die. It has to flash away and heal away. But it ends up being Patrick who goes down instead. I think SK have Baron out of the replay, right? Well, they, they haven't started have to it. Stand on that One gold lead in mid, that's pretty big. Way, work their way through irrelevant quickly. That is Thunder pretty big. Sky, oh, two! Titanic okay. Hydra, oh, Jack, Show, and Stevax. Ruined the fun, Nisky. Ruined the fun. And now SK can basically rinse and repeat. Do the same thing. Push through mid. Nisky pushes out top wave. 
That will slowly go towards Giant X's side. Odo Wamne trying to get out, but as the chain of corruption lands onto Peach, he's locked up. Patrick forced away by a relevant oh, Peach. Peach lives. Wow. Aftershock is OP. Half. That was chain of corruption used as Peach falls a little bit lower. What do we have for Giant X in terms of odds? And a life steal on the. Arrow. Raptors, but he smited the Raptors. He has another smite coming up, though. Oh, still has the cask. SK setting up in this bush. In the oh, the, the blast cone tech. Cone to try and get in. Isma does have the magnet storm. Odo Amne looking for the Odo last back as Isma steps on the front line. And, and that's Baron. just gobbled. Eaten alive by SK. 18 kills to 5, an 8,000 gold lead, and Baron next up. Yeah, and Odo was kind of the only one that was a threat there to SK. If you end up with a big barrel... Yeah, it's gone. I mean, maybe S maybe X down, XL, but, but GX can SK get mid tier 1 as a response. I think SK GX should maybe try and contest mid waves, but they're a bit scared because of the numbers on Nash. Niski's going to walk up to the wave, try and defend that tower. Dawson Doesn't hurt too. probably just defend. Yeah, so nice defense. Wide. A minute and a half on the chem soul for SK. They are very much in the 10 0 for sex a kick. And uh, here we are. A good first win for them as well. Everyone on the team has performed admirably. Inks a kick as well. After I said, you know, I had some doubts over him after yesterday's performance. Had a very strong showing. SK wow, this is a terrible game by Giant X. Jackie's lane phase was really trash, but he recovered a little bit with that solo kill on Tanisky. Patrick and Ignar did a good lane support. phase, but then they just ran around yeah, without being able to do anything. Chain yeah, dying with Peach getting caught nonstop. Yeah, yeah. And Odo wasn't able to punish this matchup much. Went too, even, but yeah, I think this yeah is he just one shot every fight. He tried his best in the last fight. He almost got Barris to go to Flash, but get the kill. Wins against some of the teams that were lower down the bracket. But with losing to Carmen Corp yesterday in what was a very, very messy game, and now not really able to put up much of a fight here against SK apart from some nice early plays from the bot lane, it, it's not looking too Relevant's kind of far away, but he can TP in. I think the problem is uh, you see the win con, right? They, they had Patrick and, uh, Patrick and Ignar ahead in this game. They were winning through the bot lane. They moved them up to the top side well. They stayed around. They got all of this early gold, and then oh, it just all collapsed. Isma finally bye bye, Patrick. As well as Patrick's locked up and shut Man, Isma's engages wave. have been crisp. Storm combination. Not really much it's nice to see a good rel just know when to pull Even the trigger they had the win and not be afraid. Razork was great. Isma's great. Able to on it. Oh, Doss, that hook was crazy. Yes, yeah, Seraph that saved him there. In the mid lane, still Should be able to just end, right? I mean, the Gragas ult's probably going to hurt a bit, though. They need to be careful for the Gragas ult, but yeah, they're fine, I think. He's trying to do what he can from range. Ingnar doing the same. One Nexus Tower falls. Teleport out by Niski. Into the teleport in by Niski. It was a recall into TP. Mid lane inhibitor goes oh, down. Dead. Irrelevant looking for Odawan. Oh, Nexus nice flash. Just on the tip of the Varus E. Explosive cast possibility, but... It's all done, but that Nexus going down now as Giant X right, is GG. Up Easy win by SK. SK will get their first win of the Giant X is really weak team. Yeah. Alright, now it's time for G2 Mad at least though. But SK were able to pick I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, chat, and then we're gonna pace it up for G2 vs Mad. Finals rematch. A banger to end the, the day. Maybe once a team starts losing, they should get a 20 minute break to think about how to play out the rest of the game. Yeah, true, that's a good idea. Good one, Ender. Errors. Player of the game votes at LEC on Twitter, though. Irrelevant, Isma and Dos are your options. Uh, I think they all had good games. Like, Irrelevant, as we said, quietly had a very strong performance, was uh, was dominating the Slayer game team fights. Isma found some good engages. Dos did the same. We're going to go to a short break, but afterwards, Exekick will be joining us on the analyst. Sex a kick. All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom, I'm going to run the ads, and I'll see you in a sec. Chattermans. BRB. Even the biggest champ needs a break.
explore. Did you steal my Kit Kat? Okay. Off stage. Okay, bye. Good draft, Simon. Yeah. Good pre recorded draft. <laughs> Is my good job indeed. Yes, uh, we were just watching this here, and actually, I guess you were saying, "Wow, Tom why is there so someone in chat called G2 Casual?" No, like Kalista was so. Oh, funny. okay, okay, okay. Um, well, congratulations. Uh, I just wanted to lead in because the Kia player of the it's game cold now, is chat. relevant. First, it's cold, so then it's warm. It was between you and him, right? Yeah. Most likely. Uh, yeah, but I think he deserves it. He plays very well. Even last bit, I think he was playing very well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's pretty much gapping. Every game, every irrelevant er. <laughs> so yeah, I think he deserves it. Fair enough, you were doing well uh, as well, uh, Lord. Tell irrelevant me, er. Tell the people because maybe it was an interesting story. Why saying how casual? You decided yeah. on your haircut. Oh, so yeah, I I had enough of, of my normal hair. So me and my uh, assistant coach uh, owner, we said like owner. Either I go blonde or I go bald, no hair, and we can't flip it. Uh, can't flip it before going gym. And yeah, I lost it. Now it's like, I'm bald, but I regret it. Like, uh, you do? It yeah. looks great. Uh, I mean... It's yeah. not fully bald. You could still make no, it blonde. No, but it, it grew. It grew back, because oh, I was like... Fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, legit an egg. 
But you did have a phenomenal hair, though. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. You <laughs> I don't remember X Kicks hair. hair. Um, so we want to talk about the next game, the last game of the day, which is a rematch of the finals that we saw at the end of Winter GB Mad Lions Koi versus G2. Super exciting just by that premise itself, right? Oh, absolutely. And I think that final already delivered more than we had expected. I, at least from my point, I still thought that MDK was a strong team with a strong baseline and foundation for how young they were as a team moving into the final. But I thought they would get clear 3 0. But that didn't happen. And even the game they lost, they still played up with them. Fnatic so Poby versus G2K to will win. Bro, I clear that. Best of Easy. One, anything can happen. Yeah, and they want revenge, obviously. Exa, of course, the team of the split. That was a big discussion on socials. It was all G2. Is there anyone of Hello, Mad Kajal, Lions how would you, you describe your in career in one word? Was elected? Um, uh, no. My pro maybe, career? Maybe uh, Alvaro. I think he's yeah. playing Sucks. well. Uh, I think Supa, <laughs> I for know. example, yesterday played very well Sucks. against me. But I don't think he was playing like that next uh, last pit but maybe he improved uh, throughout the split because we didn't play them like after week one mm -hmm. so i don't know but i think i think g2 roster is just too good on every role um what is it about alvaro that makes you say okay he might have deserved it because i think he's very good on support <laughs> i think there wasn't any very good support uh, before like uh, to match mickey i think mm -hmm. but i think this year there is uh june and alvaro i think so far so what about dos yeah Okay, well, that's we agree on that, right? Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I voted Alvaro just for the record as well. Okay. I mean, I think just Mickey, so you know, <laughs> I thought Mickey had a strong performance, but even in finals, the Nautilus at times I was like, okay, that's yeah. looking, uh, looking interesting. But I still think, but like, he is the best. Cancelled. Oh yeah, that's a good word to describe my career. Chat you know? cancelled. Good one. Alvaro is so good. Is also just the fact. Um, he's so good at applying a pressure, and I'm not just talking about, about the map. It's like you see his Renata, he plays that champion like it's a playmaker, like he's looking to try and mad life you with the Q. He's always trying to get ahead of you. He's All right, get me into the last pressure. game. Let me and sip my coffee and let's pop off for game like five. Super because Super also wants resources, Super wants to be the carry too, and he's really good at facilitating that. So he's good in lane and he's good out on the map, and I think that's just the edge he has right now and the uh, hunger. Is that also your Do you experience? regret you not them achieving just more? Right? So, yeah, uh, I mean, Super. Yeah, I think I could have achieved a lot more as a pro, but I didn't. It was a bit annoying. I had high because he's playing Varro, so it's like... He well, I had high expectations, but rather, but I never yeah, really I hit them. In great form. I, I felt like I could have hit them. I felt pretty good. the teams played worse than how they play in scrims. Oh. Because it's like first but game. it's okay. I, yeah. think G2 I guess my career like the not being what I wanted led like me here to the Rats, which is... Uh, yeah, like it was my destiny before. to become a Ratata. You still need to, to like get back to your form, right? So, I mean, I actually don't know who will win. Because I think... Yeah, both teams are not playing at their peak, so... No, we'll I don't know, see. but maybe G2 will just uh, mechanical gap them. So I don't that's the same choice of always, right? But I, I would like to see Mad Lions quite take it just for kind of the storyline, Goldberg. Also, we're expecting to see some fire. I think there's probably a lot of yeah, people in this chat that never really saw one. me and play in said, pro like, play or never really paid attention to it. A bit messy because I was a random. They're seating tier two or sub on top lane or anything like that. The team fight that started coming out, they take every fight almost. They want to skill check them as well. In a best of one scenario, I was in LEC for about three years, but. I don't think anyone really pays attention. Been very willing to do that, especially on Bro's drinking like coffee at half down. nine. You Hell know yeah. you're gonna have to read You know you're gonna go up against them like that, and you know. Wow, triple eighty carry ban against the, uh, Han Sama. Is it Varus ban first pick Smolder for Mad? Please ban Smolder last here G two, but yeah, Senna's open. They get Senna first pick. What do we trade Senna? Smolder. Yeah, and I think the game we just had was one of the first. I guess Zaya or Akane is fine, but no ban, no pick as well. It's gonna be a first pick Smolder here. I think. Well, what else do they need to ban otherwise? Oh. Because they ban Lucian Nami. Yeah. So let's see. I'm curious to see, like we've we've seen a lot of small the first yeah, is banned, like Varus is banned now. Yeah, it's yeah. a Senna uh, game now. <laughs> Does G2 no, win with I mean, Senna? You can go a like, certain champion, I won't gents. say because I didn't pick it yet. No. <laughs> so let's see if it's locked. Uh you, there is Senna also open. You can go Oriana Rail as a combo. No, nah, Oriana oh. Rel isn't very G2-esque, I think. Oh, I want to see locked in now, so we know what the... Uh, Rel is, what though. OP. What do you think? What, what would Does you Caps early Oriana? rotate Oriana? Oh! No, not you. Uh, Goldberg, because you don't Ooh, want to... Ooh! Kog'Maw into Smolder! That's for sure. I actually oh. thought oh. that I would love oh. to see the Kaiser approach we've seen in the FPS. Kog'Maw FPL, into Smolder! You cannot confirm well. nor deny, but it is a Kog'Maw. <laughs> you think it's good? I... Uh, I can't say. Okay! Let's say, in another world, I might have played against this. I might have played this matchup. Yeah. Fair I enough. I might have not felt good. Uh, and so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Coach more well, yeah. really good. We can do this. Look, look. You, this is you know what's coming on three because this is the combo they were playing uh, in the in last year. Exactly. Spring or, 
was it Sunny? Yeah, no, we had, yeah, I, well, it was last year. Let's they just were do that blind picking that combo on cooldown. And that's probably what... I don't know if you want to play Cogmo Brown into so Rakan, though. Good matchup support into the Brom. So Rakan. Yeah, I like that, because most of the time you would see like, oh, yeah, now they're and then now on two, right? And then if Brom comes through, now you can just wait for Oh, Ivron. Yeah, I mean, this is most likely that what's coming up, so you should take a good support into Brom. Rakan blind yeah. makes sense, because Rakan, Rakan is good into Brom, right? So if they play Cog go. Brom, Rakan is good. But if they pivot away from Rakan and just play oh, like Cog Lulu, I think the Rakan struggles, especially if you're playing Ivor. No, so I think a well, mage think here is not bad. Just picking mid, maybe? Yeah, Orianna, perfect. If we just go for a safe one. If I see it still be enabled, I feel like, okay, Orianna's good. Now, what does Caps play? Well. Does Caps match mid here it's and take okay, the way? Like, you don't really know or do they take the Braum and ban Rakan? So I think probably one of the safest mid laners. Yeah, also, you deny it. You deny it, like the Orianna rare combo. They've got Broken Blades, Volley Bear as an option. Now, like, you could go Braum like you did in the past, but now also there's also have... Braum, Rakan ban or Hui? Maybe they flex the Kog'Maw as well. Oh, they're gonna do Kog Lulu. Into Orianna? I don't know. Oh my god, Kog Melio is even more disgusting. They should probably ban away. Really is interesting. We've seen so much fire on him. Uh, in the I mean, Nautilus is a good band to be honest. With Lucian, but with any now. we've even seen it pair up with Caitlyn. You already know the range that's coming out from a. Uh, that's Matt Coy could look now. to target the Huey. If, if it's Kogmo, it's they could ban like Huey ah. Volley Bear. They could because ban Huey Akali. Uh, they Caps could ban. Smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what else would G to play? Nico would be something Caps would play, but I don't know if it's a good matchup here. If if they if they are smiling, I would lose my confidence. So I don't look at this. Never look at a G two player if you want to win. But there's the volley bear from Broken what, uh, Blade gone. Well, already locked in. I mean, what can you ban here last? Said, had tweeted yesterday, it is the split Smolder the what? I mean, Rakan ban game. is not that bad, but they have a really good we lane. Might be back on Rail yeah, yeah, sometimes you have to Blitzcrank's be, uh, a good ban. Yeah. TDT. Yeah, I feel like he was just trying to manifest that. You know, he was happy yeah. to get a Lee Sin game. I'm surprised if they don't take away the way. Lee Sin game looked unplayable, but he made it But work. I do think Caps um, could just play Tristana. Uh, going back to, uh, do the I don't know, it's Caps. Unreal. He plays it loads of dumb shit. Carry, like, uh, you want to set him off for success, and he can't be too greedy, but multiple carries in a, in a team come right. So, already going with the with the Cogmore. What is Ender writing? They both hardly know it. Yeah, the slow on Eve, so it went from 30% on rank 1 to 40 which is quite nice, just because it's not the ability as an AD carry that you max. But yeah, also a nice Caps, Nico. Of life update I was thinking, Nico, the matchup's bad, but it is going to help the team comp a lot. Now it's based off attacks. But now they need some like kind of Aatrox last pick. It feeling mega awkward. And yeah. So what's yeah. Mirroring in a blind top? But I don't think it's like a big... It's like a... Buff. No, it's maybe. like a minor mega quality of life, right? Like, it's not something that's going to completely change the champion, but, you know... Now they match the push on mid and the pressure with Nico, and they have team fight tall. Or do they deny Cassante? But... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they it's deny like Cassante? equal skill... I really now, like I don't know what support you go. Like I think Rakan is good for the comp. It's very Oriana, good. Which is very strong. But yeah, Leona screams to me a bit here. Alistar actually nice screams to me a bit, like even though the lane is horrible. With the bushes and the the and lane is, I don't think there's anything you can pick to win the lane right now. You could play like a Lulu, but I don't think it's fitting very well with Ivor. And Ivor needs a melee support. Yeah, Alistar is good. Yeah, absolutely. Now, last pick top, I think it's Renekton or Aatrox. They need some kind of AD bruiser to round out Nico engage and Rel follow up. It's very good. H Yone could work really I mean, well here as well, nice considering it's broken blades. I think Renekton's nice because of the shield well, break. Decent for top lane. I don't know what BB else has played. TS band, volleyball band. Oh, Jace that's, is that's risky. Very good. Jace is really risky. Because you, you All right, chat, I'm going to run ads. If you want to avoid ads, you can use your tier 1 like or Twitch H4, Prime so to support the stream and avoid ads for an entire month. And also write in sub-only mode. You don't have sub you don't want to. I'll see you guys in a Okay, so does the Jace key lead over for you to G2, or do you still think Mad Lions has a better draft if the I don't like this Jace. Mm. I mean, now I really like uh, oh. G2 draft. I think Kogma would just walk mid and just auto them in mid you. Okay, so sway to G2, what do you think, GB? Well, I think it's one of those where it doesn't feel like a complete a draft cap ever yeah. seen quite often. Like, both teams is very playable I don't like the Jace. So this is the one where so much of it comes down to execution. And on execution level, G2 has shown to be the better team, so mm -hmm. that probably gives them an easier time playing it. I think something right. like Olaf could have worked Thank there, true. Thank you both, and let's get into Grand Line versus G2. All right, let's get it, finals rematch. Let's see Let's what you got. to Summoner's Rift for our final game of the day. Man Lions Koi taking on G2 Esports. Only two teams have won on red side so far this spring. G2 being one of them against BDS yesterday and SK earlier on. It's a blue side favored Rift, it seems here in the LEC. Mirwin, don't face check it, Mirwin. You don't need to, just hang out in that pixel bush. 
That's what he's going to do. Is he? Oh, oh, G2 deciding if they want to back or not. Line of scrimmage laid out by MDK. Yeah, I thought that G2 were moving up here to essentially do what we've seen for like Dagger the Dagger Cogmore starts. Which is try and get those deeper wards so that you can book. continuously harass with the Jace and start to push in the wave and make sure you're in a good spot. Um, and not let Mirwin really get into a position where he's able to contest wave state or have a safe opportunity, but not going for it instead. Maybe expecting some sort of counterplay, but I'd be kind of surprised with uh, oh. the level one that MTK have. Elioia right, and Milwin now stepping in. Ward placed. Looks like that's going to be all that happens. Elioia gets the ward in. Obviously, Ivan, he's clear, very much facilitated by the fact you just use your friend at the uh, first, yeah. set up all the buffs, and then you can uh, smite one or two as and when. Why are we cheering? And Mickey were covering this blue side what jungle happens? to make sure that there was no invade from MDK, so they are. Second to the lane, Alvaro and Super waiting. Oh, there's a stack. It's happening. Super's on his way. <laughs> They'll never recover from this. No. Nope. It's over. It's too sad. Oh, oh my god, Alvaro okay. has headbutting. no stacks to the two from uh, from Super. What an amateur. Mickey uh, needs to be careful. Actually, he doesn't need to be careful. He has Mickey doing a nice job of harassing here, though. Alvaro will end up taking the headbutt, use it on hand ammo, but it means that you don't really have the pulverized to actually threaten it all in onto Mickey in this level one, which obviously would be a bit difficult, but um, does mean that Mickey just getting some nice harass down onto Alvaro. Will be fun to watch. Um, as Hans is getting to attack the wave still, though, Super. Alistar level up, they need to be careful to of the Q the level flash. Two here first, which is not something that ideally happens when you're in the double range matchup. Yeah, I think it was more Alvaro and Super being in the wave already when that when uh, Mickey and Hans got down there. Absolutely, auto for Orion and W level two get that wave bad. prior. And Amazon not really a champion until oh, level two. Comet. Although that headbutt did pay off dividends. Triple camp yeah, top for this top Yike side. wants Couldn't to invade the Ivory, but, but Elio is already yeah, the Ivory is blue and his already cleared this out. So and now just maybe pathing towards mid as Fescawi has fallen down. Oh, he's avoiding the ward on the Raptor entrance. A gank possibility. Yikes. Oh my god, what a root. play. The stun. And very Scali clean. Very, very blood. clean G2 from both of them. On the board. Clean done pathing there. from Yike Flash to avoid the caps. ward. Clean engaged by Caps the on the E flash. An easy pick off. So, Yike even just getting that transitional gank is beautiful because, yes, it costs him a flash, but like from a timing What a really clean engage. He's totally fine. He's just going to be able to clear out his bot side. Oh. Still hovering in the mid lane, maybe expecting that uh, Yoya might try and come by. Some pings actually coming out from the G2 bot lane, I assume. Alistar is in level 3, hey, so there's no stun follow up. He's trying to. Hans is walking up here to hold the wave. During this time. So, with the wave being in the position it was, Super now losing some health means that Mickey and Hans Summer could react if El Yoya steps in. Nothing for Yoya to invade because he crossed into his own side. Being taken by Yike, and with the smite, should be able to secure it. Super and Alvo now waiting around the corner, but Yike able to get his blue. Castles are too loud. I think I fixed it now, I hope. Oh, nice knockback by Mickey. With the fire Q flash though, Mickey. Oh, he's just out. And Hans Summer is going to get kills here. Yoya needs to flash probably. Does he Does he survive in flash? Yeah, he does. Red buff and blue buff. Healing him up just a little bit. That red at least. And he does burn the flash. G2, 2 and 0. Oh, with almost a thousand gold lead at 4 minutes. I hope the casters are okay now in terms of volume. Some sort of invade was just how low Super was. Like Super, not really a position to really threaten aggressively in those fights because he was already sub half HP. So Hans Sama coming in, able to threaten Super off of the fight. And then Mickey, good flash over the wall. And now we're looking for the hex flash on Frescoe. Chat, there's a 45 second delay. So when you say casts are too loud, it takes me a while to change it. Now goes back up towards his top side, Razor Beaks, the probability. The control ward did spot out Yike as he went for that second mid lane gank, but let's have another look at this bot lane play. Yeah, Super's just so incredibly low here, and you get a ton of value off of... Mickey queued the Alistar W, which is crazy. Well, so I think he actually Super queued to check the bush, then Alvaro Q flashes, but and then they, try to turn on to they don't have the damage to get the kill. He flashes out uh, in time. The wall. Then you overextend here as Alvaro to try and set that up, and the cozy campfire giving the extra auto attacks just means that Yoya has to run for the hills. That's actually a Get crazy away. good cue as well for Mickey to, to stop the combo mid-air yeah. when it was blind. You just cue the bush because someone could be in there, but perfect timing for Mickey. Kicks away the cow, and because of it, G2 get their second kill. Now they're too the quiet. Game. Leads okay. in mid, jungle, top. Hopefully they're fine now. And support for G2. And it only gets worse as well, because Yike, yes, hasn't really cleared a lot of his camps, but like El Yoya, not really in the, the best No flash on Orianna, because means walking up mid is very board, difficult. So, say, looking at Void Grubs, opportunity to try and play up towards that if you really want to. Dragons also become a big factor for G2, although I think you have to kind of prep the waves a little bit more here, off of like the bounce back in mid. No TP on Orianna either. Mid here to make sure the caps isn't yeah, caps had the, the wave held in a really nice spot. From Madeline's Koi's. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to get a swap. So Oyoya going to move up towards Void Groves. It looks like it'd be a dragon take here for Yike. 
Super still has the flash here. Mickey's on his way down towards this bottom lane. Flap, flap, flap. Goes Super over the wall. Gets to safety. Wave. Looks okay, like increase the casters a tiny bit. G2 Hopefully that's fine now. Stop yapping. Of these minions, but it's going to be a lot of CS lost for the MDK. This AD audio mixer is really weird. Ultra Mega Fire Kick sucks his recall. Mickey being a nuisance. That base cancel is usual. huge. And now G2 will invest time in pushing this wave forward because then Super has to stay to catch the cannon. Otherwise, he loses out on all that gold and XP. Alvaro, though, They're really, really trying to cuts. punish Caps, no flash, but doesn't have his flash just yet, but able to keep as long as he doesn't get hit by Shockwave, like uh, Caps can't really die. Pressure on towards the mid lane to maybe look for something back, and then you can try and turn in towards Dragon with the numbers advantage. But ooh, Shockwave, swinging a miss. It's going to be massive for Caps. He missed the Shockwave, so Caps can't die. Going to try and sneak up. Yeah, ooh, nice try there by Yike on the hex flash. Over towards the bottom side of this fight, and Yoya and Alvaro collapsing. Now it's bad here because Frescawi can't fight because he whiffed the mid mid play. Otherwise, they could have punished Yike here. The game. And I think this is a mistake. I think you should have just gone right. Can't get into position in bot lane because Super had to reset. We're not really in the position in the map in mid as well, but instead... Oh, Caps the minion. Force in the mid lane, hoping that they're going to be able to get some sort of play. On I wonder if he knew. Doesn't work out. Then I guess he did. <laughs> like a Poby. So not really the best of trades. And especially with Broken Blade now starting to get control over this top side. Caps also going to be able to shove in this wave and OTP back for, for Frescoey. I wouldn't be surprised to see Yike to just teeter over towards those Void Grubs and try and pick them up for himself as well. Yeah, at least look for one of them. The Scuttle Crab will spot him out if he does go the conversion. Conventional route can jump the wall though on that route. But Jace is doing Broken pretty well actually. Broken Blade is actually up, winning his lane quite handily in isolation. Quite impressive. Normally you see Jace is just kind of choking a bit and go even. Top as well, though. But he's doing really Last well on this lane. Maybe. Really left for him to look for. Every other lane losing so far. Yike is on his red right now. Caps just resetting means. I mean, we'll probably just wait here for a moment. The wave is still pushing towards Mirwin, so. If Broken Blade does step up a little bit too far, there is that possibility cover, of a collapse. Mirwin running the ghost on Kasante means no flash all out insect combination. Q3. Nice flash there. Dodge the would have been a horror fight if he gets knocked the and then pushed into it. Ah, uh, this top wave sucks. They can't fix it either. Not in the best of spots for the G2 top lane. No ghost on the Kasante though. No now they can fix it. Yeah, getting the flash out from BB is pretty nice here. Are you just sticking around to make sure the mirror can be a pain as they try and push in this wave? Super gonna take a oh my god, Cogmore damage, damage with ghost up. Oh, he flashed the combo. He's gonna kill him. Oh, he cancelled his auto. He got it with the auto. BB's dead. Now, now he they lose the 2v2 and they try to crash the top wave. Nice kill there from Mirwin. Caps. Influential, as you say. Caps looking for Frescawi. Pop Blossom catches him out. Down to about half the Tangle Barbs as well. Shockwave will bring Caps back. And Frescawi actually wins this auto attack trade. Oh, Clockwork the cookie's doing, doing so much there. The uh, you see what Caps so did there? He like, he ulted. And he queued as his ult was about to go off. So his Q was popping on the ult. It's actually kind of smart. Maybe that's a simple Nico mechanic, but... Nice response from Mirren on that top side, getting that kill. So that was nice to in see. In the grand scheme of things, going to work out for G2, because realistically, these two AD carries are going to be the focal point, but we're going to get a replay here on this top side. BB has no flash. Using the melee stance to try and return a lot of that mana, that's something that was very nice about the changes to Jace, but not Oh, nice play by Mirwin. And then you're going to have the all out BB no flash, well. of course. Really nice. And with the Ivern shield slow, it's really hard for BB to escape. Shield. A little bit of extra moral support as well. And make sure that really, really hard for DB to escape. Down when it comes to 2v1. So it's okay, though. By the G2 top Problem is he's playing with Conqueror, right? Which is good in the long trades against uh, Cassante. But in the 2v2s like that, not having face rush means you're kind of fucked if you get hit by the Ivern Slow on the shields when Cassante's in melee range. You have no real out. Ginsu's Rage Blade already complete as well for Han Summer. Expect to see. But I think Han Summer just fries this game. Sometimes Jack Show. On the Cogmore right now. We can also go for the Triforce in certain situations. We saw that kind of introduced as you know you, you queue into Triforce with the Sheen proc. I don't think we'll see it here from Han Summer, but it is a possibility. Yeah, I think um, more than likely going to go for Blade of the Rune King it's, uh, next. But that's the kind of the thing. Often talk the time a lot, awful lot of the times you see the Blade of the Rune King first because you want the sustain and being able to manage. But this is where the downside of Smolder is. You don't have a lot of threat in the lane, so you're kind of fine to go for a greedier build. Level 4 Alistar. Like He's very close to, to 5, though. This pink will give him 5. Needs hand to come across to no, it didn't. Got the numbers advantage, but they may even just look Caps the is just running bot, ignoring everything. This dragon's alone. Watch over the wall. Mom called. Cannon minion still standing. 
standing though for the moment as super. Oh, Hans is just sort of getting him basically. Wow, Hans Sama. I mean, uh, Caps. I like what G2 did here because they four man bots really hard, but look at what Jace did. Jace ran mid as they four man bot to get the wave so that Oriana couldn't get plates as a trade off for Nico's roam. Instead, Cassante is the one that. Oh! Cassante is the one that gets the plates. They win this 2v2. Oh, he got hit by the pop boss. Yo, yeah, can't do much here because Mickey's coming. If anything, he's going to die. Oh, Mickey. Oh, Caps missed E flash and Q. Oh, my God, Caps, you're disgusting. Mickey has been on point with those cues to stop Alvaro joining the battle. Big time, and the fact that you're oh, Mickey's, winning, Mickey's yeah, really been in Alistar's head this game. He stopped G2. every combo, basically. 1.2k gold lead in bot, a 1.3k gold lead in mid. G2 are taking these skirmishes so incredibly well, and turning on to Frescoe here, like, you're kind of just running out of damage, unfortunately, for Caps, where he just doesn't have enough uh, cooldown reduction. The flash wave from Frescoe on towards the Q means that he's going to be fine as well, and then this is where it gets dangerous for Yike, but Mickey, quicker on the roam, the shield, the cozy campfire heal, and then this interrupt as well is perfect. And then the ignite goes onto Yike anyway, but he doesn't die because of the shields. Shield into another shield with the ignite ticking is just so well for Yike. And even uh, that's one of the rare moments I've seen Dylan Falco react. Yeah. To Mickey is frying. <laughs> Dragon fight. Yike can steal this really easily, but Caps is a bit far. Matt can't really finish it. Ah, G2 is giving it. Now they can. It's hard to finish, right? Because Rel can just walk in and EQ uh, for the smite. I guess they have Alistar knockback. Yeah, look, at this stage, it's looking a bit disastrous for... Caps 110 for CS, 2-0 on uh, Nico. Gold lead on towards this Kog'Maw, who's going to be a menace against... Nico being fed game. is always Not scary. Because I feel like Nico ult at times is actually unavoidable in some fights. If she has good position and like flashes correctly, it's inevitable that she'll land on the back line a lot of the time. So if she's ahead... Wow, breaking news. Christian Horner is going to be let go by Red Bull after the Australian Grand Prix. Hansama has Rage Blade at 13 minutes. That's Cassante is getting shredded, and they have so much peel as well with Emilio. They had to use a lot there to heal through that. But that should get them grubbies or some plates for Hans. Caps is just running around the map. This is basically going to be the most pampered dog you've ever seen. By the end of this, there's always going to be the helicopter parents hovering around to make sure that he's. Got his nails trimmed, gonna be fed, well fed, and even at this stage as well, picking up more turret plates on this top side, plus he got the void grubs that are gonna be there that he's picking up as well. Like, again, G2 very much controlling this early game here. And by doing so, controlling Super and his stacks as well. Super at 77 stacks right now, nowhere near where you want to be on the Smolder at this point. Of course, if the game does go on, Smolder Grubby's eventually disappeared will Harold's get to spawning. 225. But it is so delayed, and when we get towards those next team fights, Super's going to be nowhere near his power break. Point. He had he had yeah, rage blade since nine minutes, really. And Sam is starting to reach his right. Like you're already going to reset it. Go, oh, sorry, has just reset nearly towards the blade of the Rune King as well. You just end up in a position where once you get to three items on this Kogma, you just become an absolute monster. And again, we kind of talked about it already. Like Alvaro is main backline threat with Mirwin and if one of them can get onto him okay cool maybe Frescoe can ult but Frescoe is in the fake news is it so I see it uh, opportunities to post it we'll see are just gonna be so difficult all right Herald for G2 multiple different angles and just causing G2 so many different issues yeah I think this game's gonna turn into a stomp all that happens is Yike and Caps then engage on the rest of your team yeah. when someone dives onto your backline as well Mickey can definitely keep Hans Summer safe against an Alistar or even against Mirwin we've seen that already so it's going to be so hard for MDK this looks GG though, with Nico and uh, Kogmo being ahead, I think the Jace being behind or even doesn't really matter. Like, the Jace's drop this game is just to catch sidewaves. I don't think he has any other role when I'm looking at a Kogmo that's looking at a Blade of the Ruined King in the next minute or two. Oh, he wants that blue buff hands. Has a few more tools in his toolkit right now. Mickey's stepping in, flat, 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 from super over the wall. The Kogmo buff to his E slow is actually quite fire. nice QOL wise because you only put the one point in E right, you max Q second. Blue buff as Caps is losing here to Mirwin. Caps away with the, the rocket belt, but Mirwin's still on the chase. That Iceborne Gauntlet doing work. 
No. And Tofu strikes, brings the pull back, but not enough damage to force Caps back to the fountain. We'll just cause him to reset, so I guess he did force him back. Can you tell us small the stacks? You can see it on his portrait, like. just above the level on the left. It's 104, you see that? This bot tier one, and with Mirren now winning the top lane, it gives them an opportunity to say, hey, look, Yes, G2 are matching our play on bot side, but we are just going to win on the top half of the map. Caps does stop his reset, though, um, trying to make sure that he can I catch that TB wave. Back. Oh, sorry, TP back, was it? Yeah. Um, and I think this is where you're in a position now that if your mad line's Koi, fantastic. If you're able to win out in this 1v1 against the ca against Caps... I'm looking forward to the next team fight. Because I think Hans might have Blade on base soon. Maybe one more wave and he has it. I wonder if uh, Broken Blade will start matching. He might stay around for this trade. At the moment, it's for Skawi going down towards the bottom side. Broken Blade going into the relative fog of war of his own jungle, although he will be spotted by a ward. Four and a half thousand, the gold lead for G2. They still have that Biff Held pocket as well. They want to try and crack. Tyler won't play variety, he's got permabend. <laughs> battling out towards the top lane. Yank on his way up there as well. Korgmon doesn't look like he wants summer. to base yet. Looks like they're trying to hover atop to keep Caps' lane in a good state. Need to be careful they don't get caught in river. Because there's definitely not a play to get a kill there, it's just a play to escort Caps towards mid so they can go mid to bot. You see how they did that? They three-man push mid, go top, then they grab Caps, escort him to mid. Now they're going to push mid as four, which should give them push for sure because they have numbers advantage. And then what happens? Does Caps move back towards bot side or do they, they siege mid? They have small drool. So now they're going to lose a top tier one, but they have position on Dragon. Can they threaten the Orianna enough to get a bot tier one? Because G2's macro here, the idea is good, but I don't think it's going to net them much if Mad Lions just drop the Drake. It looks like one, but if that's an actual ward, there is an opportunity for Maya Wind. It's going to be first tower to Cassante, which is a big gold injection. And Smolder pushes in mid. Oriana doesn't get dove. And BB catches top. So I don't think that's too bad for Mad. It's only second dragon as well. It's Broken Blade going up to answer him in both the mid laners down towards the bottom lane. I was hit Cloud Soul, though, for uh, Han Sama. Yeah, it's going to be a bit annoying. Well, to also, do. for Caps. True. <laughs> it's, it's quite nice. Even for you, all of them obviously is beneficial, but uh, it's uh, pretty deadly in the hands of G2. Cloud's all very powerful. I think underestimated because it used to be feel like one of the weaker souls, but now yeah, it's in a, a very strong position. Movement speed. You backwards. All right, Cogma is blade in base now. This is where G2 is online and scary. Mickey needs to make sure he so doesn't get caught here. Than your opposition, especially at this Look at the Cogmore items. It's Jesus. Micro movements. There's little side steps, there's little jukes getting to the play first. As Super gets to these Razor Beaks first. Trying to get some of these for his Q sacks at 136 right now. Caps. Still about 100 away from where he would like to be. Caps looking for the engage. Caps. Quite land on Super. There's the stun from Alvaro. Surprised he didn't just go for the R there. G2 up. Overloading this mid lane. Smolder ults the wave again. The Bro, these Smolder ults are so annoying. Just clearing one, waves. Still that mid lane Smolder ults shouldn't do damage to minions. MDK, so this is so cringe. This champ can just stall fucking tempo by just pressing ult on waves. Or at least delaying what G2 wants to do. Because it's, yeah, like, it's not like Rumble where ulting a wave means you're useless in teamfights. Smolder ult in teamfights, I think, a lot of the time, isn't that important. It's nice, but it's not like champion defining. So you can just ult waves, and if there's a fight, he's fine. 148 stacks. Take it. Bit of a nose in towards the top side jungle to see what fission control they can get down. Let Mirren play that little bit aggressive, but it's also trying to open up an avenue for Mirren where he can just try and collapse across. Like, if you guarantee that there is no vision here, as soon as Mirren dips into fog of war like this, it becomes a lot more difficult for G2 to be able to put pressure into the mid lane or contest you on the mid wave. And again, that just opens up more room for empty caps. Caps is being a minion. Yeah, it's just the least yeah, subtle minion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, oh, I wonder if this minion was actually able to come from that bush. Caps walks in, super has to back away. He's gonna drive it away. Reset, so he respects it. Rift he can't get the top. Up towards the top side. He's just going to his red buff, I think. It's not gonna make his way anywhere near a tower, but eventually may get there. As Broker Blade is pushing out that wave. So tower in He's just lane, parking it there so he can go to red. <laughs> They've had their eyes on for the last la, couple la, of minutes. La, la, and la, it's la, two and a half la, minutes before la, la, the next la, dragon. Rift Herald now working her way through this lane. But with it's like here, Ezreal ult. Yeah, but Ezreal ult doesn't kill already. the backline. Ezreal ult doesn't delete the wave. Smolder ult does. Does Caps die here? Wave is instantly one shot. So the G2 starting to move in. I think the big one that you're looking at is to see, okay, can we try and get to like a 
another item break point for Supu before we really have to fight. Because if you can get towards like Spear Shoji, you well, you're in a good spot, but G2 don't really want to let him get there. Uh, Supu needed to flash that. The Magna Storm comes out. Supu's locked wow. up. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is the Super. thing, right? Now, I don't want to blame Super is, like, because if you, if what I mean, he, not, he has just lost the game. But if Rel walks up to you and presses Q, do you flash? Yes. Okay. What if she's just queuing the air and not flashing? Right? A lot of teams will do that. They'll just bait you by just queuing as Rel in range and they won't flash in your flash and you look like an idiot. If she Q flashes, you have no time to react because it's a guessing game. It's a 50-50. It's like drag as he flash. And if it hits, you're dead. So this Rel Q flash is so fucking annoying for players for ADs and mids because it's a guessing game. It's a 50-50. You either flash and you look like an idiot, or you don't flash and you die. He was kind of throwing here a bit because Mickey has to tank Baron. At least Matt stopped the Nash though. I don't know where he's going. For any more battles with his teammates, G2 will collapse on him. Mirwin just trying to clear out the way. Holy fuck, Cogmore shreds him. By G2, and it's 8-1 the score. Again, just nice little picks come through for G2. They get Super, now they get Mirin, which nets them top tower. And this is where it's going to start to get difficult. 45 seconds until Dragon, you immediately get top tower reset here for G2 and go for it. But I just want to call Mickey. Oh, Mickey's caught. Oh, Mickey's going down. And Mickey's dead. Well with the and Mom is Big kill for Super. The kill. Super gets it with his ultimate. Importantly, like, G2 did burn double. You could have just ghosted. Yeah. Play happen. They're dragging up in two, uh, 25 seconds or so. And with Mickey getting caught out, MDK have a bit of a window as Super Oh, Super forward. just solo killed Hans. That's huge. Nice flash by BB, but he doesn't have any damage. Does he have damage? Alistar could save him. Nice save by Alistar. Oh, G2 just threw the game. Because BB's dead. Yikes dead. Can they go Nash? They have TP in 30. I don't think they can go Nash. Some big kills there for Matt. Oh, Caps. Nice shot. It's so messy all over the place. Nice job from Super again. It wouldn't be a G2 game with a little, without a little bit of clown house. For Super on the smolder, aim to find the kill to hand some underneath the tower when he was low. But on the top side, you lose that members of G2. Then Caps is able to bring it back. So it's a bit all over the place, but a bit of an even Steven. All said and done, like Frescelli trying to stop the backs in thinking, hey, look, we can try and get this dragon if we uh, hold on. Wow, the Jace damage was really low. Position, the uh, redemption, redemption healed so much. The shields from Frescelli. Coming through from both items, his own E, then Ilyoya with the shields, being able to reposition as well. Alvaro just standing in front of a lot of people, blocking the damage that BB is trying to churn out. And then Mirwin having that TP to follow up here as well. Super important for Madeline's coin. What a dive by Super, though. Off, really well played. Then in the mid lane, Super sticking around that little bit too long. And Caps wasn't even hidden. He's just able to chase him down with the speed up he gets off his W. And then the Hextech protobelt just closing the distance as well. We need to see the start of that fight. Maybe Caps was a minion or something, a little bit deceptive for Super, but yep, Super just getting caught out again. Did have a great play in the mid lane. Still a big gold lead in mid, Summer, but AD has recovered a lot. Items. The same for Super. That gold lead still a thousand, but nowhere near as consequential as it was. Caps a few is really ago. far ahead. G2 Level 15. Picture, took the dragon, their second cloud of the game. Super now at 206 stacks, and we are only 19 away from that execute threshold being met. Alvaro going for this control ward, has the cosmic opposition. So relatively Yike. tanky on the cow. Doesn't have flash, but Caps does. So Caps' is engage is what you need to look at. No Zonias on Frescawi, no this flashes on again, him and a, a Super. But the right scaling on Mad is fucking MDK crazy. Like, hey, look, when they have double front line. Realistically, we just and Ivor and Orianna for a smolder. Very, very close that two, two, five, they have shield break a bit, G2, and they have Cogmore Melio, so they're not too bad on the late game either, but... He becomes a menace in the team yeah. with the amount of AoE damage that he's going to be able to do, so... Matt Coy is going to have kinda happy to handshake. a lot of firepower at three items on these yeah, champs. We'll two waves away from Super hitting the threshold. He needs uh, 13 more stacks. Uh, steal away a jungle camp or something, or if we have a cannon wave. G2 are on soul point, should, though. Getting over towards the 25 Caps gets bot tier one. Takes the tower in the bot lane. G2's third of the game, and still their gold lead around four and a half to 5,000, depending on the ebb and flow of the lanes. There's the Runans complete for Han Summer. He's got an ardent sensor as well. He has a Knight's Vow. There's an Abyssal Mask on Yike. Like, Yike and Mickey are just 
pure utility. It's pure all Hans Summer. In this game. Hans Summer alive. Fight one. Like Hans Summer dead. No uptime. Fight, and, you know, fight lost. BB is not that useful, I think. He's got decent poke, though. Skipped here for earlier spike. He does do decent damage on the poke, I think, with those items. If he hits. Always someone keeping track Smolder's of at 222. And this was One more wave and Smolder is online. He also almost has rapid fire to match three items on Kog'Maw. Good they were marking the multiple, multiple different attack angles, but we have to see Caps with the team if he wants to try and mark someone, because right now it's just Yike and... Smolder's gonna get it on this wave, and he's also a level up on Kog'Maw. I'm not that a full level, you know what I'm saying, but he has an XP lead. So I think Smolder's gonna push this wave, get 225, base by rapid fire, and then I think G2... I mean, they have a level 16 Nico, so let's see if uh, the level 16 Nico can one shot the Smolder. Stop talking about the stacks for a little while until he gets to some ludicrous number like 500. But uh, it is where Smolder really comes online. Rapid fire cannon as well for him, enhancing the range. Oi, oi, oi! Here we go. It's two minutes. It's a 5k gold lead to G2, but G2 a lot of that gold lead is basically on the Nico. It looks like lane assignments are just caps going bot. I mean, items-wise, Mad's not in a bad spot. Acting as the mid lane defense for this tier one. Wait. I still think it's just a case of the waiting game. Unfortunately, <laughs> I thought this was going to be way more of a banger. I thought I mean, this was we, we had a really explosive, like two minutes, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, everything's yeah. kind of calmed down again. Daisy used There's the mid, mid tower. That tower has back oh, or poke coming in. Caps is TPing as well. That pop blossom. Yeah, There's three rels. It's caps. It's all caps. This fight. Has a wall between him. Caps. Alvaro can just collapse on him, but caps oh, what? Caps is insane. Well. He flashed the Alistar combo the forwards the instead of backwards, the or like on the back line, tanking it. Well. I think he bided well. enough time and got the. Oh, Smolder might die here. Yeah, GG. G2, baby. Nice team fighting by Caps. Really good engage. Nice follow up from G2. I think they just end here. GG. What a fight. The game's actually over. Really nice fight from G2 there. And Sama big up time. Kasante got one shot. And Caps had a really good engage. Just like an angel over the wings of Han Sama, keeping him safe, and now just like that. Nice and easy for G2 there, that fight. A little bit hairy after the top play, but nice closeout for them. trying to defend, but they can't do anything against all five members of G2, who go 2 Easy win. Chat, thank you all for being here for another LEC stream. I'll be back tomorrow morning with some LPL. And then we'll get into some, I think, Apex, and then we're going to do L LEC. I have to do some Apex training with the team, and then um, we're going to do LEC on Monday as well in the studio. So I appreciate everyone coming out. Was well, some fun games today, but I feel like a lot of the LEC games have been pretty one-sided. We haven't had that ultimate banger yet. Hopefully we get it tomorrow to round out the week. And uh, yeah, big kiss to you. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for being here. Enjoy the rest of your night. Take care. If you're going to watch the LCS or if you're going to go to bed or have a nice evening, enjoy that. Wishing you the best. Um, happy Ramadan. Congratulations on the Ramadan to everyone doing it tomorrow. And yeah, I um, appreciate everyone coming out and being in the stream. Enjoy the rest of your nights, evenings, days, mornings, or whatever it is. Chattermans, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Enjoy the LCS. Enjoy your day. Enjoy whatever you're going to watch. And yeah, was fun. Was fun as always. Rest up. Big pace well, tomorrow. Like Caps' dad's right there. You see him? Oh, Caps' dad. Well, he stroke his head. I also do want to take a look at Madeline's play because I think this is again a team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. Do you really want to be a winner, win a chicken dinner? Do you down, really want to see me? It takes takes forever. I think it does again speak volumes to this team. The fact that they are going toe to toe with so many different aspects of G2 been trying to perfect for so long. Like this was a.